Hello, everyone. I am just getting ready to be on the podcast. Um, just trying to see what we're going to be looking at here. I don't know if I need to have... Here, let me... Okay, so nobody's ready yet. Well, it's just us for now. Um, podcast should begin in like five to ten minutes, depending on how long it takes for everybody to get into the call. How is everyone doing today? How did you like that song? That song was actually... Um, okay, so I've heard this that song before, um, but it was sampled in Bring Me the Horizon's new song, Parasite Eve. And I was like, where the fuck have I heard this? And I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm still trying to figure out where I've heard it before. Um, because I swear to God, I've listened to it. I gotta shut my window and my door. Oh man, what a time, what a day. Look, I got a big sodi today. I went to McDonald's and ordered a big sodi. It's great. Hi, Flowery Jane. Good to see you. Hey, Marinara. Good to see you. Oh, Windleby. We got the whole the crews all here. Hell yeah. It's gonna be spicy. Um, it looks like we've okay. So the guest list has changed like six times. So I don't know. Um, I think. Uh, I think it's now. Me, Chud, A for Andre, and Synthied versus uh, Suspect Sushi. Fuck. What the other guy's names? Um, Ankar, Charmander, and Endernax. So that'll be interesting. Oh, damn. Oh, I think we have, I think we have, I think it's beginning. <sighs> we got Chud sighing in the... Uh... Well, it's just more fast-paced. The, the thing is, JC, it's not just about being fast-paced. We got the Chud's voice. you got is literally... Chud! Every... Yeah, Cynthia's cool. Um, Cynthia and I have bumped heads on panels a few times, but I get along with, I get along with her really well. Um, so, yeah. Wait, Suspect Sushi. Suspect Sushi was, I was just on a channel. I was just on stream with Suspect Sushi, but now he's wearing a skull mask. Oh, okay. Yeah, this should be, this is likely to be pretty spicy. Um, We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Uh, let me, ch I have to keep an eye on the chat, so. um. Yeah, Windleby, they're a little libby, but it's okay. It's all good. I don't think it's a Punisher mask. I think it's just a skull in general. Yeah, it's not a Punisher mask, thankfully. It's just a skull in general, you know? Yeah, it looks like everybody's muted and deafened still, so we haven't officially started yet. Discord's been having some issues today, hasn't it? Oh, goodness. Um, I mean, they like, they, it's a death cult, right? Right? You got the MAGA hat with a skull on it. I mean, that's kind of fitting, right? At least they're telling you up front. I'm excited to be on a panel with Chud. I haven't been on a panel, like, where Chud wasn't hosting it. Um, hey, thank you, Box, Box you. Appreciate it. Yeah, and if, feel free to jump over to Dylan stream if you want to be in the Dylan stream chat. Um, I just like to have my chat open for people who want to chat with me. And I usually do a like a post stream um, thingy. Let's see. Okay, so it looks like it looks like we are good to go. Bye bye. Um, it's giving me loading camera and audio forever. And if I refresh it, then it like fucks up. All right. I'll stay deafened for now until we're formally pinged. Um, shit. There was something I wanted to grab here. Oh yeah. My document, my document. 
It's just my cool thing that I use for when I'm on panel shows. Hmm. There we go. Wait, this one. Fuck. Sorry, I'm uh, I'm I'm messing around with some of these uh settings and whatnot. It looks like let me see here. How do I make this full screen? There we go. That'll work. All right, let's get this over to the small cam. We will. Maybe, do you think I should shrink chat? Maybe chat's in the way on these. I wonder. I wonder if I should just put turn chat off, but then I, well, I can still see chat. I guess I should turn chat off for now just so that everybody can see the panel and I can turn my transparency off too. Yeah, this is probably a good idea. All right, let me see uh, what the state of the Discord is. Okay, it looks like we're starting now. Okay, yeah, we're starting now. All right. One dude was eating uh, chicken on fucking shed stream. That guy was demolishing that shit. Yeah. Wait, what is uh, whereby? Hey, Ender... Uh, Endernex, we're using the whereby. Oh, okay. It's, on your it's, the, it's, <clears> in the, uh, it's in the panel thing. I'll be right back, guys. We're still playing music. Just everybody right. in the whereby. Are we using whereby for voice too right now? Or mm -mm. okay, okay, good. Yeah, I know Discord was having issues earlier, but hey, good to see wait, you again. Are, are we, so wait, we getting off? Demon. Demon, wait, Demon, this are we you. getting off the of Discord then? No, 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 we're still no, on no, no. Discord for voice and whereby for the video. It has to be as difficult as possible. Jesus Christ. Exactly. Yeah, you anyway, know, you, you don't want to just make it easy for everybody. You got to have, like, some difficulty yeah. to weed out, you know. Yo, Demon. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, all that shit talking about CC we did the other day, fucking, they were DDoSing the shit out of us. Oh, is that, is that, is that who it was? Is that who was hitting Discord, or? It, it, it's, it's what a lot of people believe. If you were watching a... a, a, lot, a lot of people believe a lot of things. I, I don't want to I don't want to jump fast and loose with accusations like that. On the outage map, it showed that China was partially unaffected. And it, well, it, a lot of so, damage it was, was coming Well, that doesn't mean it's it was, them, though. That could mean that it's just yeah, somebody who likes them. them. Like, no, yeah. I blame everything on CCP. Did you read Never? it? Well, like, that's so, that's so, ira that's oh so God, irrational. Why would you? Yeah, why would you just blame them if you don't even know it's them that they're that are doing it? Because communists observe the blame. So uh, wow, okay. A bit tighter. Yeah, how many how many layers of tinfoil you got in that maga hat there? None at the moment. Oh boy, I got, boy. I got a lot of speculation. Not a lot of talk about how the CDN went down for forty percent of Cloudflare's network, like, and how that happened, like whether it was China or not. Like, spec. I mean. He what was... is this fucking nerd shit? Seriously, Jesus Christ! Nerd, nerd Wait, what? shit. Like, oh, dude. Yeah, so I mean, this change, is the internet. Change, I don't... change your name to uh, Chad Logic, dude, because that was a pretty hot, like fucking masculine take there. Yeah, what? nerd I'm shit. Maybe being extremely masculine. Now this is nerd shit. I can say that. Not a hint no, of dude, not a hint of masculinity around. He's That's bullying just... me. He's bullying me. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, it's really uh, convenient to pass judgment on technology you don't understand, right? I mean, I, I, I mean, well, why do I want to wait, understand that shit? It's fucking boring. <laughs> Damn. It's fucking boring. Mate. Not me, Otana Noaji. Uh, not me. Charmander, you might be my new hero. No, I'm not a hero. Just a, just a normal guy. What's up, Andre? Yo, no, can you hear me? No. Hey, yeah. what's up, Andre? What up, what up, what up? I'm hopping in. Wait, are we all doing, is this a mask stream? Are we all going to wear masks? I can put my mask on. I am going to buy a camera just oh. so I can wear a mask on stream. Uh, yeah. I want to stay safe and be compliant with the federal government. So, you know. yeah. I mean, I'm, I want to be a good we're, we're all, I assume we're all streaming from within just, our own homes, right? God, I just, I just maybe. like my galaxy mask. Okay. It's, 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 yeah, yeah. No, I'm no, doing this because I was told I was a grandma mur murderer the other day. So I mean, tr true, true, true. I, 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 I've been, uh, you know, I've been, was it, I've been turned. We got, we got okay. best. Be Obviously, I, think, I am on your side I think now. the next thing is this is Ender a job interview. Do we have an echo? No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just, my guy. Yeah, I'm just the discount bastion. 
We shouldn't have an echo. Deal with it. Also, uh, <clears throat> let this be a lesson that you know. Tell me if there's further echo about their uh, presentation. Hey, there shouldn't be one. Appreciate that. One. Test. Shot fired. Dylan, how long yeah, do we do well, this for? We don't, we don't need appearances to actually have strong arguments. So. Ooh, fight, fight, yeah, a ton of no, I, I think somebody hour? had I don't a. Know. I think somebody had their mic on. I don't know. I think appearances only say about an hour. They usually say about an hour per topic. There. Okay. If appearances add to your intelligence, you don't know how to measure intelligence. No, they don't. They don't. Well, you didn't listen to me. I'd like to. I'd like to clear the slate here. Oh, I just happened to be on your stream when I said hello to you, and you clicked on me. I was just window streaming. I wasn't watching your reposting your. Yeah, my lawyers. My lawyers will get in touch with you. Yeah, I think he's a libertarian. Copyright strike. All right, bro. I don't really care, man. That's fine. DMCA. I, I, oh, he's, he's got he's he's got weak will, not so. game. Oh no, 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 no. Cool. His, his tie knot is weak. Match, like their political arguments. I don't know. Yo, you're a uh, A4 Osmosis is a good dude. I've talked to him quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. No, he's not. I, I like him. He's a nice guy. Oh, it let's works. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm ready nice. to argue. Dylan, can I? Let's fight. What the fuck is Wait, happening? Andre wants to argue. Are we gonna bring up milk? Wait, what the fuck is going on right now? Wait, so we don't can. need lefty infighting right now, okay? Fuck that shit. Okay, hold yeah, on. Lefty can we keep? Can we lefty keep? Um. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. I know, I know, I know. Uh, there's been some right wing infighting on the way leading up to this, but uh, can we keep them? Can we keep <laughs> we, the? Uh... We, settled, we settled our differences. We settled our differences. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah I guess. When they left. Yeah, yeah. Un unequivocal, unequivocal retreat. That is definitely a way well, to well, well, settle once we differences. Got rid of, as soon as we showed wait, each other our once... nipples, everything was yeah. Good. True. What Chud, true. What does Chud's logic look like? I'm a fan, but I have no, no one knows. Dude. No one knows. No one Chud knows. is a man of mystery. Yeah. No one knows. Not even me. Unfortunately, for the people on the right. Uh, you know, gatekeeping each other's opinions just doesn't come as natural. We're Chud, working on it, though. <laughs> on yeah, I know. You guys, you guys love, you guys love chilling with like Nazis, all kinds of stuff. You guys don't oh, gatekeep yeah, it's at all. Nazis. It's awesome. Isn't socialism on the left side of the spectrum? What? No. Chud, you're a coward. Show your face. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa. I just yeah, unmute, and that's what I walked into. You just, <laughs> you just <laughs> Dylan, 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 Dylan. Hey, hey, listen, I just this, unmuted. Though. You just what walked into this? somebody asking whether um, Nazism was actually on the left wing because it's national socialism. So. Okay, 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 I got it, but that's not a topic. Okay, we'll make it up. It isn't true. How interesting. Okay, I'm about to mute everybody. Right off the bat, so let's everybody quiet down, okay? Not real fast. Amazing, Gina. Well, okay, no. okay. We're about we're we're actually. This is gonna be crazy, you guys. I'm this actually be okay. Crazy. One, two, three. Everybody's quiet. Everybody's quiet. I'm quiet. Okay, I'm quiet as fuck. Welcome. I don't I, I don't know what's in everybody's spirits today, but welcome to the Hippie Dippy Podcast. Remember, it's called the Hippie Dippy Podcast. Let's all hug each other, okay? Now we're gonna be talking about a few topics today. I'm going to run down the rules and everybody can introduce themselves. I had a script made to introduce everybody, but then I had so many dropouts that I, that I can't use it anymore. It's basically worthless. So I'm going to have to, I'll have to do that for next week and I'll have fun then. Uh, but for today, I'll just go over some of the rules. This is the Hippie Dippy Podcast. Usually we have, uh, we actually, we're going to do three on three, but now it's four on four because we had two last minute entries and the rules are simple. Do not do your best to not over talk over other people too much. If you do, I will step in. If you do not follow rules, I will mute you. I If you get muted enough times, you can be kicked from the show or even permanently banned. For every topic, you will have a one-minute introduction. During said one-minute introduction, no one can interrupt Please do, you. Mariner. If you interrupt them, that's an insta-mute. I have too many problems with that. Not going to deal with that anymore. For outros, on the end of a topic, you will have another one-minute outro to say your last thoughts on the topic and to respond to others. The last time you can talk about the previous topic is during the one minute intro into the next one. Those are the times and, and periods where you're not allowed to interrupt anybody or, or be in, or talk while somebody else is talking. Between that, we have one hour periods of time where everybody can go back and forth and talk about the topic as much as they want. And we the have audience three spectrum. topics today and one bonus topic. The bonus topic is for if one of the topics everybody agrees or it's too boring, we're just going to shift to the bonus topic. Okay. Is there any rules that are unclear? Does anybody need a need a okay? A4. Thank you, Kes. <laughs> no. Oh, don't call me A4. Uh, Burns. No, no, I don't. I, I don't have any questions. I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. Okay, dope. So welcome to Hippie Tippy Podcast. I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves, and then we will do the first topic. I will go from the bottom. Uh, actually, from the top left first, uh, Cynthia. Oh, um, 
yeah hi I'm Synth. Uh, I do philosophy and politics and stuff. I try to go on panels. Um, I try to play some video games sometimes. Sometimes I leech content from other people by watching their videos. Um, you know, just the usual React Andy shit. Um, but yeah, generally, and I uh, I run a podcast. We're going to start doing it bi-weekly now, um, every Thursday or every other Thursday. But um, yeah, that's kind of about me. She, they pronouns. There you go. Okay, uh, Demon Mama? Yeah, hi. Um, I'm Demon Mama. Um, I just dropped my follows in the chat, so if anybody wants to follow me, you can do that. Um, you can follow me at Demon Ma um, at uh, Demon Mama Live on Twitch or Your Demon Mama on Twitter, or you can follow my YouTube channel by the link. Uh, I do a lot of politics talk um, and a lot of debate content. So, yeah, uh, follow me and come hang out. We have a great community. Wonderful. Suspect Sushi? Hey, that's me. Uh, I'm Suspect Sushi. Uh, if you like hearing a cultural, political discussion about what I think is uh, afflicting the black community, you can go ahead and talk to me, because I'm on the right side of history, and I have the best possible takes you can ever get. <laughs> Yiker. Awesome. Next, we're going to be going to Chud Logic. Hey, I'm Chud Logic. Um, I do React Andy stuff mainly. I'll just give my hot political takes. Uh, I mean, I cream. Just search Chud Logic on most social media platforms, and you'll find me. He also likes to use organizing DM groups to uh, bully uh, panel hosts out of not coming onto the show. He also loves to do that. Uh, Holy Enderlax. shit! Synth also, don't, lit, you, uh, don't you have a camera? Yeah, oh, I do. There it is. No, okay, so um, hi. Uh, yeah, I'm just some random guy who goes on streams. Um, I uh, I'm a socially conservative, economically left populist. I guess would be uh, the best way. To, uh, that is to an incredible political amount values. Of uh, I used to stream. Don't do so anymore. Uh, might have content eventually. Uh, I just enjoy. Um, you know, I used to be uh, the run-of-the-mill progressive Bernie Sanders type of supporting 18-year-old college freshman type. Um, but I realized along the way that uh, social conservatism is probably the only way to have a stable life. Um, and so I have varying values. I agree probably with a lot of the lefties on this panel and what needs to be done on the, in terms of the economy and don't really care about uh, the whole personal liberty side of things. I think live and let live is a good uh, strategy for that. But ultimately, I have uh, conservative social values. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's uh, all I have to say. Uh, and we have a special guest, Afro Andre, who's the top Animal Crossing streamer. Who uh, <laughs> on Twitch he likes to sell people and run a black market of Raymonds. Uh, that's been, what he likes to do. I've been accused of villager trafficking. Uh, you know, things are still pending. Um, no, no, fuck me. Don't follow me. I'm really excited to be here with Chud Logic. I haven't. I feel like I've never hung out with Chud Logic, so this is a big day. I'm all, maybe. Um, yeah, Chud and I will get to chat, and Ender Enderman can like manage my portfolio i've got like some investments i need no problem like yeah no problem probably help me out absolutely <laughs> wonderful wonderful uh and fun fact a for andre was one of the first uh, streamers i ever spoke to and it was on uh get this alley bro stream uh next is going to be uh <laughs> actually uh you're you're right off you're right off the uh uh hot off the presses uh charmander i believe correct yeah uh i'm charmander i don't don't worry about me. Mm. I don't really shill anything for like any type of a media personality. I come from uh, Discord politics, uh, services uh -oh. called politics, uh, discordpolitics.gg, uh, largest political Discord server. Check it out. Uh, I do some stuff over there. Um, I'm a centrist. I work with computers, specifically cybersecurity, and that's about it. I believe me and Chud, we've both been interviewed by that server. I believe so, right, Chud? Weren't yeah, you? Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, that was yeah. good memes. Decent memes, decent memes, that's for sure. A lot of questions about Israel. Anyway, Ankar. <laughs> Gee, come on. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm Ankar. Uh, stream occasionally. I'm going to go ahead and, and make a public commitment to Dylan that I'm going to get a camera so I can, hey, man, I'm, I'm going to do it just for you, you know. Uh, Thank you, buddy. So, you know, I stream some. I kind of inhabit panels. Uh, I mean, I guess that's pretty much it. You know, I've got spicy takes and, uh, I just kind of like, that's I like hanging out, of. talking politics and having a good time talking shit, learning some, some new things and meeting people. So here I am, I'm, I'm here to, you know, inhabit some other panel apparently. So, yeah. uh, one more rule. And this is a more recent rule. I almost <laughs> forgot to state it. 
don't yell at each other in my chat, okay? If you want to DM each other personally, just don't do it in my chat, okay? If you want to respond to people in chat, that's fine, but don't argue with other panel members in chat. Uh, it's just, it, it just gets the stuff a little too heated. Okay, so first question, uh, and I'll start. And remember, everybody has a one-minute intro, so nobody can interrupt them during that time. Should people be required by law to wear masks in public slash businesses? I'll say that one more time for the people in the back. Should people be required by law to wear masks in public slash businesses? You can take the, work, uh, the question however you please. You can take it in whatever direction you want. Just try not to get too off topic. I'm is, there, to mm -hmm. is there an order? Sorry. How does yeah, it there, there will be an order. Yes. Uh, I'm going to start this off with, uh, I'll start off with the bottom right uh, this time, Ankar. Uh, required by law, no. Um, it's already de facto you know, everywhere anyway. So I don't see the point in, in it being a government mandate. And my entire issue with if it becomes a government mandate would be, you know, where does it end? So, you know, the logical next step after masks is, Test. well, you need a vaccine to get on a plane and Test. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So Sorry, I just wanted to make sure my point of contention for it would be, you know, what's the end point? Like, where's the, you know, where does the progress stop? And I don't think that the progress would, you know, likely stop. So I'm just against it wholesale. Okay. Next, we're going to go to Charmander. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> it's I guess pretty similar to this idea of like, you the utility of it. So like, first off, like enforcing masks in public is not really needed by the government. Um, as far as how it pragmatically plays out in the situations it needs to happen. It should be left to the discretion of the private business owners. If you want to talk about like a particular city group or public entity, whether you're talking about like a theater or sports venue or some type of venue like that, the brunt of the cost of implementing those types of things uh, definitely needs to fall on the side of these private businesses and these types of entities. Like the main problem is like the marginal utility of the measure to begin with. So we know that wearing a mask can definitely help reduce in the transmission from person to person. But when you're talking about really just from a legal perspective, enforcing things like a style of dress, like even just something simple over the face, you have to say like, is the marginal utility of uh, preventing people from potentially spreading this virus by maybe what, five to 10%, is that worth like opening up legislation into an area that tries to determine like what people are going to specifically wear on a day-to-day -day basis, whether you think it's valid or not. Is it worth the potential uh, tertiary lawsuits that could come from it? Is it worth the, all these other things? And then the cost to implement when you can just shift those costs over to the, the city or these, these businesses to operate. I think it should be fully like within the scope of the government to try to like incentivize uh, these businesses and public properties to do these things, but mandating to where people mandating people to wear masks not only do i think it would be ineffective in getting people to actually wear masks but the utility that you would get from it um would be offset by the cost of doing so and is marginal to begin with okay next i'm gonna throw it to a4 andre yeah um uh, yeah 100 percent. yeah the, the short answer is yes the long answer is um yeah why not i mean we have laws around uh indecent exposure and, and wearing other articles of clothing and where you can and can't uh, yeah so 100 percent uh the only the only complication is like how do we enforce these things that that i guess is up for debate but i don't think oh, ten thousand million percent um and corporations i'll go even further corporations should be responsible for providing them businesses should uh provide these they should be forced to provide them and people should be forced to wear them uh that's it okay next i'm gonna uh try your best not to breathe heavily into the mic and next i'm gonna go to chud logic um, yeah, I mean, I think anyone who has read any study about this issue would agree that wearing masks does indeed reduce um, the spread of the virus. So the question becomes, how do we get people to do it en masse to it in order to facilitate that? Um, and I'm interested to hear the arguments um, against the idea of the government enforcing a law. It seems like the most straightforward way to do this. Um, I mean, I'm anticipating, I've heard one already, a slippery slope argument to start coming out and it will start with, oh, we have to wear masks and it will end up with, we've got to have tracking devices inserted into our fucking assholes or some bullshit like that. I'm sure we're going to hear some shit like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm interested to hear the arguments, though. Um, and, um, yeah, there's plenty of cases, particularly 
in times of um, a crisis where governments have had to step in to implement um, what seem to be, in some, for some people, quite harsh leg legislative measures, but actually it's kind of fairly sensible legislation to protect the population. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Next, I'm going to go to Endermax. Yeah, I just think that uh, it's in any government's best interest to uh, make sure that uh, public health issues are handled effectively. And I think that uh, it's completely appropriate appropriate for the government to go ahead and um, enforce people. Um, I'm sorry, Ooh, sorry to re that. require people to wear masks in, in public places. Okay, That's next it. we're going to throw it over to Suspect Sushi. By the way, I appreciate the, the extent of masks on the right uh, wing today. Why, though? Oh, they're trying to stop COVID spreading. Hey, A4, look at you. You're spreading COVID right now. All your villagers are going to catch COVID. <laughs> if uh, if we didn't wear these masks, wait, 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 we'd be wait. killing everybody's grandma. I got you guys. So, yeah. oh, wrong one. Uh, there you go. See, he has a mask too. Too. See, all the right. And Car, I bet behind that he's wearing a mask too. The left wing really needs to bring uh, uh, Obviously, to we're morally correct in this already, right? Okay. Of course. So, I'm gonna, we have, we actually I'm care gonna about human life. I, Let's... I had on my mask, but that shit was really hot, so I just took it off. Oh, wait, are you saying Liberty. that your personal comfort no, 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 worth no, no. the life of my no, grandmother? No, 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 we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. Suspect Sushi, it is your Such turn, you get a minute. Dumb. I kind of wanted to keep going with that, but that's fine. If there's a historical pre precedent for man, uh, for before mandating this behavior, then I have a zero issue now. If not, it's not something that's enforced in your area, I couldn't care less, and people should stop complaining about others not wearing masks. If there's a civil mandate, like officers enforcing it, fining you, putting you in jail, whatever the hell, but if there isn't anything like that and you're crying about it, then I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, next I'm going to throw it over to Demon Mama. Yeah, um, I think that it's it's quite clear that we need some sort of legislation to um, encourage um, the wearing of masks. However, I'm I'm very um, I'm very resistant to the idea of uh, like like fining like mask fines um in fact my own state passed a uh, a mask fine and i actually i find that to be a, a pretty terrible way of going about it um specifically because um such legislature tends to harm the most vulnerable people the most people who won't be able to afford a mask would be slapped with a legal fine they could get them in a lot of trouble um however i think it's um undeniable that mask wearing reduces the spread of the disease and spreading the disease is something that can be incredibly lethal, um, not just for older folks, but also for people who are immunocompromised, um, people who might have uh, tr trouble breathing, asthma, all kinds of other conditions can turn this disease from something that's already lethal to something that's very lethal. Um, as a result, it's incredibly important that we take this um, very seriously. However, I tend to, um, I tend to focus, at least in my analysis, less on... Um, mask wearing legislature um, and more on um, like public health encouragement legislation stuff like um, opening uh, empty hotels for um, unhoused people to live in um, stuff like handing out free masks um, and and educational um, initiatives where you know you can send somebody uh, send a bunch of professionals out to go educate people on how this is spread give them free masks give them free hand, hand sanitizer um and resources on where they can go to get free testing um my state does also have a number of these things which is nice uh, i just i don't like the idea of people being fined um because all that means is that the people who can afford a fine can get away for, for you know get away scot-free um wearing no mask and the people who may not be able to afford a mask will be hit with a fine so yeah as long as it's not that type i do strongly support Support, um, legislation to to desperately stop the spread of this disease, which is destroying our country at the moment. Full and finally, Cynthia. Um, yeah, I think yeah, I think uh, local ordinance should require people to wear masks. Um, as the government, it's just in your best interest uh, interest of the constituency, right? You're uh, just trying to uh, cater to them. You're trying to make sure that your state does well. You're trying to make sure that like you actually do well. Right. Um, and like the best way to maximize this would be to not have people walking around without masks and like visibly spreading it to other pe people that then hurts the community. Um, so like, yeah, I, I yeah. And I would even go as far as to say, like, no one like probably no one allowed outside of the U.S. that hasn't been vaccinated yet. Like they unless vaccinations just don't come out. Yeah. You must be vaccinated to like go on a plane. But, like, there should be even harsher restrictions. Yeah. Okay, so everybody has gotten their one-minute introductions. Now I'm going to open up to free-form debate for about one hour. If you've heard anything you disagree with or want to comment on, you are free to do so now.
Can we address the elephant in the room? You wearing your mask in your home? It's like uh, I- ironic, right? You're like poking fun at mask wearing, or no, why no, you no, no. Mask- no. It's tell like me. it's like an identity thing. Tight. Like, so I have a professional career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so it's like part of the what? Oh, you're you're, you're actually you're hiding your identity on the internet because of your work. Almost like a riot. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Is that not normal? Is that? I mean, I've, I've got no issue with that, but yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. it's like a normal thing that people do. Sure. Fine with me. I mean, yeah, there tends to be. I, 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 I don't think anyone's got a problem. I don't know why you're being so defensive. No, no one yeah. gives a fuck. Like, yeah. Suspect sushi. What about you? Are you wearing yours? Is your I'm wearing. I'm wearing, it, I'm wearing it to protect everyone's grandmother. Oh, there Oh, that's a reference to um, something I said last night, which is that uh, if you if you uh, deliberately don't wear your mask outside, that uh, it's not really wrong if people call you a grandma killer because statistically yeah. you probably will kill someone's grandma. But, I, I but you're, in, but you're inside. What's wrong, with, what's wrong mask. with your brain? You're inside. What's yeah, wrong with you, your brain? Are you not inside? So- what if what if there's what if there's multiple people in my home? You don't know my life. <laughs> yeah, but then they'd be in your bubble, wouldn't they? If they're in your home, I presume. If they're like yeah. your family. Do you understand science? Do you understand how science works? You know, what if they have to come into the room? Oh, oh, aside from the side argument, I thought uh, I thought your, your your demon mama's perspective was like well thought out, and Thank I you. appreciate that you recognize that like there are ways to make this an effective thing to happen that is not like it seems really simple to just say make it a law, find people, and like it's easy to just hyper focus on the really loud, obnoxious part of the right that, like, uses this as a thing to, like, you know, like, get out their frustration. But those people are few and far between, and the people it ends up actually affecting may not even be those people. So, Well, well I, I agree with her. With uh, I'm sorry, I missed pronouns in the beginning. She, her. She, her, yeah, or they, them. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yep. sorry. Um, yeah, I agreed with you entirely. Enforcement is complicated, but whether, whether something is difficult to enforce doesn't suggest whether we ought to do it or not, right? I mean... What, well, what I think it's it, less about it, the difficulty what... um, and more about where, like, the priorities in it. Um, like, I think we have, um, as a society, we have a, a sort of reflex, um, partially, I think, because of propaganda and and just, like, cultural, uh, really problematic cultural norms. Um, we, have an, we have sort of a knee-jerk reaction to go towards, like, punitive measures, um, stuff like ticketing and fining people, um, which really just, like that can be completely devastating to somebody who might be already vulnerable. Like, I mean, I, I've seen people out he, out and about in my town who do, who do not have homes, who I, like I see regularly um, and are unhoused and don't necessarily have a mask. Realistically, they probably don't have access to it or they had a mask at one point and it just wore out. Um, and I think that for them to be ticketed would be horrific like that would be horrifically inhumane so my approach is hey this is a disease yes we need to take it seriously and yes we should um we should probably develop some kind of way to deal with um like stuff like the anti-mask crowds um which i mean i have relatives who've participated in that and i have really gone a little crazy on them about about that but yeah yeah i've got sympathy for the people that 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 don't wear masks they've been propagandized right like they're you know it's it's not really their fault to a degree the amount of propaganda coming out about masks is absurd yeah sure. absolutely i mean look uh i ultimately uh i was briefly living uh after coronavirus started i was in between moving and uh i was living at my uh my parents place place briefly and i ended up having to move out earlier than i had intended because they were being so stupid uh, i come from a family of of uh religiously conservative people who like don't like don't really have any other political takes other than just that they're pro-life and that's what they vote on but this the mass thing specifically you know uh the, the, the power of Facebook propaganda is insanely strong. And this is what I'll say about the, the enforcement, specifically with enforcing it through police officers. Um, it's interesting to me that there are some uh, lefties here who might advocate for a policy like this when, indeed, they're the ones who constantly complain about all cops being bastards and how all of them, them interacting with minority communities is dangerous and might, might actually lead to them dying. It seems odd to me that in a community that's disproportionately being affected by this virus, notably the, uh, the black community, uh, that those are the people who might, if, if they're not wearing a mask and then a police officer gets called, um, what, what's going to happen to them? So, I mean, I, I agree. I think enforcement is a, a bit of a, a conundrum um, when you're talking about enforcing mask use publicly. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm not advocating for like a, a squad of SWAT officers to go and fucking yeet some black dude that's <laughs> not wearing a mask. Do you know what I mean? Um, I agree. Enforcement is a complicated thing. But again, there's lots of laws that are enforced poorly. It doesn't mean you don't have the law because, oh, how do we enforce it correctly? You know? Yeah, well, there just, has to be some level of well, Yeah. 
You can't yeah, just you say, can't trust the I, in an ideal world, things would be ideal, so we should just yeah. try it anyways. If it's not going to pragmatically work, and you're going to cause more suffering, you're going to have these nice interactions between police and the community that you love so much in exchange for, what, living up to ideals? That's insane. <laughs> like, that's just insane. Like, just if the law, if we can't get people to wear masks, or the byproduct of getting people to wear masks is that innocent people are affected, you have more of these negative interactions with police, like more tertiary issues, then at some level you would say, oh, okay, let's find a different way to get this done. You wouldn't just say, well, just because it's hard. Like, well, no, your sol your solution is, is some fucking brain-dead utopian nonsense of leave it to the businesses. What, what do you mean? That? You're just trying to do a little reversal here. You're the one who has said, well, the ideal's there. Let's just live up to it. What do you think Wait, the what? marginal increase in percentage of people that wear a mask would be if it was a law? So right now, you can go out in public. <clears throat> I live in Texas, and I'm not from here, but I live in Texas. And you go out in public, and essentially, I don't know, 80%, 90%, almost 100% in some places of people are wearing masks already. So if you codify this, if you create an executive mandate that you have to wear a mask, what what is the marginal increase in the population well, that you're going to get that's going to comply with it where they're not already doing it to do things like get into the grocery store well i mean well, that's the I thing mean, wait but there's but, a couple yeah, of problems adding, with that. go go ahead go ahead adding the fine and actually making their like repercussions to these like actions right like that's that's something that might actually force someone who doesn't want to do it at all who respects the law which i i would hope most Republicans or conservatives respect the law. Um, but like someone who respects the law, someone who actually like thinks that it's, you know, just, I mean, these people might actually want to, I don't know, do it if there are repercussions. So are you, advocating, law, like, are you advocating for codifying this or doing it via mandate? Um, because right now in Texas, it's being done via mandate. So it's not actually a law. That's not what that is. I have a good solution, yeah. um, one that I do personally, and uh, you know, call me an anarchist uh, for for su suggesting this. But I think that we should bring back a good old thing called social shaming. The best thing you can do is whenever you see somebody yeah. with no mask, is look them straight in the eyes and point and go. No, I'm serious though. It actually does work. Um, I I have I have literally uh, like stared down multiple people without masks or just been like, hey um no mask like that really works people don't like being confronted on that and some of them get offensive and yeah i don't really think that that's going to be a, a viable wide scale solution but i do think that social pressure is important um and also it doesn't involve anybody being uh seriously harmed besides being slightly embarrassed at a number of people pointing at them and the fact they're not wearing a mask um i do think though that um there's there's Something that troubles me in a lot of these conversations is um, people downplay just how bad um, the spread of the disease actually is without masks. People who don't wear masks are endangering everyone else. They're not endangering themselves. Um, you wear your mask for other people. You wear your mask for every other person in a space that you enter into. So people who are going into a um, to a like a store or a grocery store or, a, or an area that's going to be, you know, somewhat unavoidably crowded for a number of really complicated reasons. Um, that they are actually doing, um, they're threatened, like not just threatening, but they're, they're actually quite potentially doing an incredible amount of harm to people. And that's the only reason why I think in this, um, particular case, there is, there is some case to be made for punitive measures. I just don't tend to prefer them. And I think that they should be other, other methods should be exhausted first, other methods that have not been exhausted first. Um, it's just like, if you look at the math at how this disease spreads, we're talking about exponential spread. One person not wearing their mask could infect every person who is wearing their mask in that store. 20% is more than enough to infect everybody in that, all the 80% of people who are doing their part in that store. Um, at this point, doctors recommend treating yourself as if everyone is infected at all times. Um, because that's basically how infectious this disease is. We're talking about a disease that spreads incredibly easily, primarily through droplets. Um, and also, uh, it's, you know, been sort of well documented that viral load is incredibly important, meaning that um, if you happen to inhale some very tiny particles from somebody um, that escaped through their mask, you're less likely to get infected than if like somebody basically accidentally spits in your eye and you don't notice it because that happens literally all the time when people are talking to each other. Social distancing and mask wearing is incredibly important, and it's not to protect just the individual. It's to protect everyone. So people who don't wear their masks are actually doing a real material harm to others. And I think that's something that
that should be taken seriously, even though I do advocate um, for other non-punitive solutions first. Yeah, I mean, you know, what about just having like coppers, police officers, just uh, having like a, a stock of free masks to dish out to people that aren't wearing one and that maybe can't afford one, for example? Like, I don't know, that seems like a fairly reasonable solution. Sure. That sounds that sounds perfect to me. But first, you've got to get the uh, police officers to actually wear the masks themselves. I mean, I, True. I was walking by a sheriff's deputy yeah, yeah. just today. I uh, went to the liquor store. Thanks, and it's Spectre not Melodies. a great place uh, to go if you're uh, trying to look for a store where people are wearing masks, mind you. But uh, almost no one was wearing a mask, of course. And there was a sheriff's deputy in there who wasn't wearing a mask. And uh, I... I mean, I, I didn't say it. I should have. And you're completely right about the social sh shaming thing. The first thing that came to my mind was, you know, I wanted to just say, you know, if Donald Trump can get over his ego enough to wear a, f a, a fucking mask, then, you know, a, sher a no-name sheriff's deputy should be able to put on a mask, especially given that you're probably a Trump supporter. But, um, you know, to me, this is really cut and dry issue. Uh, and I agree, it's obvious Mariner. that a lot of people are going to die. Um, then we need to do whatever we can to make sure that uh, the least amount of people die. And well, I, I, I value human I, life more than I value um, my a, autonomy to go into a Walmart without a mask on. Ooh, everybody I dies. I mean, I maybe. agree with what you guys are saying, except, like, the one thing that worries me about the rhetoric is, like, the idea that mask wearing, like, has a ton of utility. Like, like Oh, it does. So that we, it does. It does. Uh, the so is, uh, so the science itself actually says that um, in the ideal scenario where 95% of people wore a mask from roughly the start of pandemic, to let me look at i'm looking at the ihme study that they could have only curtailed the amount of deaths by what they estimate in best case scenario by about thirty thousand people wow out thirty thousand human yeah. beings not being dead oh, is a pretty I major know, number know. listen Holy we don't need fuck. to be hyperbolic but that's like, not hyperbolic no, that's not no. hyperbolic. even that's your data here fucking people <laughs> So, They're just hitting you with the one is too many. What? 30,000 people? Okay, 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 okay. Let, uh, we, can, we, can, we can raise our voice without vi making the microphone have a seizure, okay? So, so let's... Statistically, let's... The, the important thing here is, is <laughs> what? not whether to wear a mask or not. It's that when the mask becomes this, this like, a silver bullet that's going to, like, yeah. greatly t t fight back the tide of this coronavirus... That, I think, is a misrepresentation. That can be a separate point from whether you should or shouldn't wear a mask. But the idea that it's going to, like, help us ride out this pandemic in a major way, no. But that was, was like, crazy. yeah, but those numbers... Bullet, it's one thing of many. It's yeah. one thing of many. And, and those numbers... That's one way to look at it, no but I'm just saying, like as a singular measure, it's just, it's yeah. it's good. This is it little... should be done, but, but it's probably not enough. There's probably more right. totally different things you need oh, to look at. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I get that study? Also, just so yes. you know, by those numbers, that is a, a tw almost a 25% reduction in deaths. So by any measure, that's not... Uh, I know that uh, Suspect Sushi wanted to try and make the one death is too many uh, like jab, but um, I don't know. Last time I checked, 25% is a pretty massive reduction. 25% hey, of what? The four 25% of the, of the current amount of people who are... Who are who have died i mean that's just by your numbers i have i've never looked at this yeah, particular study. study yeah, yeah please study right yeah that'd be that'd be helpful so i'm curious demon mama what's your uh how vehemently or with what amount of fervor do you attack heart disease i'm sorry what <clears throat> so you know we have a lot of people that die in this country for a lot of easily preventable reasons and the you know the no, the highest causes of death in this country are essentially all, always preventable and i'm just wondering yeah, like everyone else yeah, wait 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 hold on hold on hold on, hold on, hold on a second wait 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 this was, this was addressed to me this is addressed to me something is like if you're going to be that emotional and that adamant about thirty thousand people dying of coronavirus I, i'm curious how adamant and emotional you are with regards to things like heart disease i've just got a couple one one quick one quick little note um you can't catch heart disease from other people you can't prevent no, heart you catch disease. heart disease from being wildly out of shape and sedentary um actually <laughs> um that is like a anything? that is like a kindergarten <laughs> understanding of heart disease and in fact believe it or not I, I think it's really um telling but but coronavirus has been um very very tightly uh tied i believe there's like a, a 40 percent increase in chance of heart disease following a severe coronavirus infection so i guess i could turn this around on you oh it leaves and, you with neurological problems it damages your lungs for men it can cool. essentially yeah thank you i agree testicles. i totally agree like, like thank you so much for agreeing with my <clears throat> case and completely oh, d completely I, hamstringing like, your own argument one which was one of the no, dumbest no, things i've I ever heard you, anyone say to me i don't think you know what my argument is 
But the point that I'm trying to make- Your is argument not, is, that, is that people die, well, therefore we shouldn't care about a separate no, disease? No, well, let's, let, no, let's hear him. Let's hear him first. My point is, I don't understand why you are so- Like, you have such an emotional outburst with regards to coronavirus. And I'm thinking it's most likely because this is a politicized issue. Something or, that's not a politicized issue, you don't seem to really- like I don't, I don't. Do you know watch any? Do you ever? Do you ever watch any of my content? Do you ever listen to anything that I ever say? You don't really have I've a good. Um, you don't really have a good. You. you don't really exactly. Ha yeah, and <clears throat> and on all of those, let's see. Let's talk about the emotional uh, outbursts you've had on those, right? Like uh, something about uh, machine gun nests and children. I, I'm trying. I'm sorry. I'm struggling oh my to remember. God, you just made Ankar win five bucks for me because someone was gonna pull that shit up. <laughs> oh, you better bet it. I'm gonna always bring that shit up, especially if somebody's oh. accusing me of being emotional yeah. when saying thirty thousand people shouldn't uh, die from a preventable wait, illness. No, no, no. Well, it yes, is a hyperbolic in. response, in. right? So you did it galvanize is. the it's conversation. Out of, uh, right, it's out of rhetoric. Proportion. Like, come on now. It's yeah, it, so, it's really it's so, funny. It's, it's so really so funny that Ankar is going to try and talk to me about being emotional after on the past three panels I've been on every single time he's done an, do an, an elaborate. It, it, what is that supposed to mean? Is that an you argument? You seem emotional about it. Yeah, as it turns it's out, 30,000 people dying, actually 131,000 or whatever we're at right now, the can't remember the exact number, is a pretty large amount of people to die. Um yeah, and a lot is. of and having a lot of family members in in uh in in risk does actually yeah, that usually does in in a in a, you know, healthy human being pr produce we an emotional saved reaction a lot of for sure. Lives if Como would have put more masks in the nursing homes. Oh, totally. I 100% agree with you. Thank. Uh, I'm, I'm glad we're in agreement we, on that. We could have saved more lives if he well, hadn't put you know, to mandated the study that they that go was... back to the, the nursing homes. But, True. The study, study that was posted, like, so that number is like speculation, first off. I'm trying to be actually a little bit charitable with the study. It's just what I'm trying to say is like social distancing, for example, is more effective at reducing coronavirus deaths than wearing a mask. Oh, like, yeah, that's that's perfectly that's completely true, obviously. Yeah. But but like that doesn't mean that you don't right. do it at the same time. So like, not just social. There are other measures too. like there are other measures which which are are proven to be more effective. The rates of death, I believe he was carrying, uh, comparing the 30,000 number to was going from a one using a 180,000 early estimate to an increased like 200,000 or so estimate. I mean, I don't I like that's fine. But like, have has anybody paid attention to our numbers? Like we're breaking we're breaking the numbers of even the more aggressive predictions. Um, uh, that were early on of how many how many cases we're going to get and there's no predicting just how bad it's going to get i don't know if you've looked at our curve lately there, it's pretty pretty phenomenally bad there may be no and action to fix that and to correct that. um i mean there would have been that's the whole thing if you didn't have people pushing against every possible one we could have prevented this extensively and that is objectively fact because ev other nations with higher and more dense populations have managed to keep their inf infection rates under control and we have not uh, I don't know. I mean, if we wanted to look you are at data incorrect. Online, yes, ab absolutely. Well, I challenge you, any, you. Do you have a study that you can like post that talks I, about you how can literally go other get the countries with the same population density and problems? Like, because that is a claim, right? And while I do think other certain countries like South Korea, Germany took especially ostensive measures to be prepared, the idea that the United States was particularly underprepared compared to most other countries i don't know if that bears out in the data um it absolutely does we have phenomenal we, we have phenomenal travel, numbers one of the first response no we, that is that is well, false yeah yeah that's the question let's hear nope, wrong hear wrong response. well demon mama why, why, why is that wait wait why is wait which one am i trying to address here the fact that like he, he said that that america was not particularly unprepared compared to other western nations uh, that just doesn't that, that? like i mean if you look at our numbers our, our first of all between population and uh and between and how spread what has that, gone what does that have to do with being prepared wait what we weren't well, talking we weren't just talking about preparation we were talking about measures that were taken we barely took any measures i know okay. because i was literally the state that i live in was the uh was the first hot spot we were the first ones to raise the well, that's what Dylan asked you, so I thought that's what you were addressing. Wait, what? I was I literally <clears throat> just addressed his question, like which is the fact that we have not we have not taken or, or upheld any of the recommendations, like like many of the recommendations made by major organizations, and this has led to an obvious increase in um in our um in our infection rates. Like like our, our numbers yeah. speak for themselves. No other country has as many infections as we do right no, now. No, no, I don't. That's I just don't perceive science to work that way, where we just look at the numbers and they speak to us. Like so, I think if you look I mean, at did... what countries enacted like what quarantines at the rate at which they did, the amount of money that was spent on preventative measures, 
uh, the amount of money that was spent on procuring the cure and programs and things like this. The United States hasn't done as perfect as we wanted to, or even the best by any means. When you look at, like I said, South Korea, Germany, really strong responses, uh, a lot of preparation there. The United States definitely did fall short from like its high standard, but saying that it was particularly unprepared, I think. Oh, that's absolutely. More no, I'd be willing to go into that. Utility than real world utility, and I think when you actually look at United States preparation and start to compare it to places like Canada, Australia, New Zealand, some of these other places, you'll actually find a lot of similarities in the way that they're uh, handling the people pandemic. like to have sort of selective um selective amnesia on um on what our country actually did um we had a completely unaccountable um coronavirus task force that um that recalled and and gathered supplies from all over the globe and then sold it to private industry some of which were sold immediately back to the place that they originally came from we um we had a president who directly obstructed um the distribution of 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 uh, supplies that were very 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 well needed in fact he openly boasted on national television about not picking up the call when certain mayors that he didn't like um decided to come in i i'm just i'm sorry you're you're if you're if you're trying to accuse me of political utility there i just feel like you're just playing well, I mean, uh, I'd very like selective I'd, I'd, I'd really like i'd really like to hear something from i see a4 has been trying to get in for a while so a4 what do you what, I, I, I was so excited i was so excited about the uh, the heart disease how do you say your name anchor yeah it was so terrible yeah. um what like so if there, if i could wear a mask to prevent um uh people uh, from getting heart disease or experiencing heart attack i would i i do i don't i don't serve my uh friends, family members, loved ones, uh, animal products. Cause I think it increases the risk of heart disease and I don't, and I won't, I wouldn't. And, and if I could wear a mask, if it were more simple then yeah, I could. I mean, the, are you going well, to wear a mask every year for the seasonal flu? If I think that it will reduce uh, drastically, it will. reduce the amount of I mean, death. It, it does in, in Asian countries, like they have lower flu sure. deaths every year. So I think, so I think, so I think uh, wearing masks more frequently is something we should have conversations about and something I'm entirely willing to do. I don't even find it that uncomfortable. Um, but like, I, I, what, what is the question specifically? Do we care about people dying? I, is that, that's not what you wanted to ask, right? Are you asking if that's what I wanted to ask? Yeah, because you, that you're inferring when you were asking uh -oh. the mama earlier about heart diseases, like you don't care about death if it's not politicized. That would be ridiculous. No, well, you wouldn't ask that, right? No, I'm, I, the thing is, I don't understand yeah, yeah, this why, is good. like it seems out of proportion. So we have, you know, a flu season every year kills what 80 to 120,000 people. That's never really an issue. We have, we have like a lot of causes of death in this country and we can make better, uh, we can curtail the death in this country through other, by, you know, addressing other issues outside of the mass. So like my, my so real you concern say ignore is so, this issue and concern. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. Okay. So I'm guessing everyone on this panel concern probably trolling. wears a mask in public. Like, it seems like maybe, okay, well, fucking sushi, of course. But, like, me personally, like, I've got a P100 mask. Like, I rock, I rock it with my Trump hat. Like, I have, like it's an awesome-looking mask. It's fucking, like, really soft uh, rubber. I like wearing it. It also. probably would look cooler without the Trump hat. And, Sushi, eh, why are you so it's... proud of not wearing a mask? You fucking Hold on, suck. hold on, hold on. I wanna... You should wear a mask. Why are you so cavalier? You're like, I don't wear a mask. Why are you so proud of that? So, hold on, hold on. Wait, here's the thing. Okay. The so, I'm being thinking... proud has nothing to do with me not wearing a mask. That was you. Right. You just said, well, I know. He said everyone wore a mask, and I just shook my head no without interrupting him. Emphatically. But... Right. Ahead. So, here's, here's the issue. Uh -oh. Most people <laughs> that I personally witness, and I'm hoping that everybody else... I told this is going to be spicy. The sentiment. Most people that I see in public are wearing a mask when they are near other people. They'll get out of the car without the mask on, but normally by the time they get inside Kroger, they all have a mask on because it's required when you get inside the store. So my point of contention with this issue is as follows. It's what is the, the marginal gain by codifying the mask, wearing of the mask into mm -hmm. law or into executive whatever, and how much effort is everybody willing to put into this issue versus how much marginal gain could be had on another issue and preventing deaths and increasing quality of life in those issues. And I'm, it's, it feels to me 
as though the only reason that we're the only reason we're even talking about this issue is because it's politicized. Really? It's politicized. Yeah. Yes. And I mean, who politicized? The only reason the only reason why we're discussing it is because an issue on, it's an issue on the panel. If Dylan wanted to talk about heart disease. I'd be pre prepared for that conversation. Are you are you taking steps to prevent heart disease in yourself and loved ones? Do you consume animal products? It's not oh. even an important question. Oh. We can move oh, on. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, since <laughs> since you keep bringing it up, since you keep bringing yeah. it up, I actually do. I want to ask you about this. Okay. So you talk about you would wear a mask if you could stop heart disease. You know. So 655,000 people die roughly every single year due to heart disease in the United, in the United States. It's sure. actually disproportionately not white people, despite making up the majority of the population. They are like, I think, second, the second, it's like 23% of the people who die of this. 18% uh, are, are Native, Native Americans or uh, Pacific Islanders. There's uh, like 20, I think another 20% is our Hispanic individuals. Another 23.5% are, um, are black individuals. So here's, here's my question to you. Okay. So we have 650,000 people dying every single year. This is largely caused by unhealthy diets, by lack of physical sure. activity, excessive alcohol use, overweight, over being obese. I used to weigh 320 pounds. I was definitely at risk later in my life of uh, a development developing heart disease. So here's my question to you. If, if you would wear a mask to uh, limit the spread of, of heart disease, if that was possible, what else would you do? Would you mandate schools um, like cater specific diets to individual students? Like, would it be okay for a school to have a program where students went in and they they stepped on a scale in the nurse's office and the nurse, the nurse prescribed them a meal that they would get every single day until their weight was under control? Would you be in favor of more harsh P PE? Uh, activities like what what would you do to solve the obesity crisis in america or what policies would you implement since obviously mask wearing isn't one of them Man. like yeah, how far get, would you go I, I don't want to get too far away from the conversation but i will address your point and i i do think healthier lunches are a great idea and i like i i, I work at a gym i like physical fitness is my life but i think diet is probably a primary response uh exercise is, is something that's good but like i it's just silly like Yes, I think it would be obvious uh, that Demon Mama is concerned about heart disease, but the discussion today is about masks. And if we can wear masks to prevent deaths, we certainly should. And should we enforce this, or should this yeah, be required? Well, also, there's an easy response here. Deaths by making sure the yes, children are not yes, obese yes, and yes are physically active. Yeah, but, but, uh, okay, but this yes. is a total red herring because there's, 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 like, first of all, there's an issue that would that would address all of these, which is fucking having universal health care would address not only heart yes. disease, but it would address all of the underlying. No, actually Excuse You're me, wrong. I am Wait. not finished. Um, it would not. It would. It would. Uh, it would undermine a number of the conditions leading up to it, because as you'll as as you know. Um, surely, if you're this passionate about that issue, you would you would understand that obesity, obesity and heart disease are both multi-factor diseases. They have incredible factors. One of which, one of the most predominant, is nutrition in childhood. Having um, having a robust uh, healthcare system where children are regularly going to the doctor for free without their parent, regardless of uh, of how much their parents have, being able to do that will improve. Not only their literacy on health issues, but also their their likely outcomes in later life. Another thing that would greatly address this is having a more robust social safety net. Stuff like the doctor's snap. gonna give them. Are you? Food? Can you tell me something? Are you? Are like? Just out of curiosity, you know, it wasn't that I became literate on health issues that I decided to lose weight. It was that because I decided, wow, my life is miserable because of my obesity, and I've let myself go so so much. And I had already been aware for maybe 10 years prior to that, you know, I wasn't eating healthy, that I wasn't living correctly, et cetera, et cetera. I'm telling you, the literacy has nothing to do with it. it has oh, it absolutely does. Being, it has mm -hmm. everything to do with no, these no, no, children no, 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 being no. overfed, junk food, and not having individualized plans of care, and not being forced to exercise. Because here's the, here's the problem. Set it. Being sedentary is the number one cause of heart disease. You can you could say it's multivariate. You're correct. There's diabetes, obesity, being overweight, physical inactivity, drug. Like there's all sorts of different factors, but those are the major ones. Okay. And okay. I'm telling you right now, you need to instill a value of being fit and eating healthy, and do not. And, and a lot, this is this is what really gets me is there seems to be a movement on the social left of accepting all body types of accepting oh people boy. for Here we go. health okay. at any size. No, it, are are you? You're, do you, you are, have no, like? You're the no, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, dude, dude, like holy whoa, fucking whoa. shit! No, 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 no. dude, no, you need to calm yourself down because you just went off on a hell of a tear on like 15 different Absolutely. issues, and I have no yeah. idea what your problem is. I do, and I do. Uh, I'm clearly, I'm clearly gish galloping. Also, I'd like you to say very I'm for Medicare for all, but Medicare for all is unsustainable as long as we have a population of extremely obese inactive adults so we need to go ahead and fix those problems first okay, okay. so, so wait wait so would you I'm, I'm talking i'm talking i would want to say we want to try our best in the future to stay Holy on topic. i get what you were getting with that under next just like it was like 15 points we just uh limit it so more people can respond okay so okay let's go so are we arguing with fantasy leftists that we're making up the top of our heads now is that what's happening
<laughs> no, I'm I'm curious, Chud. Would you advocate jail time for not wearing a mask? Uh, no, that seems quite excessive. I don't think that's uh, the right way to deal with it. Um, you know, I support rehabilitative justice. It, idiots. So um, I don't quite know how that fits in terms of mask wearing. I think the simplest solution is just make masks available to people that can't afford them. That's probably the simplest way to deal with the issue. And um, yeah, to answer your other point, it would seem that universal health care would be the uh, good way to deal with heart disease. Uh, Ankar, do you support universal health care? Negative Ghost Rider pattern. Universal, you know, healthcare is a commodity provided by the third party and is not a human right. I didn't, um, I didn't <laughs> ask that question. I don't remember asking that. I just asked Ankar a very simple yes or no question. I've got the answer. Thank you. That's all I wanted to ask. He offered yeah, you no, no one knowledge. cared. I gave you the free knowledge. <laughs> Suspect Why Suchi, the he proud non mask wearer. Okay, one at a time. Is, one at a time. Is the new smoking, I think is what they say. But well, regardless from that, like, like you said, Chad, clearly there's no need for legislation when we can just give the masks away for free, right? They're cheap. Easy yeah, he to looks give like away. he yeah, does um, look like he idolizes Spending all that Patrick taxpayer Bateman. dollars on legislation would just be a waste. Just be a waste. I mean, whatever gets the job done, to be honest with you, you know, I mean, I'm not I'm not like super wedded to the idea of like making it legislation per se. If there's another solution, great. If it's the case that people that can't afford masks get access to them. Fantastic. Everyone's got a mask. You know, the trouble is, though, is is one issue with that is actually getting them to wear it when they're out and about. Right. Like, How do you enforce that and make sure that's happening? You're you know? already seeing that the businesses are mandating it. You can't go in to buy like I, I don't know of any Wait. business that I can actually <sighs> go into where I, I can go in without wearing a mask. I mean, I, I see people without masks all the time. OK, to, OK, yeah. no, no, no. I, I want to see them this without is it, but not inside anywhere. This is this is so dumb. Holy shit. Just because they have a fucking sign on outside, there are people like sushi who will come in without masks. They do not give a single fuck, okay? I work at a fucking retail job. You want to know how many fucking people I've seen without masks after the local government started having fines for it? Too fucking many, dude. Too fucking many. Like the, So should the, we put the, them in the gulag for not wearing a mask? Here comes those straw men I don't again. Fucking I mean, well, I'm just curious. Like, because I don't even either... know where I argued. No, no, no. Where did I argue that? Can you please tell me? Well, no. I'm wondering what it, what measure you would like to take because it's already been mandated in your locality, and Demon Mama has already displayed that it's going to disproportionately um, affect people that are least them. able to pay I've for already... it if you find them. And if you don't find them, what measure are you going to take? Do you I've... want to put them in jail? I've already given you my take on this. Okay, no, I've actually... already said no. No, no, I was saying, I was just, sorry, I just sort of reactively oh. responded to him saying, okay. should you put them in jail? No, that in fact would increase their likelihood of death, no, saying so yeah, jail is basically a like COVID super, nightmare right now. That would be like super cringe. Like that's way excessive for us. So then um, what but like, this having, is just concern trolling, by the way. Holy shit. Okay, I'm just, I'll not talk. It's okay. So hyperbolic. Synth, synth, I'd, like to, I'd like to hear your position. What is it? Um we've we've given the rule okay the rule adds some bit uh laws don't mean that it's all not always broken that is true um or govern ordinance doesn't always mean that it's not always broken that's true um like we've given like a punishment we've given a fine um if anything we've done like the government's kind of done what we can i agree with demon mama actually social shaming dude i when i am in the store I well, I try not to do it like as much because it's pretty rude whenever like a worker is staring at you. But like staring at someone in the store that has um that doesn't have a mask on is insanely effective. Like they will fucking cower away in fear. It is the most, it is the funniest fucking thing to just stare at someone in the eye, be it yep. like a five yep, three right. short little trans woman, and like they run away, dude. Like yeah, public shaming. Fuck yeah. That's the way we need to do it. We need to I, make a societal norm of actually wearing the mask while I there's agree. a pandemic. Anytime, anytime you do any action that is uh, like directly going to harm society, I think other people should shame you for it. And that's why I think we should shame fat people as well as people who don't wear masks. So that's <laughs> cool. I really You're appreciate so it. Out we gotta out stop harming Okay, well, we I mean... I knew it was coming. I know, yeah, I, I, I sensed this. I had a feeling that you had some sort of like axe to grind specifically with fat people. Um, oh, well, I just... used to wait, 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 one second. Let me let me help you. Let me help you conceptualize. That that was me. Good for you. So you know, yeah, self hate self hate is a hell funny. of a drug, yo. 
I, yeah, it's not it's not self hate. It's it's self love actually. It's being treating myself the way I deserve to be treated and not poisoning my body. Yeah, I didn't ask for your life story, buddy. Shut the fuck oh, up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Good job, Ender. Good job. Let's try. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. Let's try to do our yeah, best to be productive. Awful. Who wants to engage with the point that Ender and Axe just put forward? Does anybody? Know? What was the point? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, everybody, 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 talking at once. Raise your hand if you want to engage with it. Oh, I don't have a. Raise your hand. Okay, I'm giving this a. Okay, so, so we're not. So even in the straw man that you're providing, which is just like all the fucking fat people, dude. Like the, which is nice. Um, good meme. Um, we. You probably shouldn't support things that are unhealthy, generally. Um, obesity probably shouldn't be glorified. Um, being a little bit overweight isn't going to kill you. Um, like is. being a bit... Oh, okay. Then you're just... Then you just deny oh. science. Then that's fine. Um, but like... Yeah. We, we don't like... We don't glorify people who are obese. We, we don't glorify very unhealthy things. That's generally what we try to steer away from in society. Um, so, like, I don't know. Like, you're just kind of what about is me? You're, you're kind of just drama. Like, it, it, this is a non-argument to the no. original argument we actually you, had. You brought up you brought up public shaming, and I'm telling you, I agree. Let's shame non-mask wearers. Let's tell them you are killing people, and let's also tell the people that are doing very unhealthy things for society as a whole that they're also killing people and killing themselves. I think that's completely wait, appropriate. Wait, wait, I have a question. Oh, oh, wait, so wait, so so should I go debate concern? Like, I should just go to church and like tell people they're being really toxic because they're perpetuating like stereotypical gender roles, and that's actually Actually shitting no. on like a whole bunch no, of people. Uh oh. Okay, so no, it's not no, consistent. Oh no. Is, uh oh. Wait, 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 wait. Public wait, shaming wait, wait. will not work out for yeah, your best hold interest. up, hold up, real quick, real quick, because it's oh, not a you're right, because I... right wingers will shoot me. So no. Yeah. Okay. okay you're, 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 and the next one's response. Yeah. I, I specifically want to point out that if you go to a church, you're you're interacting with a group of people who are all in a private place of worship that are all worshiping saying whatever they're saying if i go to a store right which is a public place and somebody's not wearing a mask okay then that's directly affecting me i think it's right to publicly shame them now if i also go to the store and i see somebody who is you know morbidly obese and i think wow this person's inflating my health care costs they're causing people not to get access to, to medical Holy. care anymore. all right they're, all right they're, they're, they're all right literally... demon mama demon mama let him finish let him finish they're 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 also killing themselves and probably promoting really unhealthy habits for their children and the people around them so i really think that you know it's okay in that in that case so dude, also say, you know, what, what do you mean? No, it, hey, you know, you're morbidly obese. That's oh, really not good for everybody. Uh, I think you really should get on a diet and start exercising. Okay, okay, well, so I want to say that the amount of fucking trauma I have from conservatives influencing my life early to the amount of like self hating transphobia to the not fucking finding out that I was trans until I'm like 18, my dude. Yeah, you know what? Fuck, pre fuck people who go to Christian church and are like again and are for traditional gender roles. So fuck edgy. That shit. Like, so edgy. Oh, oh, nice. Good dismissal. That was no, a really no, good I one. Just, you have I don't want to bring up something really quick. Class? Hold on, I'm just very outraged because, you know, how could we possibly let all these thousands of people die from the obesity comorbidity that comes from COVID-19? This disgusting obesity comorbidity that increases someone's chance of death. Maybe up to 30 to 40 to 50,000 people could have died from this disgusting obesity comorbidity. We need to go in the streets now. We need to start running all the fat people everywhere we can. <laughs> Run them. I'm getting a little heavy. I'm getting a little older. My wife would love it too. I should start running some laps as Dream well. Mama, you want like, to we got to get on this me. right now. I'm Dream in Mama, outrage. Hey, Dream Mama, you want to say something? I, I, I mean, like, I, 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 Demon Mama, you want to say something? I, I just, I don't even know what happened to this conversation. I, I think that this is a, a like extremely bad faith engagement on the part of Endernax of uh, like and I don't know I guess I guess I just wouldn't I just wouldn't really take like I don't know that type of uh, the health advice of like oh obese people exist well we should just force them to run is one of the dumbest things I've ever heard said on any panel I've ever been yes. on in my entire life yes. and uh, and uh, I just I don't know if we're gonna talk about bullying people just for like, like various random things I think we should bully well, Endernax for, for we should bully Endernax for being a like shitty knockoff Patrick Bateman yeah. <laughs> I like you better than the actual Patrick oh, Bateman. Don't worry. Oh, I mean, I will give Indernax this. Look, Indernax may be stranger than fuck, but he's not. He's not in bad faith. He's just fucking strange. Like I don't personally understand him at all. 
Yeah, so, well, strange, stupid, same well, thing. Well, it yeah. takes it took I think uh, six really? hours on Prime Stream to kind of digest. Anyways, anyways, I, I I think that it's funny that you uh you'd say that it's bullying fat people to try and get them to live healthier lives. But if somebody doesn't wear a mask, it's not bullying. It's just social shaming. Oh no! But at it, the end of the day, is social shaming is just bullying. Right? No, no. So it's, you're it's, an advocate it's, for bullying as long as it goes along with your narrative. Right. Oh no, 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 no. Is okay. No, no, but wait, wait, wait. I just wrong, wrong, wrong. No, no, no. You asked me a specific I question. I want to respond. I want to respond. What is this? What? What is this? Okay, okay. We'll go. We'll go. Endernax. We'll go to Demon Mama, and I know Endernax is going to respond to something Synth said, so then we'll go back to Synth, and if anybody else wants to comment, we'll go from there. Okay. Yeah. So, hey, Synth, I really understand where you're coming from as far as, like, right-wing conservatives giving you trauma in your life. I completely empathize with you. You know, my parents were uh, social conservative religious individuals. I'm personally not religious myself. I uh, I do not believe in God anymore. But, uh, you know, I, I have a lot of shit in my childhood. You know, I was homeless at one point. Um, my parents stuffed, uh, uh, like, a, a love-yourself motto. They they overfed me. They told me that I was a, a handsome young man despite uh, being over 150 pounds overweight. You were. Um, and, and they were abused. Abusive. They were honestly abusive parents, and I just I'm really concerned about ending abuse, and so I'm really sorry you had to go through that with those conservatives. I really wish they wouldn't have abused you like that, um, and I completely understand. Okay, um, this is one of the dumbest things again I've ever heard. Um, let me just go through this first of all. So the first take is yes, uh, of course, socially pressuring, um, socially pressuring people to wear masks is indeed a form of social bullying. Um, the difference is, is that you, you not wearing a mask endangers other people. You being overweight is a, a really complicated thing for some people. I guess you could make the argument. It's a personal choice. Um, but a mask mask wearing is to protect other people, not to protect yourself. Your mask doesn't filter much. Your mask catches your droplets before they leave your mouth, before they go airborne, before they splash in anybody else. So yes, there's a very big difference there. We tend to uh, discourage behaviors that harm other people um, because we don't want to have a society that co is constantly harming other people. Um, also, secondly, this idea, this like, you've gone off on like three different screeds. It sounds like you have some really, really personal um, struggles with your parents. Um, I, I really hope that you don't, like that your parents weren't abusive, but if you think that gross, they're feeding you- personal attacks, gross. I, I mean- Wait, this isn't a personal attack. I'm literally, literally expressing care because, like, I, I understand. I have abusive parents. As soon as Ender did that, he feel the care, Andrew, he excuse, me. excuse me. Excuse me. Wait, wait, okay, I, okay, cool. I, I, did okay, I even okay, finish? Okay, what the fuck okay, is wrong? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let me be clear. I passed the ball to Demon Mama. I didn't pass the ball to anybody else. Demon Mama, please finish. Thank you. Um, yeah, uh, I don't, uh, I, I really, 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 uh, stand in, in opposition to the idea that, um, someone being overweight is all of a sudden, um, like a, a sign of abuse by their parents. I think that's a really, really poor characterization of the issue. There is an enormous amount of issues. And in fact, it's something that I talk about on my stream quite frequently. There is issues of food deserts is a really common issue. There's the fact that in America, we do, we do not, um, we do not uh, legislate barely at all the use of high fructose corn syrup. Nearly all of our food products contain or use high fructose corn syrup, which makes it incredibly hard for people who are poor to make good health decisions. Um, so I, I think that this is not only like this is an offensive mischaracterization of the issue of, of obesity in America. And I think it is it is like it, it's so reprehensible that I, I don't even I feel like it's not it, it, it does an injustice to the issue to even talk about it as a tangential issue to this topic. Um, and I, I, I really just want to say I denounce that attempt at um at manipulating um the narrative on on obesity and 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 weight and heart disease in the united states to try and score some points where it, it sounds like it's something that's really personal to you and i understand that but um i really just don't think that your solutions here or your rhetoric is uh, particularly sensitive or understanding of the issue i just wanted to save lives okay uh since did you want to go i know he was he responded feels to over reels originally no we're good um yeah i i want to say that like Having like some, I don't know, dude. I, I don't know if I know you well enough, but having some random cishet white dude be like, yeah, I know your trauma. When like I have 18 years of self, of like literal, like not even self-hatred. It's not even self-hatred at that point. I didn't even know who I am. You realize I lost 18 years of my life. Like literally 18 years are actually closer to 20 because I only started presenting femme in the last like six months. So like arguably 20 of my years are just fucking lost. I, I 
literally didn't get anything from them other than like maybe a little bit of school knowledge like I, I i don't know if you can actually like it feels maybe you do have a bunch of trauma and there's just like you have the most fucked up home life that of anyone here and maybe that you don't want to put that out there but that feels real fucking bad when like you you come up here and like you, you're like you're fucking traditional cishet white person and it's fucking invalidating dude it does not feel good like please huh? don't like don't like compare stuff to like my trauma i wouldn't compare my trauma uh, to yours thank you for the I, gifted I have no sub idea thank how you it so feels much to be extremely overweight i would never fucking try to compare it it's maybe the only analogy i might use to some people to kind of explain it and even then it's not the same like please and thank you don't, yourself for don't that do that no i have no, to say no, no. something i that's, can't that's like all... this victim shit like like you are not some sort of like unique person in trauma like what you've experienced is not like some unique occurrence everyone goes through shit this is get shit. over yourself this is shit this is actual actualize shit. like i can't help you god like, damn that's your just own pull shit. yourself up by no, the but like you're narcissistic like no pull... one's been through what i've been through I i'm like, sorry but that's through. that's her that's really really reductive and and that's in actually, my opinion bad faith that's like no it's like you can't understand that... me because it's, i'm above it's, you it's, that's it's, literally it's, not what she said you were not listening to anything she said if that's what you pulled away from that you don't wait you don't yeah this is the problem you people don't fucking listen to anything that's being said i'm Nah, I'm sorry. The fucking I, I I'm sorry. The yeah, three yeah, parentheses. No. But like you know, so this is completely know, whack, and I'm not here for it. Especially if this is a personal attack on Synth. Like, let what? Synth be who Synth is and stop. Get get off of her. And more what importantly, you? for the original, no, because oh. you're invalid. You're like you're experiencing you like, the same as everyone else. Trauma. trauma is trauma. You go it's on not, mic and you, it's not you that just simple. preach about it's, how you're a victim and we don't know shit. Like, what do you like? This you is a, that's not what she said. You didn't listen. No, 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 no. Can I please? Okay, 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 okay. So the comment, the comment was made from Charmander. I, you're raising your hands to respect, but I'm not throwing to you. I'm sorry. It was a uh, uh, the even though I appreciate you 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 uh, participating in the system. This comment was a Charmander about synth. Throw it to synth, and then Andre was obviously engaged. I throw it to Andre, and after that, I'll throw it back to suspect or Charmander, depending how the dialogue goes. Okay, so synth, your turn. So this is literal invalidation of like very real trauma of someone, right? Like this, and I extend this to anyone who has trauma. If anyone else acted like this, if anyone else like tried to like say that the trauma isn't anything, that I should have just pulled myself up by the bootstraps, that there are <laughs> other people that have trauma, so I must like be able to get it through, get through it too. Okay, well maybe I like, I don't know, dude. You know what? Fuck, dude, I can't even say the shit that I want to say because, like, I don't even know if it's TOS. Like, holy shit, there's some shit in my life that, like, you you just don't understand. And it takes more than, like, three or two or one or 20 fucking Hender years Nax to, is like, shaking like, a, like a fucking... therapy out, dude. Like, the, you just don't Look step at his finger on someone's shaking. trauma. Weak finger. Whether or not that's, like, sexual trauma, whether or not that's fat trauma, whether or not that's, like, body trauma, any, any trauma. You don't step on that shit. And, like... I would be respectful. I've been respectful to Endernax, okay? I'm not saying that his trauma is invalid. I think that it's perfectly valid. I think that it's more than fucking yep. valid. Like, being fat, the amount of self-hate that you can have, that you can garner from that, oh my fucking god, I can't even imagine. But that's the point. I can't imagine. You can't imagine what it's like to be me. I can't really imagine what it's like to be you. So by invalidating someone's experience, especially one that affects them so much, on something as small as like other people have trauma forehead, like that's just stupid. Well, like that's here. a dumb Can argument. I retort? Like, okay, we're okay, not, okay, yeah, okay. We're okay. not here to talk about you specifically. So we're well, we're also not here to even talk about what the fuck we're talking about right now. We're supposed to be talking about masks. So I, I know Andre wanted to say something on it. We'll pass it back to Andre. Synthied. Then we're actually we're out of time on this. We're just gonna go to Andy's statements about the mask topic and we'll go on the next one. Yeah, I mean, I it's it's like particularly shitty. I think I think uh, Synth hit the nail on the head. What Endermax went through is um kind of uh, is it Endernax? Sorry, Endernax went through is is that sucks and it's unfortunate and like being overweight is something difficult that you struggled with. I. And perhaps shame was shame was something that like helped you get to the place that you're at. But as someone who does it, as someone who helps people lose weight, um, it's like shitty to hear you say like I'm helping people. I want to change life. I want to say it, and you don't. And if you did, you'd learn more and actually help people. You're just passing yep. judgment, which is which is like yep. the most whack. Um, but yeah, Synth, I'm really sorry, and and Endernax, I'm really sorry that you guys went through what you went through. It sounds really difficult. Uh, yeah. And yeah, it's cool that you're here today and in, in better places. 
but definitely don't preach that you're like helping you're not saving lives in your next and this is a completely bad faith comparison as far as like mask sharing someone like, yep. it, you're not you you endernax you did not become overweight you, because someone else was overweight and it was contagious and they sneezed and then you like this is so like out of touch i would like to circle back to this eventually like the actual top this endernax um, guy literally mimics Patrick, Patrick Bateman. It, 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 it's okay we don't Can't worry everybody if, if you have something to say you'll have a minute in the hand motions and endernax we're gonna have outro so you can respond in outro to anybody you want okay so we're gonna do outros we're gonna go start from the bottom right up and then we're gonna go into the next topic uh and car you're gonna start with your intro uh, outro again nobody talk over anybody else during outro insta mute okay and car um well i think the conversation you know we we pretty much uh, got through it the uh Did i we... would like to say thank you to synth for for validating uh, my slippery slope argument that A4 called slippery slope by saying, you know, people would require vaccines on planes. It's like That's I've actually I'm heard that. It's not me, just to be clear. Why are you interrupting me? Because you said Andre, my name and Andre, I Andre, 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 Andre. Let me, make, let me make the rule very clear. Nobody interrupts no matter what they say during that you have a period to respond. I, I promise, okay? This is the first time you did it, so I'll, I'll be a little bit lenient, but next time I will meet you. Okay. So anyway, I've heard that proposed already several times. And, you know, that's why I asked. And no one wanted to address it. You know, what's the end point? How do you enforce these things? Oh, Demon good. Mama very clearly uh, made the point that, you know, fines are essentially a very uh, – dis going to disproportionately affect the people that you don't want them to affect the most. And, you know, we can't put people in jail. So if it's it runs into an enforcement thing – and if you can't enforce it, if the position's not tenable, if the code's not tenable, like what's the point in having it on the books? So, you know, I pretty much agree with everybody else. You know, you make the masks as available as they are or as you can. And, uh, you know, you you essentially lean on social pressure to wear masks and uh, private businesses and other establishments to mandate masks in order to enter the establishment. Okay, next we're going to go to Charmander and after that is Andre. Yeah, sorry, I had to kill my mic for a second. Um, when it comes to the issue of masks, kind of laid it out. Uh, it's good to have it done. Uh, I think uh, Demon Mama uh, hit it pretty close on the head, similar to what I was talking about. Best way to do this is to work through private businesses, public policy, um, provide pressure to these private That's businesses. That's not what I said. Not offer their service or have people come in um, without, like, meaning whatever mask policy that they have, um, but not necessarily uh, finding people because of some of the the extra altercations and, and stuff that could come out of that. But, uh, yeah, as far as the others staying on topic, all this stuff, like, you know, I appreciate when people share their personal experience, but when the personal experience, like, becomes, like, a part of the rhetoric and the conversation, the conversation's about masks. We, we should stick to that. Like, I'm not trying to deny your experience per se, uh, but the idea is, like, uh, when you presuppose that, like, you have some sort of, like, unique trauma, you're really just cutting yourself off to understanding what other people have been through. So a lot of times, like, uh, people will... Like uh, you brought up Christians, for example, uh, Christians like to demonstrate value of the difficulty of their testimony, right? This is a gross behavior. So it's a uh, gross when non-Christians do it as well. Okay, next I'm going to throw it over to Andre and Charmander. Are you having a problem with your cam? Uh, yeah, I did turn it off for two seconds. Like I'll turn okay, it off. Just no problem. Yeah. Andre. Oh uh, yeah, I, I guess I kind of got an outro. I, I apologize for interrupting Ankar earlier. I just felt like I didn't, I was mischaracterized and didn't say, but whatever, I'm good. Uh, no outro for me. Don't. You, you can clarify if you thought it was mascara. Again, the last minute is you can, like, address anything. You could basically say anything. Like Yeah, I, I just spoke, so I'll okay. let somebody off the floor. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, Andrew next. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm uh, for a public mask mandate, so I, uh, I'm i really interested in saving lives. Thank you for the, the follow, Mr. Mr. Uh, this Gate. This conversation kind of took a, a detour. Deeply appreciate I wanted it. to use my time, though, to respond to uh, a A4 Andre. Um, yeah, you said something about how obesity doesn't affect the lives of others around them. I, I completely inherently disagree with this. Every single member of my family is morbidly obese. They were 150 to 200 pounds overweight. Uh, it was actually my parents' uh, direct fault uh, for being obese and promoting um, a diet and lifestyle that uh, – I had really no choice over. Uh, it was normalized to eat as much as I could uh, until I felt full. It wasn't because there was any food scarcity. It wasn't because we were in a food desert. It was simply because of the lifestyle that my parents had chosen. Yeah, of course. Live. I'm happy to um, be here, Mr. I, I absolutely disagree with you. I think that uh, having more obese people actually normalizes the state of being, and I think that it makes it so people are more accepting of those individuals, and I, I don't know that that's something that we should be entirely accepting of. You can be nice to somebody. You can treat them with the respect and, and dignity that a human being deserves, but uh, ultimately, it's a uh, it's a bad state of being, and um, I I think 
uh, it's a bad thing to have a, a lot of people in your society be obese. Thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, Andre, since you didn't really have an outro, if you want to respond to that, you got a minute. Anything? No? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anything to say. Okay. Uh, Go ahead. Okay. Show the logic. Give everyone universal health care at the end. Okay. Uh, okay. Suspect Sushi. Yeah, he okay, really does. Sushi is in another dimension right now, so we're going to throw it over to Cynthia. Cynthia is also in another dimension, <laughs> so we're going to throw it over to Demon Mama. Yeah. Okay, Synth. Okay, Synth. Right. So I just want to highlight that um, what was being said primarily was um, Ankar literally came right out of the gate was, uh, thank uh, you for validating my pope. slippery slope fallacy, which is by definition wrong. Uh, that's a very five head take. Good one. Um, so, and also I want to remind everyone that during the argument, I said, you can't understand others' experiences. And Ankar literally just said, so you think you're better than me? I don't know what kind of inferiority complex this is. Um, if he's going to complain about me in his outro, I'll complain about him in mine. So, um, yeah. Have a good okay, one. Okay. Hold on, gonna... Dylan. No, no. Ankar, hey. Ankar, Ankar, you know that you know how this works. You've been on it a million times. Come on. You'll have, if you want to respond, you can respond to your intro on the next topic, but that's the last time we're talking about this topic. Demon Mama. Yeah, um, it's uh, a real shame to me that this in t conversation got pretty damn derailed onto a totally different topic um, that seemed pretty bad faith in my mind. Um, however, um, I think that we should be very careful with how we construct mass leg mask legislation, but I think that we need to take COVID legislation in general very seriously, especially with the numbers that we have. It's killed 130,000 people. That is in addition to all of the other people who die from other diseases um, every single year, including heart disease. Um, uh, if, if you watch, if you're familiar with any of my content, you will know that I'm quite, quite, quite open and, um, and, uh, uh, loud in my advocacy for health initiatives, for um, the destruction of, of food deserts, for an expansion of our SNAP program, and for the expansion of, um, you know, healthy nutrition all across this nation. So it's a really, really silly um, distraction, red herring, to just avoid uh, from the actual conversation at hand. Um, yeah, so wear your mask for the love of God, because you wear your mask for other people, and other people wear their mask for you. Don't kill people's grandmas, and don't put a lot of us in danger. Okay, next we're gonna throw it the suspect sushi. Uh, I I don't really care about the subject too much. Can I throw my time that I have over to Ankar? Um, I had no. like forty seconds left. No, no, oh. we can't. I try to I... pass the baton. I I, I just I just wanted to redistribute redistribute. Yeah, my I was mic really time, bad. That's Luby. all. I'm sorry, we don't allow that here. Uh, this is capital. Damn, stream. dude. So, so so so. Oh, this is capital stream. Okay, I, capital. I, I like that. I know. Okay, so uh, I guess we're done with this. Again, if you want to respond to anything, the last opportunity you will have to respond to anything that was said in the last topic will be this intro. After that, you got to cut it on anything mass related. Okay, the next topic is... One second, I've already scrolled all the way down. Give me a moment. Where? Oh, here it is. Should health insurance be obligated to cover birth control? Let me repeat that one more Thank time. Thank you, History Buff. Should health insurance be obligated to cover birth control? You will all have one minute, which is uninterrupted. You can use that time however you please, but do somehow connect it to birth control. I will start this with the Cynthia. Right. So, um, yeah, I think this should completely be covered by um, health insurance. Um, I, I think it's like really ironic that earlier in this argument, we had people that were saying like 33,000 deaths don't matter, but they're probably going to be arguing Thanks, that like these deaths by these fetuses probably do matter. Um, I mean, like I would be surprised. Um, but yeah, I, I think that it should be uh, mandatory. Like you, you shouldn't be able to disallow specific um, fuck. Yeah, like specific things like that, especially something that could help the economy like as much as that, um, especially something that helps the well-being of like the constituency as much as that. Um, I mean, our mortality rates, what, fuck, was it go down or go up? I don't know. Uh, fucking go up whenever we have less birth control. Like, yeah, uh, I think generally having the birth control and having it being able to be distributed um, to people uh, easier would probably be a good thing. So, yeah. Okay, next is going to be Demon Mama. 
Yeah, um, I, uh, as a proponent of universal healthcare, I believe that universal healthcare should indeed cover birth control. Um, but even in our system, I don't think that there's an excuse for a private uh, insurance to not cover something that has been for decades now um, universally recognized as not only good for um, women's health, but good for uh, the economy in general. People should be able to um, should be able to have access um, to birth control. Birth control is an, an incredible marker for um, for the liberation of women um it it can not only can it help regulate hormonal cycles um it can also obviously do its main purpose which is to pre which is to prevent birth and allow people to have um, much safer sex um and uh yeah um i think that it should be covered i don't think there's any excuse um if you're going to be in the business of health insurance the absolute least you could do is cover something that doctors universally um with within reason besides maybe like some very fringe fringe doctors um there is there is a predominant consensus that birth control is incredibly good for um for the general health of of, of people so yes okay next is gonna be suspect sushi uh pretty simple uh no yeah he's multiple. uh pregnancy is um Pregnancy is pregnancy is an elective and not a medical certainty. Thanks, uh, I, don't think I appreciate that, that a lot. We, that, that the taxpayer, especially on like things like Medicaid and things like that. Oh, he will, Glooby. Like, the taxpayer pay for someone else just fucking willy nilly. Um, the easiest way to not have children is to you know just wait until marriage in the first place. So. Okay, next I'm gonna throw it over to Chud Logic. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, obviously this question is very American centric. I live in the UK and. Um, birth control is readily available in the NHS. And um, yeah, I mean, seems like a good idea to me. The only arguments against it tend to be, you know, an individualist concern of, oh, they should pay for it themselves. Otherwise, they, you shouldn't fuck. I feel like with conservatives, Thanks, it's an Mariner. impossible position because they I don't do my think best. that like birth control should be available to people that can't afford it, but also they're against abortion. So it puts people that are in poverty in an impossible position where they basically can't fuck. And hey, that's no fucking fun. So yeah. Hey, uh, if you're if you're typing a lot, uh, be your best to mute your mic. Uh, next, I'm gonna throw it over to End Max. Yeah, uh, it's Ender Max, just you know. But uh, yeah, so the, uh, I'm perfectly fine with this. I think that uh, you should have again, we should have a universal healthcare system, uh, and birth control should be completely available to anybody who wants it. You should be able to go to your hospital and just uh, go get birth control, whether that's hormonal or uh, or condoms or whatever you want it to be. I don't actually care. I think there is uh, some there's research going on at Harvard Medical right now about how uh, hormonal birth control might be affecting the neural passageways in various ways uh, with women. That's something I'm a little concerned about, but the research isn't there yet, so I, I don't know what that's going to turn out to be. Um, it's the but, thought pill. You know, universal health care, free birth control for everyone. That's fine by me. Uh, I'll just say that uh, abortion isn't birth control. That's all. Yep. Okay, next I'm going to throw it to A4 Andre. Yeah, no, I agree with most of the panelists here who uh, say that it should be covered. Um, insurance sucks. Yeah, universal health care, Medicare for all first. But yeah, either of these systems should provide um, birth control. And whatever flavor, as Internex said, that you prefer you should be uh, given. That's all. Okay, I'm going to throw it over next to Charmander. Uh, as much as I would love to make uh, the argument that you're also sure that the right like loves to make, uh, this particular issue, like I don't think it's being approached in the right way like at all. Not only is pregnancy not guaranteed to occur from like having sexual intercourse, it's not guaranteed to be prevented with birth control, but a wide array of symptoms and effects from using these products that can be problematic from person to person. Male and female contraceptive are proven to be effective, like non-hormonal contraceptive, condoms, male condoms, uh, uh female dams whatever like um they're definitely proven to be a, a more effective they're effectively free as far as distribution and like, getting these things to people's go mandating birth control only serves to encourage uh the patient to engage in risky behavior and remove accountability from the man or woman to Pray take responsibility you. for the decision it also trivializes the potential long-term effects of these birth control treatments not only does simple contraceptive provide the same utility with less risk um, but from a, a psychosocial standpoint, they help individuals develop positive, positive sexual responsibility, um, it, it, especially in terms of the, the effects of their sexual behavior. Birth control does not reduce the transmission of STDs um, like the more traditional contraceptives like condoms will. So, yeah, there's really there's there's absolutely no reason to to encourage women to engage in a hormonal treatment that could individually affect them. Um, whether you cover it or not, I mean, these treatments need to be taken more seriously on a personal, personal basis. Under universal health care, uh, if no the agency treatments for women safe by their personal doctor, then that's appropriate. But this idea that we're going to, like, uh, 
shift the accountability and just assume that all birth control is good, all taxpayers should pay for it, and everyone should get it. Uh, no. Uh, the effects of, of birth control on women are, are, are ranging, and they can they can help women sometimes deal with, with their periods, like as prescribed by their doctors, but in other cases, they cause severe complications and maybe even prevent them from having children in the future. Okay, next I'm going to throw it to Ankar. Um, no, I guess. Uh, Strong. You know, I think it's it's been covered pretty well. Um, but I, I want to address what uh, Synth said uh, about the, like, invalidating her. Uh, that wasn't actually me, so... I mean, that's that's what I was trying to, to jump in there, Dylan. Like, that's not actually uh, something that I said. So that's it. Okay. Like, I don't I don't think that, you know, I should subsidize your fucking, you know, you can do that on your own, Dom. OK, it is now a public forum. Uh, do your best to act constructively. You can engage with whatever somebody else has said. Um, OK, so we'll... Ankar, I want to say I'm sorry for singling you out. If that was Charmander um, or Suspect Sushi, I can't see any of you guys talking. So it's almost impossible. Um, and like you kind of have the same points. So it kind Curious of like gets a little bit confusing. <laughs> um, but like. Yeah, I'm sorry that I insulted you uh, wrongly. If it was uh, whoever it was that made that remark, it was real dumb, and that person and that person made a real dumb argument. Um, sorry, yeah, I just wanted to clarify something. Because um, in the UK, when we say birth control, um, we mean anything. It, you know, potentially could be condoms or whatever. So when you say birth control in the US, are you specifically referring to like the p the pill for women, for example, or what, what is that? In my argument, yeah, specifically, like, I'm totally for, like, uh, more traditional forms of contraception that aren't invasive in women, but, like, I'm married myself, and I've seen, like, uh, birth control have positive and really seriously negative effects uh, on my, my, she was my girlfriend at the time, but on my wife, and I've seen it affect my sister, my mom, a lot of different people, and it's a really serious issue before women take birth control. Like, I think people are okay with... Um, like basically this trade-off between personal accountability so they don't have to take personal accountability they're going to take this birth control but like there's there's this it is, is a trade-off so... like there are some things that can happen with hormonal based birth control that can be seriously detrimental to your health so if you can just encourage young women and men to use more traditional contraception then they're not taking that yeah risk this is risk. creepy paternalism like, I mean, women have agency, though, right? They should be able to analyze those risks and make that decision themselves, right? I mean, I mean, I mean, not to go all an you, not to go all want to encourage them, though, not to, to go all anecdote and medical decisions, not to go all anecdote Andy here, but um, my ex um had really, really like really severe um like periods that were incredibly painful and debilitating. In fact, they were so bad they would interrupt her work and hormonal birth control was the only thing that would help her with that that's a perfectly valid reason to do that so i don't understand why we would discourage the use of medicine uh you know doctors are generally i mean there's some ex examples where that's not the case we have some extreme examples but for the most part do doctors are pretty good at being able to have conversations with their patients and make those calls and also um i mean we have plenty of medications that are significantly more risky um than birth control that are on the shelves of our stores tylenol is one such example one that's literally you can go and walk into store and grab a hundred bottles of it if you want despite the fact that um it's like it's like seven pills can ruin your liver for your entire life um so yeah yeah um i don't really understand i feel like that's a little bit of a, a paternalistic approach where it's just like oh well you know we should discourage women from harming themselves with this medication well i mean isn't it their fucking call like isn't it women's call whether uh, so then you don't really it doesn't really seem like you care very much like about the outcome like and especially comparing it to no i like, absolutely like, do. straight up like you're like you're trivializing like a hormonal medical treatment for women like for, like for political reason like and that's where it gets really weird was like, i there are, definitely really like, just because in one anecdotal case wait so thought that it worked so quick like, question like, though who do you who before do you before you go off on a, on no, a no, really no, unhinged no, rant wait 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 charmander you go first and i'll throw it back to demon okay 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 so like uh you like from my perception you're trivializing this decision and like who do you think is most targeted with like 
use of birth control. It's younger women. Like, usually their families are the ones financing if they use private insurance for this birth control. By trivializing a decision like using these types of hormonal treatments, you might be setting up a generation of young women for consequences in the future when maybe their parents or guardians are the ones pushing them for birth control because they're not teaching them about self-safe practices and they can't trust the individual to not to, to not get pregnant or whatever the deal is, right? Like, the, no, the, I disagree there, with that characterization no of my argument altogether. To use hormones like hormonal birth control if it's not necessary. That's right? a, it. Should that not be left between between a doctor and the patient, the woman who's seeking the birth birth control? Well, of course it should. But you want to know? Are you not aware that mandated. are you are you not aware that um that doctors usually do um for the most part? I mean, obviously we have some. I'd like to see a study. Hold on a second. I know. Doctors I know you really... usually do. I mean, come on. No, wait, wait, wait. I, I literally didn't finish my sentence because you're nipping okay. at the bid to go off on another rant about how you should control what women should have access to. Um, <laughs> but um, So disingenuous. I mean, that's literally what you said. You said, that's literally, okay, yeah, that's that's literally what, what you what said. said. Whatever you said, keep going. I mean, you did. But but like, okay, watch the VOD, uh, anybody who doubts me. Um, but anyway, um, doctors often um, do their, their best to... Um, to like talk with patients. And in fact, many doctors, I know this because I've actually gone through this training myself um, as a part of when I was, I used to work at a hospital. Um, it's very common for doctors to go through training um, by which they are taught to look for signs that someone might be being manipulated or whatever. But I really don't think that that's a statistically or that there's enough evidence here to claim that that's a statistically significant um, uh uh, like occurrence that people are being pressured into taking birth control um, because um, I mean also I mean having grown up again I don't I don't mean to go off into anecdote territory but also having grown up in an incredibly um, in an incredibly conservative uh, family in an incredibly conservative area of the country um, it's actually quite common for people to discourage the use of birth control even when recommended by doctors um, why would you slam him for an anecdote and then use one? Well, and you talk about Wait, this idea of like I? being medically informed. I didn't. I literally, literally no, arguing no. against women being oh, medically okay. informed. I'm, I'm sorry, I thought so that you were true. you were referring to his story about his wife. Uh, no, nope. I never said mom. that. I know it's really hard okay. to listen. I know. I know. It's really hard to follow these yeah, conversations. I'm, I'm but... sorry. I'm just caught up in the fact that you advocate that women should have the agency in whether or not to take birth control, but not have the agency to just quit fucking and put the dick down. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I mean, no. okay. I'm on that because I've been going for a yeah, minute here. Okay. I, I, okay. Outside of. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. We're, we're really going to let that one just like. Like, wanna, fly, yeah, I'm like, no, let I've someone else get down. in here. I, that would be nice. For I real? This, I had this written down. Yeah, Actually, before you go off on a tangent, because I, I know that was very. No, come on. I have this exact thing written I, down. Like yeah, no, no, no. Fuck this. What you want. No, why? No, I just no, want to address something. Okay, 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 so this shit argument of you shouldn't fuck because you might have a baby and kill someone is the exact same as you shouldn't go outside and hit a fucking baseball because you might hit someone in the head. If you're That's taking a whole fuck ton of preventative true. measures, like in in analogy, if we used baseball, if people wore helmets, if people wore protection, if people took birth control, if people wore pads, if people like generally tried to move out of the way if we generally took like advances against it then we probably won't have a lot of people die I mean, guess what this argument kind of talks for itself doesn't it? people don't Pro fucking die from probably, baseball dude. is that a scientific claim like it, like this is the thing like i'd love <laughs> to look at a study because like we have contraception that has no negative effects but you would prefer to mandate the contraception that does whoa whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. Like mandate right no i'm not mandating <laughs> what <laughs> Okay, what I just I'm just saying wait, wait, wait. it should be allowed for them or it yeah. Holy fuck. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to say like I, I really had a problem with your analogy of like, oh, it's less harmful than Tylenol. When in fact there are like several uh, medical journal papers you can go read right now if you just want to search up psychological effects of uh, hormonal birth control on women. Like you could go find it. There hasn't been a direct link yet. Yet there there still needs to be more research done into whether or not it's the direct cause. But uh, users of contraceptives have higher rates of depression, anxiety, of suicide, of, of uh, a bunch of other uh, negative psychological health factors. And is that really surprising when you're changing the hormones in someone's body and changing the way their brain relates to their their, their body? I I don't think that that's I mean that's this sounds like this sounds but like the, a lot of the off the cuff. Is, 
They, no, it's not off the cuff. I mean, I mean you literally are saying this isn't even like here. here. Go I'll ahead, Google here. me it. I'll, I'll I mean, it sure. If, plan, if, if it's discovered, if, if up, it's right? discovered, it's if it's discovered Tylenol. in the future it's, that the birth control is the thought pill and it just changes your brain into into <laughs> it's the bimbofication pill, then and sure, I'd be open. I'd I'd love I'd love to review that when that when that research is done. Excuse me. I'm just saying. Okay, 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 okay. Everybody's everybody's talking over each other. Okay, so okay, so. Andronax, Synth, it, and then yes, Charm. Okay, okay. That, I, I'll give it up real quick. All I want to say is, please look more in, look like look into it more. I'm not being disingenuous. I've read several medical journals on this, uh, even like years ago. This is something that I was interested in because my girlfriend is on hormonal birth control. So, like, damn, the whole that, medical that journal. No, not a whole medical. You're supposed to listen to your know, anecdotal knowledge about, about, about your down. medical training. Like, like charm, you guys are so disingenuous. Charm, charm, charm. It's not the same charm, as Tylenol. Charm. It is since. Turn to speak. I, I literally didn't even say that. can't not talk over each other. Since I, I feel so yeah, bad for his girlfriend. I don't think girlfriend. 100% of women uh, suffer or have negative side effects from birth control. I, I don't think that um, you should take it if you have a lot of negative side effects that outweigh it. I think this is like pretty easy, like common sense shit. I don't ever appeal to common sense, but holy fuck, don't take it if it's really bad for you. If it tends to help you with your period, if it tends to help you with like, you know, all of your pain and cramping and shit, then take it. Like, if you need to stop babies from coming, then fucking take it because we don't want to kill more things. Uh, like, I don't, I don't, yeah, that's... Also, like, I just want to, I just want to address one thing about... Demon, 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 I, I, I did a pattern here. It was, it was... Oh, did you? Oh, I'm charm. sorry. Yeah, yeah, I didn't realize that. People were talking over each other. I'll throw it to you after. Okay, Chum. Uh, yeah, so, like, the rhetoric is, is crazy. All the complaints about straw mans and all this stuff, all hyperbolic responses to everything that's said. So like, let's keep it on board, like with like what's objectively true, right? So I get that you have some sort of like medical training or something, but when it comes to the the science of this issue, right? There is a there is a a risk that's associated with using hormones, right, as a form of birth control, right? So why you want people to accept that risk rather than develop um like psychosocial sexual tendencies that are responsible right like why you wouldn't want someone to perform some sort of procedure that doesn't make them open to that risk why you would rather them use plan b which literally wrecks your fucking body than use a condom makes no sense to me hold on a second so so oh. you're literally not well, engaging with my well, argument uh, realize uh, that right <laughs> Sent. I threw it over the demon number after. Oh, no, everybody, everybody wants to say something, but nobody can. You can't all talk at the yeah, same time. Because no get that. Panel, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got You're it. You're not the only one, Shud. Okay, it'll go to demon mama, and it'll be open form again. And if you start yelling over each other, it means it'll just be chaos. Okay, so demon mama, you you get the next one. Yeah, um, I, there's been this weird thing that's been happening, and I know, like, I know it's so hard to follow conversations, but from the very beginning, the question was whether insurance should be able to, should re be required to support the medication, and I argued yes, because it should be between a doctor and the patient. This isn't, has nothing to do with, um, uh, I don't know what sort of argument uh, Charmander is off on about some sort of, like, why you would advocate a mandate of, 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 of birth control, I've literally never even made anything even remotely close to that argument. And I know it's really hard to follow because, you know, it can, it can be a little hard. Um, but um, but uh, the, the point is, is that this is a decision that should be between the woman and her doctor. The person getting the medication and their doctor yes. and yes medicines have risks all medicines have risks the point is, yes. the point that i was making um about tylenol is that tylenol is an over-the-counter medication that has some pretty severe risks and we don't really tend to give that uh much of a big deal about it even though it is actually a big deal that it wasn't the point wasn't to literally draw a, a direct uh, comparison between the two drugs in their effects. It's just saying that there are lots of drugs that can have negative effects if used incorrectly, and it should be between a doctor and their patient, and not um, an insurance company. But a, but of course, um, I would I would think that somebody who was worried about parents um, unintentionally influencing their children would be way more concerned of a private corporation outright refusing to cover a medication that doctors have, will, and are recommending to many people based on their circumstances and also monitor for any side effects so you're just i mean i don't know there's like an appeal to some sort of like unless you're saying that like the medical um d industry is like conspiring to give every woman birth control or some shit i don't even know but i don't know what you're talking about because it hasn't been anything to do with my argument okay it's free form uh, again a, everybody go I have, a, I have a question here um this is this is like fucking 30 minutes ago demon you were you referred to an ex who had such debilitating 
uh, period pains that it would stop work, right? But that, that you said you said the word work. I found that very interesting because I, I wonder how this is such a crazy thing that birth control ranges from either free when you go to like a Planned Parenthood could a clinic or things like that, or low as five dollars and like the max I know of is thirty. Are you saying that these people can't afford this, or I don't understand? What? Like, I, you, is this a, is this a I, real I, question? I, I, like, yeah, do we cover Tylenol with insurance? Um, yes, that? actually. Yes. Yeah, it's called that, naproxen. And pregnancy is not a medical certainty. And on top of that, if, if your fucking cramps hurt so much, there's a thing called Midols and a Snickers. You'll be all right. Um, I can assure you right now that you are phenomenally stupid in making that statement. Um, and you know nothing about the circumstance that I was referring to. We'd, we had literally, um, uh, my ex had to get surgery as well. Um, so you are so, your head is shoved so far up your ass in making that statement. It just shows that you actually don't care. You kind of played your hand there. So I don't think I need to address this any further. Like a cost is a cost. Health insurance should cover health insurance. And yes, Tylenol is um, oftentimes covered by insurance. In fact, um, so is, no. um, um, yes, it actually is. No, it's and, not. Yes, it actually literally no one is. makes insurance claims. I have literally, I have literally, you're dumb if you've done that. You're dumb. I, I have literally, your doctor messed you over. Okay. Um, this is phenomenally stupid and the, the right side is struggling to even remember what words were said. So I think I no, rest my case at this point. You, what, like you, you have not, like if, if a, if one of your doctors wrote your prescription to use your insurance to fill a bottle. Let of me explain. Let me explain. I know it's really, really hard. From you. Oh, I know they you're, 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 you, okay? you're really struggling. I know you just, you just, you can't see reality. You just want to tell the reality how it is. I know it's fucking hard. I know, I know it's fucking hard. I know it's fucking hard. Conversation. If you could not just be a like a hyper you literally energy. hold on a second hold yeah, on hey hey charmander no 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 no! i'm not letting this one go you literally you just excuse me so excuse mad. me you, you literally so just said you are stupid if your doctor did that so you're the one fucking ad homing you fucking idiot oh. so let's just uh let's just oh, take relax, a little second relax, from there relax. um Everyone it's relax. incredible oh, yeah, it's relaxed whenever <laughs> other people are doing it yeah oh, yeah yeah it's it, it's relaxed for the i love this you any of you even remotely suspect sushi i wasn't uh, talking to you i was talking to charmander so please i would appreciate you not talking over him. i said i said you all and us i know it's hard i know i, I know you want to you want to you know you know go to bat for your buddy but um you can just you can just no, not I defend him need, no one i don't need anyone to go to bat for me it's just hard to engage with your ideas when you just argue disingenuous i mean you literally just called me like, stupid and then when i called you stupid yeah. bat you cried about it so that's pretty fucking well, snowflakey you're, you're either a lying about fulfilling filling a prescription for over-the-counter tylenol or you are oh smart see there's a, there's a something there again we come back to the exact same point we were at before which is you don't fucking listen to anything that's said literally it is incredibly common in fact li the last time i was in the hospital for a surgery i was given 1000 milligrams of liquid tylenol that is a pres that is a prescription drug that you can only receive when you're in the hospital it's used specifically to treat pain um so that uh, there's so less less reliant on, on excuse me less why would you do that because imagine this, there are, there are different, there are we're different, hey, different oh my God, like you are so are unbelievable, like go on? Char Charmander, right. you're, you're struggling with this, like it's like, it's like the little smooth nubs of your brain are like slipping off this concept. There are different types of drugs that are paid for all the time. Tylenol mm -hmm. is, like th there. there are, the th ad for one direction. I mean, that's not an ad hom. Do you know, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, before you all jump in over me, can you guys go look up what an ad hom is because you don't know what an ad hom is i promise you okay i i let i let this go on long enough this is okay cringe so, uh, the experiment of not uh jumping in down everyone's throat was a failure uh i thought maybe i'd let it go i tried i tried oh, no oh boy i tried um okay no, no, no. so is there anybody who hasn't spoken yet who would like to speak andre i haven't really heard much from you uh, yeah this is crazy let me jump in I, uh what was the first one Women should just put the dick down. Just have a mite on the Snickers. These are these are actual <laughs> opinions expressed yep. in this fucking room. Wow. Yeah, so that. This is this is a crazy space you run, Dylan. It's a fucking circus. I want to hear if it's not my show, but I can never tell if Chud wants to talk. I want to hear if he has anything. He's my I mean, teammate. Can I tag him in? It's it's just fucking totally absurd. Like a bunch of dudes going on about fucking the goings on in women's bodies. Like some fucking dickhead who's never had a fucking period saying what's what about it. Jesus yeah, you should Christ. shut the fuck up right now, then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, That's he hasn't good. talked the entire time. You Uno know. reverso. Uno yeah, reverso. Yeah. The dude, the dude Uno reverso. Car, I'm not. Bro. I'm not the one dictating to women what fucking medication they should use. Yeah, I'm obviously. Not the one dictating to women what their fucking periods <gasps> are like. Really we pay into it. 
but you're dictating that we pay into it. Right. That's my con like. Why would I subsidize your fucking like? Fucking why, ridiculous. What, yeah. What? Why do I need to pay for y'all fucking? Wait. Why? Do, wait. Pay, wait. I, are I, you I, paying I, for birth control? About health insurance? Were we talking about health insurance? Do you? Right. So do you health understand insurance, how insurance works? He doesn't understand how insurance works. He's a leftist. Oh. Whoa! Oh, wait, 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 wait! That's an ad hominem. That's what an ad hominem is. That's what an ad hominem is. Hold on, hold on. I've never claimed that I don't do it. I'm dying here, guys. I'm dying. I've never made the claim that I don't. I'm just curious. Why should I subsidize y'all's fucking? Why should I subsidize your dumbass religion that's caused me trauma? You don't. Yes, we do. Okay, 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 okay. I'll mute, I'll mute, I'll mute, I'll mute. Okay, okay. Fucking dipshits. These guys are dumb shit. I can't let you not. Okay, I got to just jump on everybody. So, okay. Who wants to talk? And I don't give a fuck if it's ad hominem. We're stop talking about ad hominem. Okay, we can yell ad hominem until the day we die. We're not talking about it anymore. If you want to talk about it, I don't care if it was fucking birth control, whatever. Just raise your hand. We're gonna do it like this. Kindergarten. Okay. Suspect. Once again, uh, you pay into insurance. It's it's a lump amount of money, and that goes out to people who file claims. That's us paying for the sub subsidiaries of you fucking around and being promiscuous. And by the way, I think that both men and women can be promiscuous. So I don't think it's like some sexist take. I just don't think that I should pay for you fucking. I just don't. That's just how it is. I don't think I should pay for I mean, that's really funny well, because you don't pay for my religion. But the th the yeah, wait, 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 I'd like to listen, counter listen. that the religion claim because it just comes from like, just it seems like low hanging fruit. Do you know what a five hundred one c form is? Like, since do you directly know what a five hundred one c form is? Like, do you know um, how religion? Do you know how I've churches tax code in works? The past. No, yeah, so so now. churches don't actually receive um, any type of funding. All, all a church receives is that they don't, don't have care. to pay property taxes for the land that they have. That's yeah, it. they should. So they, they should have no to pay taxes. Oh, just, they receive a free wait, benefit. Wait, wait, wait. Yep, Please. other people don't have to have this to pay property way. taxes. They don't all have to pay property taxes. Therefore, I shouldn't have to pay for your fucking religion. All listen, non profits listen, don't listen, pay okay. property tax. This is a okay, very okay. demon, My, demon mama. You want to say something? Got a couple things. So that'll throw it to Chud. Yeah. First thing first, um, actually, yes, uh, you are indeed paying for their religion. Now, I'm not going to go into whether that's an ethical thing or not, but um, churches, excuse me, I can. Um, if you would let me talk, I know you really struggle with letting anybody else talk. Um, but uh, le let me just give you a couple examples of this. Um, churches regularly operate radio stations. Um, they regularly uh, have buses. Um, they regularly... Um, they regularly uh, oper like use enormous amounts of public utilities through the form of energy. I mean, I went to a huge church. We had fucking floodlights all over the place. Bills. Yes, but the but the fact that they don't pay pay property taxes does mean that they are being subsidized by the government in one form no, or another. Yes, yeah, no, yes, they no, literally not. in the same. No, they're not. Okay. All nonprofits. Well, have you're simply reforms. yes, but you're simply yep. you're incorrect. That is what a subsidy Your is. Taxes, a, a, figure it out. I do my taxes. I I'm not. Like you're literally just claiming that they're not being subsidized because you don't categorize. Oh, excuse me. Definitely you excuse me. Being. Excuse me. You really struggle with letting. Do you? Is it struggling with women letting women talk? Is that what it is? Um, no, no, no. The um. Yeah, it seems like it. <sighs> No, yeah, I'm taking um, you seriously. I see you as a worthy opponent. I see that you're trying to strawman me. I'm cutting you off at the heels. Sorry. Oh, oh, nice. That's really a, that's really great. Um, so um, yeah. So that's the first thing, and the second thing is um. When uh, there was something said about how not understanding how um, insurance works, which is kind of funny because then Suspect Sushi went on to say that insurance works on a pool based model. That is literally a that is like a kindergarten understanding of how um, of how in insurance works. Insurance does not work on a. It down for us? In, yes, it does. No. Excuse me. I mean, it, it, yeah, like literally, this is what I'm talking about. Do not let the woman speak because she will fucking destroy your argument to make you look like the idiot that you are. Um, no, you're you're so uh, okay, no, 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 Okay, we're done. Okay, 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 okay. Can I finish? Uh, okay, 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 okay. We're gonna go, we're gonna, Demon Mama, we're gonna go to Charmander, and then we're going back to Freeform, okay? We'll go, we'll try that, we'll attempt that, that shit show again. Oh, yeah, okay, Chud, sorry, fuck, I forgot Chud. Okay, Chud, Chud, you go first, then back to Demon Mama, then okay. Charmander. Listen, listen, put, put aside everything else. Let's say that what you're saying is correct, and it's this pool-based system, everyone pays into insurance, 
and it pays out to people that need it, right? Well, the logic that you're using, you could apply to literally anything. So for example, someone could go out and get drunk, break their arm, and they've got insurance, but you could turn around and say, I'm not paying for you going out to get drunk and break your arm, you know? Someone, as we discussed earlier, could live a life of obesity and be really fat, and then they get heart disease. They go to get treatment, well, no, I'm not paying for that because I'm not paying for you to be obese and get heart disease. So literally your argument could be used to cover a whole host of things. The problem with that is when you start, where do you stop? You could apply it to loads of different conditions, making insurance potentially useless. So. Sounds well, like really a quick, quick Demon Mama, you're next. Yeah, um, to follow up on that, um, insurance does not work on a pool-based system. There are literal entire departments of insurance companies. Um, there's this position called an, uh, an actuary, um, and they do a thing where they determine individual risk. They determine individual rates. It, rates are literally curt like customized per individual um, until like very, very recently, and actually still in some ways, until there was... Um, and in fact, until, until Obama passed um, laws against... Um, pre-existing conditions um it was quite possible for you to be denied outright just because of random conditions so one of which which is trans by the way an, an intrinsic trait um being trans would would lose you your insurance uh, pre um obamacare believe it or not um so yeah um the idea that that there would be slung at us this idea that we don't understand insurance and then pretending that it's like this communal pool where everybody pays in a certain mit and amount and gets out a certain amount is completely foolish everyone has cost, like literally totally customized rates that vary from job to job from place to place from school to school people buy insurance from hundreds of different places it's not just a magical pool where you pay in one to one and then it goes out to other people it's not communal at all and in fact on top of that the even more hilarious thing about how phenomenally bad that argument was is the, is the fact that these corporations are for profit. They scrape off the top at the end of the day. So the idea that... Wait, are you telling me that, that insurance companies are not for profit? No, I'm saying like everything you say is like uh, laced with hyperbole. Really? Like which one? Which thing that I just like, said is, is laced with hyperbole? Uh, your rhetoric, but we can... Oh, okay, can you, can you point out... Wait, wait, wait. Can you tell me which part of my rhetoric was laced with, um, with hyperbole there? I don't I'd love to do know. an imitation. No, 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 please tell me. I want to know which form. words. No, no, I, because you've struggled this entire time with remembering anything that I've said, Bro, and I'm starting listen. to begin that you might be, like, like begin to think that you oh, might be struggling you have, with... You have an insult to throw out there? No, 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 no. I'm just... I'm, 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 I'm genuinely concerned. I'm genuinely concerned about your ability to remember stuff. So... Yeah, yeah, go Jesus ahead, please. Christ. Please tell me. Dude, 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 dude. Tell me what the rhetoric you was that you interrupted. Okay. You interrupted yeah, yeah, me, mind okay, you. Okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. We can talk about it being his turn, or it could be his turn. Charmander. Oh, yeah, really easy. So, like, yeah, when, I, when I'm referring to your hyperbolic rhetoric, it's, the, it's your intonation, the way everything's this extreme thing that we should share in the outrage with you. But really, like, let's try, to, let's try to keep it on point, right? When Not related a specific to this thing. Issue. So I'd like to speak, like, directly to Chud, like, maybe someone who doesn't seem like just an outward. Okay, well, I wasn't finished, so are you yeah, done? Oh, you're actually, not done? It, I think it's my turn. So, Please. Chud, the point that I wanted to bring up is the problem that I see with, um, like, basically making birth control like extremely readily accessible, especially in, in, in particular hormonal birth control, is that there are cases in which like I think that a woman should get with her personal doctor to receive hormonal birth control. But the idea is is uh that probably paternalistic is a lot more serious than it currently is. Like would you would you think it would be acceptable if hormonal birth control was available through like insurance or uh, Medicare or whatever, but only upon the request of like a personal physician because how like important or like the aspects of like the outcomes from using those treatments could be in the future. Like, cause the yeah, worry I mean, for me about making it easily accessible is that women are not taking enough time to actually like uh, Mrs. Demon brought up. They're not becoming medically informed about the possible damage that could cause to their body. I mean, hey, I, have a, I, have a, I have a quick question. Does anyone here I, actually have a health insurance license outside of myself? I, I get to speak in this fucking section. Okay. <laughs> I'm just waiting to find out if anyone actually has a health insurance. But I would did want to hear. I don't know why that matters. Because I said, because like uh, it's saying that like the health insurance pool doesn't work when it's a collective asset. Sorry, sorry can we get some fucking moderation here? I was asked a question and someone stepped in. What the fuck? Okay, Coop. Okay. Damn, you're whining. Okay, Coop. What's the. I was asked a fucking question directly. What the fuck? I Jesus Christ. Christ. Because I fucking. They're not see you. Coop sorry, again. Sushi's fucking kicking yeah, off. Okay. Like... I, know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, Chud, Chud, what were you asked? I, I, uh, I didn't listen, I actually I know, didn't hear I know what you I was asked. asked it's fine. And to answer your question, Charm, okay? In the UK, on, in the NHS, you can't just fucking walk into like a shop and just fucking, you know, just pick up something off the shop. You know, you, you 
if you go to like a pharmacy for like the morning after pill, you have to go and see a pharmacist and they ask questions and they discuss it with you. You know, in terms of like longer term, regular birth control, yeah, you have to go and see a doctor and get it prescribed. You can't just walk into fucking Boots, which is like a pharmacy over here, and pick it up off the shelf. So yeah, I agree that like there should be some interaction between a doctor and a patient in order to ascertain the best course of action. But, you know, I think that like that should be a discussion between the doctor and the patient. And I just personally think that like, healthcare should be provided based on need rather than ability to afford it. Um, you know, you, you might disagree on that point, and, and that often is a, is a disagreement that conservatives and lefties will have, you know, and that's fine. But, like, I think inherently, doctors should decide, patients should get it, that's it. No, I think that's fair. I, will, I don't have a particular problem with people, like, gaining access to the services. I just worry about the fallout between, like, normalizing use of the services or creating, like, where I could be even, I'm not thrilled about the idea of, like someone receiving plan B with just a pharmacist consultation because of some of its negative effects on the body. But um, like, so that's my big thing is like, I just would really prefer to have more of uh, actual checkups, actual visits. Cause I just worry about like that standard with plan B extending to more long-term birth control where women now are no longer going to the regular OBGYN checkups and regular checkups. And they're just receiving from the pharmacist, like, whatever long-term pill-based treatment that they're doing. I mean, I think I think that, like, there should be as much interaction with patients, with, with people and doctors and medical professionals as much as possible all of the time. And that's why I think that preventing, you know, removing the barrier of people having to, to, to pay at the point Thanks of service... Thanks for the follow there, Chris. Really Appreciate it. You know, so, so, yeah, that's... You know, I think, I think if you have, like, a, like, for example, I could go to the doctor tomorrow and get a fucking checkup if I wanted, right? Like, I'm not going to, you know, I don't need to, but I could. You know, it's because I don't have to, to pay for that sort of service, right? So, yeah, that's, that's it, basically. And, and you would just get in instantly without any waiting for the other people who also were lining up for this free um, healthcare? NPC. No, neither would you. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, well, no, actually, I would, make, I would phone up. If it was an emergency appointment and I felt that the appointment was urgent, I could phone a doctor tomorrow morning and have an appointment the same day. I could die over the phone or I could go into the surgery. Failing that, normally I'd have an appointment within a week to two weeks. So that could be for something less urgent. So regardless if things are urgent or not, I can see a doctor on the day. Maybe have to wait 15, 20 minutes on average. Oh, that's great have, for you. I mean, but listen, listen, you do realize you that down... like just because you get that doesn't mean everyone else gets that, right? Yeah, listen. Like, fucking I Jesus Christ. Di- I know you're going down the MPC dialogue route with healthcare in the UK. Like, it's not what you think it is. It's not what your conservative fucking dipshit say it is over here, okay? Yeah, I could phone up tomorrow I and I can get an appointment. But yeah, keep keep memeing. Keep hitting me with the same fucking right-wing talking points. It's bullshit, okay? It doesn't work like that over here. <clears throat> I would say that the UK doesn't really work whatsoever, but hey. I mean, I, I, I had to wait six months for a, for, a, for a surgery for my infected gallbladder. Mm-hmm. So that's here in the United States in one of the states with stronger health care. So I mean, it, it happens <clears throat> everywhere. There's huge flaws. It got, in- gotten somewhere else. Demon, so like, oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, Demon Mama, I want to ask you, like, why is it that you think actuaries mean that insurance companies use fund accounting and essentially have a different cookie mm-hmm. jar for each person? Like how... Wait, what? <clears throat> so, like, you're... How you described the uh, the accounting method that insurance companies are using or the, the bookkeeping method or the uh, what's called fund accounting, essentially... Like how, I mean, where do you, where did you get that from? I mean, I don't, I don't know what you're asking me. Like, like, are okay. you asking well, me that, like my, my understanding like of if, like, like, are you asking me what my understanding of, of health insurance companies, which are fucking massive and employ like an incredible right, amount of people that's and, like emotional and, and wait, that's not emotional or ideological. Yeah. Are you telling me yeah. how many, how many I employees on your face and I hear it in your voice? Oh, good argument. So wait, that, that was, that was yeah. my argument was emotional, but your, I see it on your face argument, man, that's just about no, as no, good no, as no, no. wait, 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 no, wait, 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 you're describing them as bad. And I'm not asking you. Wait, 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 I never described anything as bad. I literally never, you guys literally cannot listen to words. You literally, wait, 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 let me fucking finish. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. The use were huge and extreme. Wait, wait. Right. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Literally. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my God! Is this for real, Dylan? Is this for real? Okay. Okay. Where are the people? Well, because it's Keith Dylan. More mic. When I talk, when I talk, that's not. I, 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 I never, I never asked anybody a question, so I don't know when I talked. Everybody else started talking. That's really funny. Okay. So. I'm just going to cut this debate here. 
and we're gonna move on to the next one. If everybody's gonna get a one minute outro, if you make make a point about the economy, whatever, we're just doing it that way. Okay, wonderful. Demon Mama, you get the first one minute outro. Appreciate that. Uh, I just wanna I, I just wanna make make it clear that like nobody literally nobody listened to a single word that came out of my mouth this entire time charmander uh i asked him directly after he interrupted my segment i asked him directly what i said that was hyperbolic and he said oh well it was just your intonation and your rhetoric that is word for word watch the vod um and then ankar said when i asked i'm sorry i don't understand your question he goes well i can see it in your face and through your word and through the way that you talk that you don't understand anything so like that's literally the arguments that these people are coming out with um and i think that kind of speaks for itself in how weak those arguments are um insurance companies are, are enormous institutions with uh, an incredibly complex internal structures um i am not an expert on the exact internal structure of that never claim to be um however the idea that there's just a common pool that one-to-one -one, any person who uses insurance it's paid Never for by excuse I'm me sorry. excuse i'm sorry i'm sorry, I'm sorry. No. sorry. suspect okay fucking christ literally cannot even finish one fucking line with these people um and it would be great if they at least listened to what i was saying but anyway i mean as it's clear there's literally no uh, all there has been is paternalism saying i don't want women to be able to do this even if their doctor says it is um and then completely mischaracterizing any of the claims made by any of the left-wing people here for example um a, a number of times where it was stated that the le that people here advocated for a mandate on hormonal birth control um that is absurd and uh i think it kind of speaks for itself that our opponents are unable to engage with the points at all or even listen to the words that are being said to them okay next i'm gonna throw it over to chud you have one minute if anybody talks over anybody it's a mute for five minutes um yeah i mean you know uh as the great karl marx once said from each according to their ability to each according to their need um, I apply that principle to healthcare. I think people should receive healthcare based on their need rather than their ability to afford it. I think removing any barriers that are there um, to Thank you, Catherine. I appreciate good it. quality healthcare that benefits them um, is good. So, um, you know, I think I think making it so that, you know, there's universal healthcare and that whatever options are on the table are available to everyone and a doctor can prescribe the best possible solution to the individual in front of them. That's the best solution to deal with this issue. Okay, hey, next, I'm going to pass it over to Suspect Sushi. Once again, I want to apologize. Sorry. I I just kind of got a little blind rage there for a moment. So, like, once again, I apologize, Demon. Uh, honestly, I don't really have too much to say about this. I've already said what I had to say. But I will say, unequivocally, the person who has spoken the most has been you. So, I don't know why, like, we say we forgot what you said. But it's just because you said so much. Okay, next I'm going to throw it over to Cynthia. And I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry that they struggled to, really to contain it. information. Yeah, um, so just to, like, address the... I don't think we actually got, like, a straight answer between, like, whether or not, you know, the actual... The harm that's coming from uh, not prescribing these women, um, you know, any sort of birth control, like, in, in this sort of way. I yeah, think Spectrum they've never actually, kill someone after this. you know, addressed the harm that could be and done. I don't think they've addressed the good that could be done by having this. Um and I think it's incredibly straightforward that the people who really want to control women's bodies also feel it's like incredibly easy just to talk over them. Like it's, it's, uh, it, it is just, yeah, that's it. Okay. Next I'm going to pass it over to A4 Andre. Yeah, no, this has been very heated and, <clears throat> uh, I've sat out for most of it, but I, back to the original point, should insurance provide it? Should it be free? I'm, if you're insured? Yeah. I, I, it's silly to even have this discussion although i feel like it's kind of moved into like is this good for women which just wasn't the point but yeah okay uh next i'm gonna throw it over to ankar okay oh. sorry i had oh, to there you go. unmute my mic yeah yeah i was i was typing notes i didn't know i was going next hey lynn um well with, with regard to what andre just said i think that whether or not that this is harmful to women is kind of core to the issue because you don't want to you don't want to lower the bar or lower the threshold for something that can potentially harm women. Uh, Synth, I don't know why you think there is harm in not having um, insurance provided hormonal birth control for women. That's that's uh, sure. Chud, with the framing device of doctors should do what's <laughs> best when you don't necessarily need a doctor because, again, there's no real reason to have hormonal birth control. So here's the thing that I was trying to get to with Demon Mama, and that's 
what I said was that not understanding the question was the answer in and of itself. And then you deviated off about it. Insurance was for profit, et cetera, which, you know, it became an emotional and ideological issue for you. So, you know, the thing that I don't, I was trying to get at is I'm not sure that you actually understand how insurance works. Like, I don't think that you get, you know, how the, the fund accounting within insurance and the financing of insurance so jobs use collective bidding for insurance, car insurance, home insurance, all these insurance costs go up whenever the payouts go up or whenever the risk goes up. And I mean, that's like, if my cost goes up when the risk to the insurance company goes up, like it doesn't matter what type of fund accounting there is. And I'm not really sure why you think an actuary has anything to do with the type of accounting method or the financing method or the banking method that the insurance companies are using to hold this money. There's not an individual fund or account for each individual person. These people so the actuaries are actually assigning risk and variables to these people they don't listen. and pricing that out like through finance and in the future. Like an actuary has nothing to do with the accounting of an insurance company. Okay, I'm going to throw it next over to uh, Charmander. So, uh, first off, it's your boy Char, a.k.a. Check the VOD. Shout out to, you know, <laughs> Chud, Ender, like some of you guys uh, coming <laughs> with those measured takes, focusing on women having choice, having more exposure to doctors, making uh, more informed decisions, not taking unnecessary risks. That's the way that I look at it. As far as getting it paid for, I actually kind of defer to uh, a little bit of center left on this one. Like it, it should be covered by the medical care, but uh, it shouldn't be trivialized like how, how serious the service is and it shouldn't be necessarily easily accessible um, to the same degree that we would treat other non-invasive forms of contraceptive. The right-wing side is so, all dudes uh, yeah. all talking about as far putting as, like, down the rhetoric the in the conversation, Just like, remember that. This whole idea of like talking over women, like all these other arguments, like, look, like it, it's easy to like, I guess, try to read into stuff. But, uh, like, if I didn't respect you, like, I wouldn't think that I would need to contend with your arguments. So, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. it's not about being disrespectful to you. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just about a manner of, like, caring about the ideas and being willing to, like, throw down for them. So, oh, like, I can't be any more respectful than that. Yeah, totally. Okay, next I'm going to throw it over to en- Endmax. Endermax. Endernax. Ender- Endernax, but it's okay. Ender, hey, uh, you know- boy. <laughs> I, uh, you know... I, I'm for universal health care. I think that uh, women should have access to birth control. Um, again, I, I just made it clear at the beginning. You know, I don't think abortion is birth control. We didn't get into that topic. That's fine. Uh, but I, I have no problem with um, with birth control for women. I think that there's maybe some problems uh, with possible True, side effects that Gina. birth control True. is having on women. There's already some proven things that are happening. Um, but I mean, those obviously the benefits outweigh the cost right now. Otherwise, uh, a large majority of people probably wouldn't be using uh, birth control. Um, now, that being said, I do want to say that, you know, there's it's really hard for all the conservatives on the panel. I know it's super easy to just throw out True. the sexism label because that's just like the go to. Hey, you got to demonize your opponents. I get it. But, uh, you know, I don't think that they were being that disrespectful to you. I think that you have if I go if I went back in time, this entire panel since the very beginning, I think you've spoken more than ever, anybody. I think that you need to give more space to other users. Uh, Chud, uh, A for Andre and Synth uh, come to mind because, you know, I, I shut up most of this panel. I didn't really have that whole lot to add, but I, uh, I want to give it to uh, my fellow conservatives on the panel for uh, remaining as calm as they could. This, oh, totally. They the, totally. Uh, the hogging of the microphone. W- when they. Okay, uh... <laughs> Thank you, Cynthia. My chat has topic. been uh, has been We're cheering for you as the well. Next topic, which is sure to be a balanced discussion as every other one tonight has <laughs> been. Uh, let me get to it quickly. Um, scroll all the way up because you guys argued so much in the DM chat. I got to go all the way up. Okay. Jesus Christ, you guys argue everywhere, even in the DMs. Okay. Here remember remember when Should they stayed. Should a business be able to deny a service to a customer if it conflicts with the owner's religious beliefs? One more time. Should a business be able to deny service to a customer if it conflicts with the owner's religious beliefs? I'm going to start this one off with sushi. I was not prepared. All right. Wait, uh, fine. It's uh, pretty much pretty simple. Uh, if I'm a fucking baker and I'm a religious person, whether that's Jewish, uh, Christian, Muslim, whatever, and you want me to bake a cake for you and I, and I fundamentally don't agree with the way you live your life, I think that should be respected and you can go to another bakery. And with this has been, uh, they sued those people, they went to the Supreme Court and they ruled in the favor of religious grounds. So it's pretty, pretty, uh, 
Point blank period. Okay, next is going to be Chud Logic. Um, yeah, I, I just think that like preventing someone from engaging with your business on the basis of their immutable characteristics is just completely unethical. And, uh, you know, it's it's not only unethical, but it's bad business as well. You know, literally turning people away. Oh, it's totally the silly spectrum. Their, uh, you know, the fact they're gay or the fact that Cause it, you know, it tends to be that they, Jen, when it comes to the religious you. thing, it tends to be that they're gay or trans or something like that. Right. That's what we tend to come down to with it. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, I don't think it should be allowed. Um, I think that, you know, businesses should uh, should serve everyone equally all of the time, and that's it. Okay, next, I'm going to throw it over to Demon Mama. Yeah, um, I think barring some very specific circumstances, um, if you are a public-facing business, you hope to make money off of society, off of customers, then you should be required to treat people equally. And uh, if your religious beliefs get in the way of that, well, then I would recommend finding another business to run. Um, it's it's much easier for a business person to 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 run a different business where they won't have to do anything like. Uh, I don't know, running a wedding cake business or whatever, um, where they have to discriminate um, than it is for people to um, who are looking for a service to necessarily find a different service. Um, but even regardless, I do think there are some businesses where it's reasonable to allow people um, to have sort of a predominance of, of religious freedom. For example, if you are a, a business that specifically caters to like Catholic churches and you make like communion wafers and stuff like that, or you're a Bible shop. Um, I think that's reasonable to say that they can have some um, religious input. But if your business isn't like a predominantly religious business, um, yeah, you really have no right to be discriminating um, against people based on immutable, um, like immutable traits, just because your religion says that you can. Um, that is like an incredibly um, antisocial and um and uh like like way of going about things i just think if you're going to enter into the public sphere and do business and make money and and um and have people pay you and all that shit that you should respect the same rules of equality that the rest of us have to okay next i'm gonna throw it over to the cynthia i cannot hear you yeah, I um I pretty much agree with um, what's been said before me. If your point is to make capital, you should be making capital. That should be that should be the point. If you're using the system that we have, if you're using the laws that we have in order to make capital, you shouldn't be able to discriminate on someone based on immutable characteristics. Like th this is how the system is structured. No one should be able to negate this just by saying, you know. I believed in something since I was since I was really young. This is like a huge like hand wave to a whole bunch of marginalized peoples. Um, yeah, I think that's all I really have to add on. Okay, next I'm gonna throw it over to Ankar. <clears throat> uh, no, I don't. I don't think you should be able to compel uh -uh. someone to do something. So that's it. That's all I got. I don't like compelled labor. Okay, next I'm going to throw it over to Endermax. Max. Max. I'll fight you. I'll fight you, Dylan. Uh -huh. Oh um, my god, yes! You know, I, I thought about this one long and hard because I guess I'm supposed to be a conservative, so the default uh, default opinion on this is like, no. Um, I guess, to me, I, I would just pose the question, like, if you feel, like, let's say somebody, ha um, and, and we can talk about this later, I need to go use the restroom, so I'm going to go do that as soon as I'm not talking. Um, but you know, if, if you feel threatened by someone in your place of business, even if that belief is unjustified, um, is that uh, does that justify you not giving them your business? I, I'd like to have that discussion, but if you don't want to have it, it's fine. But anyways, I'll be right back. Okay, next I'm going to go over to Charmander. True, Zarel. Charmander. Oh, sorry. Yeah, to me, it's like uh, pretty easy, right? Like to look at this issue, I don't totally disagree with Demon's perspective about like so. You def there definitely has to be businesses that are clearly, clearly outlined for specific religious purposes. Like, and this doesn't exclusively mean Christianity. I mean, forcing mosques or churches or uh, businesses that support mosques or churches to do things that are literally against their religious doctrine is their infringement on their rights. So let's talk about rights for a second, um, like the right to refuse business. When should the government infringe on someone's right to refuse business? Does the government mandate that people do business in a way that they think is most effective? No, they don't. Because every business has the right to refuse if they hmm. choose to do so. Um, if you have that's a business a good idea, that provides Kurt. some Keep sort that of mind. service that's 
ne necessary, right? A necessary service. You, you provide some sort of service where there may be some level of scarcity. Um, let's say you're the only cake business in your entire town or you're some business where you're like the one and only stop for that. I think it's okay for city ordinances and governments to take measures to make there, this more inclusive. Talk shows. But I think Thank in you for that. most Good cases, the rare cases where these issues arise, um, it's pretty antagonistic from the left to try to seek out businesses that may not want to provide them with services for religious reasons. Things like uh, requesting penis-shaped cakes from Christian bakers, uh, things like this, right? So um, for the most part, if you don't need to enforce like uh, and infringe on someone's right, then just don't. Um, if it's a religiously specific business and you don't have any other option and you believe that that's a detriment to you, I think there should be avenues available for you to appeal that, whether it's through like a Rotary Club, City Council, whatever you've got to do through, through the government or the state. But the idea that um, people shouldn't have religious freedom or that we should be dictating how businesses run or businesses don't have the right to refuse service uh, is insane. And um, I think we can look at a lot of like counterpoints that the left uses in a lot of their protesting tactics um, where they do target businesses to refuse business, these types of things. It seems like just a weird standard and a way to try to take a stab back at, at Christianity and mom and dad. But if you are infringing on people's rights, um, that's a big issue. And uh, people have the right to refuse service. So unless there's scarcity or it's a necessary service, there's no reason for it to happen. Uh, thanks for the donation, Coop Show of five dollars. I really appreciate that. With that, uh, with that lovely message, uh, we're gonna send it over to A for Andre. <laughs> that is untrue about Breakfast Detective. That's offensive to use that as a no. I um, <sighs> right to refuse service on religious grounds. I don't know. I this is this is a difficult one for me. Um, you know, certainly I think a bakery should. It is in their best interest to make the cakes for people who want. I don't know. This is tough. I, as long as suspect sushi is getting uh, refused service everywhere he goes without a mask, I'm happy. But yeah, I don't. Yeah. I, this one, this one's difficult, and I'll be paying attention to everyone's opinions. But I, I feel this is fairly nuanced, and uh, at, at least the right to refuse service and can get messy. So I'll be paying attention, and I'll try to jump in when I can. Okay, wonderful. Okay, I was okay. I was expecting. Geek to jump in. Okay, never mind. Uh, we're just gonna yeah, no, open I'm it okay. up. Oh, yo, you are. Hey, Otis the Noble. Thank you so much for subscribing to Tier Two. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. So, real quick. First of all, I've been listening so far. Um, um, yeah, I didn't moderate a lot. I want everyone to take a deep breath and basically, like, for the next round, like, go, like, be chill with the personal attack and everything. Attack the point, not the person. So, yeah. Uh, that's a quick point I wanted to make, and yeah. Is he, uh, is he a moderator? Who let him in here? He, he's a he's a Frenchman who snuck in here, who apparently is also a co-moderator. Yes. Are you Quebecois? And... No, no, full French, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, I wanted to say also that uh, organizing and moderating. Yeah, it's Mr. Geek. Hard, so, hey, don't forget to sub to the boy uh, with Twitch Prime if you can. You know. Throw some sub to Dylan Burns TV. Uh, yeah, yeah, and if anybody in my chat wants to sub, right, sub to me. Right from the Frenchman's mouth. Thank you so much, Geek. I really appreciate that. And thank you for co-moderating. I know uh, you know, watching chat isn't always so easy when it's going so fast. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to open this up for free form now. Everybody's, uh, you know, go go into it. Um, Shout out. Hashtag Geek is neat. Thankfully, uh, West Virginia is pretty lit to where we don't uh, need to refuse service from uh, people who don't wear masks. We even see like old senior citizens not wear masks. They don't give a fuck. We chilling out here. You should. For you now. Should. I mean, no, that's how you stop chilling. Is that, yeah, is that what chilling looks like? We'll be all right. We'll be all right. We, oh, we, we take our lives in our own hands, dude. The that's mountain true. spirits protect us. Medical John, Dever, John Denver protects us all. We're fine. Life's been good up to this point. Wouldn't be the worst oh, in the world. I want to give a shout out to Dylan. Where do you find your guests? Honestly, I, I feel like Twitch is a pretty left-leaning space. Where do you find... So I, I, this, before we get back to the topic, I, I, I'll just say this about this. Uh, getting guests, honestly, is difficult. You want to know how many people canceled on this one? And remember, it's, an, it's a guest. It's a show with eight people. Four people canceled. Half. Half the show canceled. And I and – I, 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 Chad, Chad and I bullied away the libertarian boomer. Did, it was so sad. Yeah, it was so sad. That was pretty <laughs> sad, I will say. Yeah, was, bullied somebody – Chad bullied somebody off the show. 
uh, who is actually quite a they big find us in the dregs of the internet. Yeah, the he, he bullied somebody. He's gonna, blame me. <laughs> He's gonna blame me. He's gonna blame me, but that's not fair. <laughs> China Redemption, who's a bigger content creator than all of us combined. Okay, so it was it was quite it was infuriating, but <laughs> it was something else. And then and then somebody had to uh, and then somebody else had to drop because he just had a kid. Uh, uh, and then uh, somebody else had to drop for medical reasons. Somebody else had to drop because of their van breaking down. Uh, anyway, there was a lot of dropping out. So I had to. Uh, I mean, I kind of. Hey, to welcome back, kind of. <laughs> I had to make us. I had to. Uh, I had gone, to buddy. scrape. To, I had to scrape together a coalition of people, and uh, uh, I even had to go. I even had to recruit from political Discord servers, which is. I'm sinful. sorry for. I'm sorry for hijacking the conversation. We were talking it's, about. It's, it's no, okay. just it's well, okay. no, no, no. I do want to ask Andre there, though, like about this particular topic. Like, do you find it concerning, like that there's less homogeneity in like ideas and perspectives, like, like because it seems like you really enjoy like the game. No, 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 no. Andre cultivates that on his own personal stream. It's fine. It's basically the same faces every time, dude. I've yet to see a conservative voice on your stream. Okay, well, you watch my stream and restream my stream enough. You are an expert. But I, I restreamed say, all of three say... minutes of your stream, my dude. <laughs> well, next time, ask. You're new to Twitch, so I'm not mad at you. But I, Sushi's like... riding those Ooh. coattails, man. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> I would just say, I just say to everybody that nobody would restream my stream currently right now on another platform. No one would do that. I know that. Definitely. I'm not, I'm not really upset about the restreaming or uh, the lack of conservatives. I, I do. I guess I just don't know where you would find. That's. I, I don't know. I just don't know where the ex ideas exist because they don't exist in the spaces that I frequent. But I'm more of like a gaming streamer turned political streamer in the past year, so yeah. I, it probably doesn't matter. You're in an echo well, chamber. Well, Andre, if, I, if Andre, I recall, Andre, you really said quickly. that you don't want to converse with their with people's oppressors. I believe that's what you said when I asked you why there wasn't enough conservative people on stream in Dude, chat. If you want to have a fist fight with me, that's fine. Uh, it like verbally in this panel. Uh, but uh, let's get in a second. Damn, point. I thought it was okay. really about to. Hey, Andre, get lit. just understand. Like the easiest way to sum it up. Is like a like, like you came here to argue for clout. Like I came here for fun. Like Wait, that's, what that's the hell is going on here? Like, like no that, offense, but mean, I have no mean, fucking clue what anybody's talking about. Just to be clear, I, hold on. I'm here for clout, and you're here for fun. Was that the statement? Yeah, I, Andre's I, the I biggest stream in here. I rated that's into the largest this, channel rated, here. Fuck you. I rated into this stream with plenty of viewers, and am far bigger than Dylan or anyone else on this panel. You, you like, I'm here for Don't get upset, I'm just poking fun at you. <laughs> but I, but I do, like, I, I Look, I, look, I, I'm, I'm very happy to help smaller streamers like Andre, like, get into the sphere. <laughs> so, okay, let's get back, let's get back on. Thank let's you, get, Dylan. Thank let's, you, Dylan. Let's, Thank you, Dylan. No, no problem, no problem. Uh, I, 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 let's get back on topic. Again, I'll state it one more time before we get back into there. Um, basically, you, you all know the question. I already said it like three times. It's the re religious belief. Should owners be able to say, nah, I don't want to serve you to somebody because of their religion? There you go. Um, I mean, on the topic, I, I don't, really don't know what happened there. I, that was out, out of my realm of understanding. Sounds like a, like some sort of personal beef or something. But um, on the actual topic, like, uh, I mean, I, I do think it's a complicated thing. Like, refusing service um, is really complicated. Um, but I do think that like, we can all agree that, um, that, or at least I would hope a lot of us would agree that d discrimination based on immutable, um, immutable traits is really, really like a, a pretty clear cut example of like something you shouldn't do. Um, that like, yeah, a business should be able to, um, refuse service to somebody who comes in like covered in animal blood and dripping it all over the floor. That probably would be pretty bad for their business. And that makes a lot of sense why they wouldn't want someone to be disturbing, um, the patrons there. But if you're not in the business of, um, of like selling directly to a religious sect or something like that, that has really specific, I, I see no reason why your religion should have anything to do with who you serve at your business. Like, um, those people, the people coming into your business don't bring their religion to you. Um, and yeah, business, uh, should, should maintain that distance in my mind. Um, and I think people should have a right to, um, if they are severely discriminated against, um, they should have a right to defend that. Um, I do think that sometimes it's very hard to prove that sort of thing um, because of just that's just a problem of evidence. But um, I do think that it should exist for cases that are particularly egregious and clear cut. Um, I, I, I really don't understand why that's like why it's such a huge di issue unless 
you want to be able to preserve the right to discriminate against certain types of people. And um, because I don't really see why um, legislation or rules or even just societal norms that say, hey, we don't like businesses that discriminate uh, based on random immutable characteristics like skin color, sexuality, gender, stuff like that. Um, like, I don't really see why that would be necessary unless uh, you had a particular agenda to discriminate against those people. It's pretty easy to make a law that's that, that still allows you to say, hey, um, this person covered in blood and um, or, or armed to the teeth is disturbing our guests and they need to leave. That's a very different reason than discriminating um, against somebody because of their immutable characteristics. I mean, just to speak to the point that Charm made, like... Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of inclined to degree that, like, just just sending like some conservative Christian shop an order for like a penis shaped cake, spunking out fucking shit, like, yeah, that's probably like needlessly antagonistic. Sure, I mean, there might might be fringe cases where it's happened. I I would just wonder like how regular an occurrence that is. Do you know what I mean? Versus how regular is it that someone just a uh, you know a, a, a regular looking fella goes into a shop and says, hey. I'd like to get a cake bake for me and my husband for my wedding. And they're like, get the fuck out, queer. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't think that's common either. They don't do that. What the fuck? No, sure. I'm being oh, no one's ever done that. Come on. Yeah. I'm being fucking hyperbolic. Come on. But I mean, what also, saying, yeah. uh, Chud, to that point, like, I think that, um, I think to your point, like, I think it would be possible very easily to come up with, like, guidelines that would allow a business to say, hey, sorry, we don't do penis shaped cakes um, without <laughs> yeah, that sure. being a religious issue. That doesn't have to be a religious issue. You can say, sorry, we don't do, um, we don't do specialized sexualized cakes. That's a pretty easy thing to well, do. That has no it, religious input. It seems like the cake thing comes up quite a lot. Like, why couldn't we just specify, like, this, like, exception to the rule related to cakes? If that seems to be the issue where it keeps approaching. Like, well, why don't we just say, hey, when only... it comes to cake baking. And the, or, I mean, I could, we could give an easier route. You know, if religious services are so important, you can definitely argue for the efficacy of religious services as a utility that all people should receive. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like there's a utility for religious services for people who are, like, uh, non-religious, then you could argue for that. Otherwise, if there's just a small set of circumstances, like a cake situation or wedding venue or something like this, like, wouldn't it be more reasonable to just look at those specific cases and then decide whether it's discrimination or not, rather than just set some sort of precedent that there's like that religions don't have the right, like their sets of rights and businesses can't have the right to refuse. Well, what you're describing, sorry, sorry. I thought you were done. I'm done now. Uh, no, what you're describing is basically what I was describing, which is we should have legislation that says, hey, businesses can't discriminate um, based on immutable characteristics. And that would be the foundation for being able to investigate. If you don't have laws that protect people, if you don't have a standard set that says, hey, we don't allow businesses to discriminate based on sex, gender, whatever protected categories we already have, this, this, this sort of law exists in many, many places already. Um, if you... Pa pass that sort of baseline um, re regulation that gives a basis for investigation um, whereas if you don't that doesn't me that means you have no way to actually look into that and find out if a case of discrimination because they can just say oh, it was religious and that opens the door for a lot of other problems such as religions uh, claiming pr protection for the heinous acts that, that they can then peddle through their business not that that would no, be, no. not that that would be common but it is no. The way oh, to hey, thing is Charmander, hold on a second. I think that we can we can do this even better and cleaner. Okay, so you said it's such a specific issue with regards to cakes, right? Like we could just pass a law that, like, yeah, you don't make dick cakes. Well, it happens so infrequently, and it's such a specific issue. I think we could just make a law that this one place in Colorado that is now in like the court system for the third time about this is excluded from it. Because it obvious it's it's such a a thing that just never happens. Why not just have it have that one cake well, shop in Colorado excluded? That that's the point I wanted to bring up. Is like that's there's a there's a tertiary tactic that this is involved with. Like because it does open the door. Like what this opens the door is to um, efficacy of massive amount of investigation into business discrimination. Like there's very few cases of this discrimination taking place, but you want to put in place legislation, which is a tool 
for federal and state governments to use to launch investigations against private businesses. Whether you intend that or not, that's the outcome. No, no, no. You, you, you've you made a small mistake, which is that you are claiming that, that, that these things don't happen, but we don't actually have the infrastructure to tell whether that's the case because the laws currently protect those businesses and give, give credence to those businesses firsthand. So that's the problem. The problem is that we can't actually identify how frequent it is because there's no legal precedent for people to say, hey, this business properly has discriminated against you. I mean, there's certain ones, certain types of businesses. Oh, there's like, plenty of precedent. I mean, like, to a degree. In, in certain that. industries, yeah. Like, I mean, for example, hospitals have pretty stringent regulation when it comes to discrimination. But um, in general, um, I, I think it would be very hard to collect any sort of data about how much discrimination actually happens if there's no laws that actually define what discrimination is. So you need those laws in place to be able to set a baseline so that that, that information can be collected. And no, no, no. You're, you're. In a lot of ways, it's just the way that's perceived is like this is how a lot of times I think the progressives just get straight up used by like the neoliberals. It's like clearly like you're opening a door for a legislative tool that would give people like the IRS like the additional jurisdiction to go inside of the finances and goings on of a business. Period. It opens the door for this tool to be used in many different ways for a problem that you're not even sure necessarily exists on a wide scale. Correct. You want to create a tool that the federal and state government can use legislatively for a problem that you're not exactly sure is widespread. Wait, wait. Are you asking me if discrimination is widespread? Because discrimination is absolutely widespread. No, it's just we don't have refusing services on the basis of religion. You're 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 inferring that we need. Oh to well, create but a but that's the thing. Hold, hold on though. We don't have a way to tell if they're doing that right now because I mean. So do you want to run studies or do you want to pass a law? Uh, I mean, I think both could be valid. I think that it's totally reasonable to extrapolate. So when you want to run the studies before you have you, what, Did you want to let me finish that or no? Okay. Okay. Yeah, because um, I, I think it would be um quite reasonable to um to say like we can extrapolate the laws that we already have in place for the for equal treatment of everybody um based on like that you cannot discriminate even for religious reason reasons against somebody's immutable characteristics. I think it would be very easy to extrapolate that and use that as a baseline by which we can begin to understand business. And um, I don't really know what you're talking about with the IRS that that um, you might have to explain that further because it didn't really make a yeah. whole lot of sense so, to me. But um, it, So when you pass legislation that like something akin to like businesses cannot use religious discrimination, right? That essentially there are a lot of tertiary effects that come to the federal government through doing this, like a particular agency being in, assigned to investigate these types of instances. So now you have a whole, you have all the money associated with like investigating these instances, setting up with all the regulation to make sure that these instances meet your regulation. You have opportunities for corruption. You have opportunities for these tools to be used by state and federal governments that may be right leaning and don't align with your values and could use these this investigation for religious discrimination for many other different things wait but how so like, how because if like if i'm not uh if there's an issue of discrimination and someone like say i'm running a business and somebody says hey um i was discriminated against and then i'm investigated and they ask me why did you kick this person out of your business and i go because they were covered in animal blood and they were spraying it all over the place that's pretty clear it would this would no, these no. sorts of investigations you're talking about would only be for people who claimed religious exemption would you it not no, no, you have yeah, no, but... you have absolutely no clue how the law would be used. That's the whole point. Like you just, you just wait, wait, assume. But... Wait, what? You just We're assume both making our passing... case. No, I know. That's what I'm trying to say. You're just assuming that passing a law that says what? there's no such thing as religious discrimination and the right to refuse business does not have additional effects and can't be used in any other way. Or like, for example, this can't be used to trigger audits for businesses. This can't be used for like a various, like many different. Well, but I'm just wondering can... what, what, what determining trait here. Um, like, like, can't the IRS currently have like? Don't they have like pl a plethora of reasons that they can choose to audit? Like, d does adding yeah, they got they got taken to court for it, like with Fast and Furious, right? So like, they can't just audit willy nilly for political reasons. Well, right, right, held accountable right. but that. of course, that's a that's, so you're that's creating correct. a new tool for potentially no, your opposition no. to use against you in the future. No, I don't agree I with. I don't it, agree I with. I like. I, I feel like what what's happening is like you're saying that like what you're arguing against is regulation in general, where it's like oh no regulation should exist because it could be used badly. But like I mean yeah things could be used badly and they should be taken care but of when you can't if they even are. Demonstrate when. it would solve a problem that exists. Wait, you what, do, what do you mean? How, wait, what do you, you mean? You don't know if the problem of people being refused access uh, on a religious. I mean, we're basis literally talking. Exist. We're literally talking about it right now. Like, no, I mean, I think asking. it's very easy like, for, I think the, it's the problem exists on a wide scale or not. 
I mean, I would say that there's probably pretty good evidence that that's the case. I mean, it's really, it's probably quite hard to determine right now because right now religious liberties are given a huge amount of, pre of, of, pre of precedence. But I mean, um, there are pretty, um, predominant examples. I mean, for example, um, I don't have the stats on hand, but, um, uh, Groups like um, the Salvation Army, for example, have been um, repeatedly sued and successfully so um, for discrimination through their services and their business side. Um, so, yeah, religious organizations do absolutely discriminate. I mean, it's incredibly hard to say to what degree, be specifically because, again, a lot of um, a lot of uh, deference is given to religious organizations in our country. Um, but yeah, it's I mean, I don't, I don't entirely, I just don't really under understand um, the, the angle that you're going. I guess maybe, maybe I'm just a little lost on this one. Like, I, I, I guess if you're saying that like adding one character, like one category would somehow open the door further, I think that that's very marginal in comparison to the possible good that it could have. And well, also, if, uh, I'm not, I'm not done you yet, but I'm not done yet though. Like, like. Add, adding one at yeah but but you're asking questions that are on complicated topics i'm sorry i don't have one word answers for you um i mean i can if you want if that's that makes things easier but i think compelled labor is a pretty simple topic actually um wait well who's talking about compelled labor <clears throat> well, Look, all i'm is. saying like it's just a simple phrase i'll be fast right like you're proposing the creation of a mass federal apparatus to deal with a problem you're not even sure exists no, that's not what I'm doing. I'm simply saying that we could tailor the laws to include um, that to include forms of dis discrimination that we do not allow um, to be, you know, re like religious based and uh, 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 religious based discrimination against against people's immutable characteristics. I don't think that that's like a particular lead large change. Um, like we already have other laws that protect against um, uh, against various forms of discrimination. Um like for example, disability is one such example that we we and I would think I would say a lot of those laws are very lacking. Um, but but we do have such laws, um, and so I don't think that it's uh, I don't think I'm proposing any sort of like massive sweeping change. I'm just saying we should probably say that as a as a society that discriminating against people's immutable characteristics isn't an acceptable thing for a business to do, um, with some very very specific exceptions. Like again, like I said, like if you run like a Bible store or something, or you're like a literal like a Jewish community center. Uh, I mean, um, I don't know, like church. Um, I mean, it depends, like, though. Uh, but those aren't business. But you're not talking about Christian businesses, though. Educational facility. Those aren't like that's what I'm trying to say. Like, like you, whether you want to admit it or not, and I'm going to tag somebody in at this point because I made my point a thousand times over. Whether you want to admit it or not, like <clears throat> you're proposing legislation and a federal apparatus and mechanism to solve a problem that you're not too sure is even happening. So. I mean, no I mean, but the federal, but the apparatus already exists. We already have lawyers. We already have a judicial system. All I'm saying is that we should make it possible for people to be able to address this in a court of law. Of course, that doesn't mean building any new apparatus. I'm not saying we need a department of discrimination investigation. We already have that. It's we have a fucking huge judicial system that can handle that perfectly fine. It's just that we're looking to create uh, what I, my argument is that we should consider this as a valid form of complaint somebody should be able to say hey like you shouldn't be able to discriminate against me based on my immutable characteristics and use that your religion as a defense that's not uh, advocating at all for any sort of sweeping change to our system that's just a very minor tweak to what can be heard in a court of law i think i, I, I don't should go, I, go ahead buddy no, go, no, you go, no, you no go. it's fine it, you're not gonna I, like my take anyway so you go first so you don't <laughs> okay okay listen i think one problem here is like I don't know. There's lots of different because the thing is for me is like there's a, there's obviously like if you, let's say you're selling shoes right and someone comes in to buy a pair of shoes and you're like no you can't buy them you're gay right people can't do that at the moment my understanding is the issue tends to be where there's a creative endeavor or process involved so with the cake the argument is that there's like a creative process to making the cake and to ask like a religious person to do that for a gay person that's what the issue is is that is that right have I got that right good way to put it okay sure so it is it is a kind of complicated thing but i i don't know i just find it difficult to get on board with the idea that like literally uh, someone could come in and say oh excuse me could you make a cake for me and it's got mr and mr on and someone can say no to that you know i don't know i just find that that's such a straightforward thing to do i, I don't know i just find it difficult to get on board with the idea that like people can say no to like a very straightforward requests like that and, and they can just use their religion as a reason to not do it I don't 
if but, it go if it goes against our religious beliefs, why why like the literal last bastion of the private citizen is something that you want the government to infringe on. You don't care about private business. You don't care about religion because by and large, most people are atheists who are on the left of, on the left I'm side atheist, of the political yeah, spectrum. Sure. Um, no, I said by and large. So, you know, there's no. There's I, obvious I, 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 no, I am. I am. Yeah, I'm agreeing. Yeah, okay. yeah, sure. but like, but like, pretty consistently, are you? Are you? Is there? Is is a wedding cake somehow impossible for them to? You know, get someone else to do it. Is it the only wedding cake cake in the area? Is a wedding cake a necessity? These things. These things aren't necessary. These these things. And by the way, how many times are you gonna say immutable characteristics? Like I I, I lost count. That's pretty wild. Like I, it doesn't What's matter. If, if I get discriminated against, if I get discriminated against for wearing a not discriminated, if someone receives a service for my mask, for my hat, for my skin color, for my, I, I I'm not gonna fucking try and take a like a take a action all the way to the Supreme Court. I'll just go to a different place. It's not that hard. I don't understand I mean, why. Why does everything have to be well, victimhood? It's, it's, it's obviously wait, wait, very what, what? difficult because it keeps happening to the exact same baker in Colorado. Like it well, keeps wanna, fucking happening to the wanna, exact same I'm, guy. So it's obviously not some sort of tool being used by like a you know ideologically bent group of our society. It's just totally random and never occurs. Well, I, I want mean, to throw the alley oop to sushi. I think what? he brought up a good point. Like, do we need a, a competing baker or do we need a law? Do we need more cases to go to court and a law and uh, well, legal? Yeah, if, I mean, the thing things, is, though, I mean, that's a good question. Anger. That's a good question. If Except it's the so problem is, they'll go out of business, and that's fine. But that's so this not whole thing for me. Is uh, a compelled that's labor not the case. issue, and I don't, I don't want to force people into fucking compelled labor. Like, I don't want compelled speech, and I don't want compelled labor. Hey, thank you uh, for the you tip, purple purple. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, yeah, I wanted to just state that, like, I mean. Um, yeah, I mean, just because a, a denial of service happens doesn't necessarily mean that it's discrimination. And I'm not ruling out that there could be, um, like a situation where these sort of laws are misused. That's the case with nearly every law. Um, but, uh, the idea that like, um, that like, that like you're just whining after being discriminated against, or, you know, if, if, if there's a case for you being discriminated against and you have the evidence of it, like, I mean, imagine if like, um, like, I mean, we don't have to use just the cake as an example. We can talk about many, many situations where it's like, I mean, imagine if you were work, you were sitting there and you went to a restaurant and you heard people in the back, like a manager who has a manager tag on using slurs against you. That would be pretty bad. Then right? I go to a different goddamn restaurant. Uh, yes. But, but, but just because you can go to another restaurant that doesn't necessarily. Why would I want someone that fucking hates me cooking my food and fucking with it? I'd rather you look <laughs> me in the eye and go, I fucking hate you. Mm. And I'm like, great, I'm fucking out. I'll go to a place that won't. I mean, I'm glad you like. I'm glad you like to hear yourself talk. Like, I mean, I was the middle of my sentence. I was finishing I don't what care. I was. Care you? You talk nonstop, and this well, is like the third sentence that I've had. Anchor, on this anchor. Issue. Okay. I'll, let's let's <laughs> listen to Demon Mama for a second. I'm glad let's that this. To Demon Mama the whole night. Well, we're listening. Well, then listen to her some more. Demon Mama. Yeah, yeah. Die mad, dude. Um, the, uh, die. I, yeah, die mad. It's a saying that people well, use. I know like you're a boomer. A it's a little hard, but great thinking on boomers, dude, picking on the elderly, dude, not very nice. Yeah, I know. I'm a bully. I'm so bully. I know you guys are so hurt. I'm, I'm really sorry that words hurt you so much. Give me my mom. You do I'm like, gonna I'm going to jump, jump, jump in. I'm going to jump in. I have to jump in. As much as we've heard demon mama tonight, we've also heard Charmander all night and I don't mind either. I think, uh, there's some, there's some. I'm not mad. I'm just saying. And and what are immutable characteristics? And uh, what was it? Forced labor, coerced labor. We the, there's repetition from both sides of this argument. I'm not upset at either. I'm just saying. We're pointing one out. Let's point them, point them both out. Charmander's talking a lot. It's fine, bro. You just salted that comment. It's okay. Don't worry. You won't hey, lose hey, that. Hey, demon mama. Rich comment? Demon mama. If I if I told you in this debate, just out of curiosity, after you know maybe you said something that frustrated me, and I said, die mad. Do you think that like that would be received very well, or is because I I understand you care you only care about bullying when it's people that you're uh you're directly adjacent to. Oh my but, god. Uh, this I mean, I still literally haven't had an bullying? opportunny to finish my sentence, like, so I not, think that like not, I, think, I think the I record think, I think the record speaks for itself, and I, I encourage anyone to please watch the vods. The outrage abounds. Yeah. <sighs> wait, wait, wait! I, I'm I totally. Tell fat people to go die. I want to help them. Wow. I mean, we're back to that. That was like four hours ago, dude. Let's, let's I mean, I don't know. Out. What am I supposed to do, Dylan? What am I supposed to do at this point? Like, I don't even like. I got interrupted by three separate people on the opposing thing, and I didn't even get to finish the example I was explaining. So well, I was, yeah, I, I, I'm giving you a chance right now. Finish. Cool. Um, fuck. I don't even remember what we were talking about at this point. Um, all right. Well, somebody else take it. Over. I literally forgot what what my train of thought was. So it's good.
My headset died. I'm sorry for talking over people. Um, listen, no, I mean, the, the thing is, I think the problem is, is like, yeah, it's all very well, like, you know, saying, oh, yeah, go to another baker. Um, Wait, I mean, is it my stream that's like? Maybe answer, because conservatives are famed for not really having empathy a lot of the time. But like, what, what about the hurt of someone, you know, going in and uh, being told, like, fuck you, you can't be served here because of your because you're gay like does that not count for anything do you have like what what about voting with your dollar like i don't understand how this is yeah i'm saying I'm, I'm saying i'm saying no i'm saying yeah absolutely go and vote with your dollar go to another baker i think you know it just it just dismisses the, oh yeah the he idea hates that, me, like literally. someone could actually me. be be hurt to some degree by the rejection of, of having a business turn them away purely because they're gay or purely because they're trans person you know? i i think i think that you're making a blanket statement over the emotional like vulnerability of these people yeah who i mean i mean who, gives a like, shit? who are you to tell me whether or not i'm gonna get hurt or not well yeah it's really well, if, if you're I not think... listen, listen if, if what? You're not, then that's cool good on you fair play to you you know you're strong you're made of tougher stuff than other people you know what so about the judge, emotional judge, damage really quickly. what about I the emotional my, damage judge. to the people one at a time one at a time what the fuck so what the Chad, fuck? I left. I left my empathy. Well, um, well, the same wait, place wait, you left wait, your wait, empathy. Wait, 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 Charm, Charm. Somebody else asked Chad a question. He needs to be able to answer that question. All and right. What, a, what about the emotional damage to the people that you're compelling the labor out of? He's not empathetic to that. Right. Only fuck to them. Right. Fuck them. Wait, but the wait, other people, wait, like, wait, you well, really they're need getting. To Let's, Chad. Yeah, do you Chad. want to answer that? Yeah. Sure. So, um, I mean. The emo what, what do you mean? Like, I don't understand. So you can't even comprehend the question that compelling well, then labor... Then excuse you ask you ask you ask you Anchor! Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Fact and outrage rather than trying to figure it out. Yeah, I'll fucking mute you too. Well, Anchor! I'm fucking spoken, I, I'm, but okay. I'm, 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 I will, I will, don't, don't. Okay. Anchor. Clearly and concisely explain the question if he didn't comprehend it you can you know you can think to yourself you're the most big brain person in the world i i sure i'm sure you are but if someone didn't understand the question i would like for you to restate it and in, in, in the easiest way for somebody to understand yeah he is what's the question hank an idiot okay so he's worried of chud you're worried about the harm of the people that get turned away from whatever given product right mm. Yeah, yeah, so sure. the the I think it was emotional damage or whatever the the harm the uh, the trauma that these people endure as a result of not having you potentially know, access to, yeah sure but... sure what, whatever the phrasing is so why would you not have the same concern for the people that you're compelling the labor out of so you're forcing people to to do something that they don't want to do why do you not have the same consideration for those people sure I mean listen. I'm not even I'm not even um, suggesting that like they should be compelled to make the cake there and then. I mean, by all accounts, from what you're saying, they've gone to another place and got it done anyway. You know, um, I mean, I don't I don't know what the answer is. I don't know what the consequences are. I think that like forcing someone to make a cake doesn't really seem like the best solution. And I'm fairly certain that most people, you know, wouldn't want to have a cake made as you put earlier by like a bigot or whatever. Um, and I'm fairly certain that if someone is refused service, then they probably would go to another baker. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I mean, I guess my concern though there is like, what if there's not another baker in the vicinity that can service their needs? Like, and bake your own well, fucking cake. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think Chud's real concern is not what if there's not another baker because obviously bake your own fucking cake. I think the concern no, is no Ankar, Ankar. No, no, is baking a cake and you prepared fucking okay, 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 let's, let's, let's they let They can't Ankar even finish. not interrupt themselves. So They're the, literally the that stupid. The real concern is if you have essentially within a community of a you know whatever like if there's not a replacement for um for the product you know if there's if there's no readily available replacement correct yeah sure okay well i mean that's that's a little bit more nuanced because then you have to decide like how essential is it like should we draw a line somewhere so with like public items like utilities like obviously i know you sickos in chat love <laughs> Um, of course, to, I, I'm too OCD to not read that. Okay, so anyway, like with you know, there's yeah, that'd be great, Gina, if you're willing. Things yeah. that are utilities, like access to emergency rooms, water, sewage, electricity, like those things, will never be denied, right? Hopefully not. Nice. So, well, I mean, we hope. True. So, like, you have to. <clears throat> there has to be a distinction. It somewhere. is, yeah, it is. And the distinction spectrum. can't be 
well, like I feel these people should have this thing. It has to be like, these are the things or these are the classification of things that are essential and not easily replaced. And then these are the things that are not essential and not easily replaced. And that, that to be honest, I mean, that's a good conversation. Like I would love to have that conversation. Like where, how do you draw that line and where's that distinction? You know, what, on what basis do you create those separate classifications? And to be honest mm. with you, like, I know that cake is not essential and I know that like utilities and healthcare and stuff would be, but I don't know like where those distinctions would lie. I, I don't know how you would break those down. Yeah, sure. I mean, the, the way I respond to that is, is um, yeah, I mean, is, is like a wedding cake essential? I don't know. It, it, I just, I just, I just think that like, if someone walks into like a cake shop and they're offering wedding cakes, as long as it's like a reasonable request and it's not some absurd penis cake, I don't know. I just don't see the issue with um, with their request being fulfilled. You're talking about this compelled stuff, like some FBI fucking agent or something comes and puts a gun to the back of the head and says, "Make that fucking gay cake right now." You know, there's even a meme about that. Like, is that reality? Is that what happens? Is that what I'm suggesting? I don't know. I, there's some stuff I don't have an answer to. Basically, is the point I'm making. Well, I mean, like, to, well, to, we to can, we can hold allow on, them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, like, like 30 seconds. To some extent, that meme hey, is Trekkie. not uh, completely wrong. In that, if you do codify this, then the entity with the monopoly use of force is going to enforce it. So, I mean, it is, it's hyperbolic and it's kind of ridiculous and it's probably funny and cartoony, but you know, to some uh, extent there is a ring of truth in it. Oh, that's okay. Trekkie. That would have been a lot. Well, someone's gonna um, come with a... I, I just think that like, I, I think uh, that we're ignoring, um, we're ignoring a, a historical precedent, which is that we already have had many points in history where people are, are, Again, and here's the meme word. I know you guys hate this, the, the concept of it, but uh, the but ha people have been people have been discriminated against because of their immutable characteristics. This is something that's happened. I mean, there's an entire history of our country with where with this is happening, and it has been the case that people who live specifically in rural areas have been denied from all businesses, which, as it turns out, can actually really really negatively impact your life. Um, so. Um, while, uh, yeah, I think the abuse of any law is certainly possible. I mean, I don't think that anyone here has advocated for, um, again, like, like you should be have SWAT team members burst through the back of your cake shop and force you to make a penis cake. I think it's pretty reasonable to say, hey, if you're going to go into the service industry and you're going to be serving food, your business needs to ab adhere to these certain standards. And one of those standards is that you can't just discriminate on someone because of an, uh, like an arbitrary religious belief. Um, I think that, like, for example, I, I think that like an artist, um, if an artist like you know there's there's there, i'm not saying uh, that an artist shouldn't be able to like choose their own um their own commissioners and stuff um but i just think it's kind of silly to imply that like it isn't possible uh, that it isn't possible when it's literally happened multiple times and still happens to this day that people do get discriminated out of the ability to participate in businesses and, yeah. yeah i i have to drive this point home you actually perfectly encapsulated the spiritual point of this argument chud like the empathy for the people who are hurt by not receiving the cape cakes lies in the same place for the empathy for wanting to hurt people's financial livelihood to do things that are against their religion it's completely gross i would advise not to pass a law um where you pick one side versus the other and you say well christianity it's it's it's, it's religion's arbitrary and it, it doesn't really matter so these people you know if if, if they don't want to make the cake, they should just lose their business. Because in my ideal society, the pain right. that someone feels from not being that. able to buy a cake That's is... Not not who's argued any of that? You're literally going off on a tear. ...having to go against their religion. Hey, so it's really easy. Don't 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 be be if someone gets me two minutes, let him speak. One at a time, one at a time. Don't be hypocritical, right? Don't, on one hand, say do one thing to Thanks, one group Trekkie, of people, I appreciate but then tell your buddies on the side, we're going to protect you with the law. Don't do that. So when someone brings up, like... all. The racist past does not justify that there is a consistent history of people being discriminated on religious uh, based on the religious basis. You cannot prove this. I I would really suggest that you would invest your resources in proving that you need a law before you put the law into place. That that would probably be the smart. Way. If you if you'd give me a second, I actually can point to a, a very um a, a very very uh, prescient example of of this sort of thing. Uh, no, actually. Um... Singular case. No, actually, I mean, but oh, okay. but I mean, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad you okay, literally immediately, it, you literally just were talking about in your little spiel there about oh, interrupting, and then you literally didn't even let me say one word before you talked. I know you're f so fucking mad. Um, 
but uh, but but yeah, if you look at the history of um of of New England, in fact, it's a, it's a, it, you could you could find literally thousands of cases of this. Um, there was an incredible amount of anti-Catholic sentiment um in New England. Um, this was incredibly common, and it got to the point where, in fact, many businesses, entire towns, would deny service to Catholic people if they knew they were Catholic. And this resulted in, I mean, one of the most famous examples in history um was the tarring and feathering of of John Baptist in Maine um on uh, Black Friday. Um, but what year was this? I mean, this was some some time ago, but that doesn't that some doesn't time? like yeah yeah like 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 quite a while ago. I think it was like the eighteen like hundreds. Yeah 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 1800s. yeah oh, okay. yeah. So but but so that does that does that change? Today? No, but I mean, does that change anything? There is precedent yes, for does. this. No, it doesn't. It literally does not. Wait wait wait. So so wait. So what you're saying is is that I mean literally again another example of of constant interruption before I've even finished my concept. But I mean I mean whatever. At this point it's just like this is par for the course. They can't let anyone talk because it makes their ideas look dumb. Um but yeah, the uh there is is many examples, not just that of 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 religious discrimination in the past. This is something that happens. I don't think that it's like like hand waving it like it doesn't happen um is is like a a really good approach. Um and again, um the mischaracterization you made in your uh, enormous rant about um, everybody uh, trying to do compelled labor. We're talking about really, really small cases. I, for some reason, we've been sort of fixating on, on cakes and stuff. But I think it's perfectly justified for somebody to say, hey, it really concerns me that I walked into McDonald's um, and tried to get a burger. And then somebody said, uh, I heard the manager saying racial slurs about me. And I have a huge problem with that. And I believe they should have the ability to say, hey, this McDonald's is pretty fucked. No, no, I'm just saying. Like, I'm saying that in general, we are looking insane. at the we're looking There's a difference between a religious uh, uh, institution uh, are and a we religious is I'm, I'm, any if if any company can call religious religious purposes you can find a religious justification what we've been talking about here is not that we should um force people to do anything but that we should consider the fact that religious discrimination can be something that affects it and that we should look at that seriously and take that seriously and your response this entire time is should has been no we shouldn't take that seriously it doesn't happen but it does yes. and has You're and using a non-problem to make a non-statement okay good argument i, I, I think mean, there's no other way to go around it like the problem that, doesn't so exist. Weird. that was You're, incredibly weak the problem should be solved that also doesn't exist like like uh like small anecdotal cases like related to cakes doesn't demonstrate religious businesses being like needing have a need to be compelled to provide services to people or receive some sort of punitive action i mean can right? you, you provide an can you provide a valid no, 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 no. wait 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 we're going to go Demon Mama, we're going to go Charmander, and then other people are going to get uh, opportunities to speak on this issue. I like Cynthia. Okay? Okay, cool. All I was going to ask is, can you provide an example of a valid religious discrimination where somebody should be ban should be able to kick someone out of their business on religious reasons? Because so far, I can't think of any. I, can only, like, I can't think of a single one besides the one I literally, the the caveat I had at the beginning. Uh, anyway, Cynthia, you can take it if you want to, whatever the order well, no, is. You no, didn't it's Charmander, Cynthia, and it's the Ender Max, and then we're going to go back in the free form, okay? So, uh, many Christian and Muslim, including Jewish institutions, actually run early childhood up to usually sixth grade education programs with their facilities. They have every right to discriminate on who they let come into these schools because they teach a religious education. They don't have to teach Islam in a Christian school. They don't have to teach Christianity in an Islam school or a secular belief or any of these things, right? So if they run these schools, right, they have the ability to discriminate based on like a child's religious upbringing because that's a part of their education, right? There's there's your case. There's your case and where it's okay. I mean, aren't... aren't so uh... Is that a business? I'll, no, no, no. I'll let I'll let Demon yes. Mama. No, no. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I just wanted. I was a little confused about whether uh, a, a private school, a private church school, counts as a business. Yeah. So um, let's let's read the definition of a whataboutism, which is exactly what you're doing to um, Chud Logic, by the way. You're quite literally attempting to discredit an opponent's position by charging them with hypocrisy without directly refuting or disproving your argument. You have said, "Hey." What about these other people that get that are getting hurt? Okay, those aren't the people we're talking about getting hurt. You're quite literally just pivoting off of the subject and not actually refuting anything of what Chad's saying. So, yeah. 
Okay, Andrew Knox, you wanted to say something? Yeah, I just wanted to give a, a maybe a, a, an example that doesn't exist in, in the United States, but actually, let's let's say it happened in the United States. Uh, let's say you know for whatever reason, um, uh, a Palestinian Muslim uh, opened a business. You could say a bakery, perhaps, and a uh, Zionist, uh, Orthodox Jewish, uh, IDF soldier walks into his uh, his business. Now. He, the Palestinian has every right to feel threatened or or even outraged that person's in their shop. Do they not have maybe uh, any rightful case to make against serving that person? Uh, um, I don't know. Who walks into the bar? What was the example again? Uh, the doctor. <laughs> the doctor, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm a bad sport. The doctor walks into the bar? What's this about a doctor? Yeah, he made the idea that a Palestinian Muslim opens a business and that a Orthodox Jew Zionist walks in who... Uh, IDF soldier. IDF soldier. Yeah, IDF, IDF soldier. Somebody with radically different views on the Palestine-Israel conflict, I would assume. Um, even though, you know, the IDF... Hmm. Funny you used Israel as an example. Interesting. Interesting, in the night. Interesting choice. Are you making an interview? Is... That, uh... I'm providing it as an example because not only do mm, I care about Palestine, right? Wait, not Nothing only do I care about Israel. Wow, incredible. I care about Palestinian rights. I assume most lefties do too. This is something we agree on. So I thought maybe I'd bring it up as an interesting example. But apparently, I can't say anything about it without being called a Nazi. Thanks. Whoa, really dude. Wait, I never heard that at all. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, 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 actually, no, 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 no. Okay, fuck. Okay, Chud, you know exactly what you were getting at. You were the idea of like, why Israel? Hmm, why you bring up it? Come on, Chud. Don't let's not let's not play this. Let's not play are you this. You fucking kidding me right now, Dylan? <laughs> what are you talking about? You said you were oh, acting. Don't oh, even. No, no. Up, you know. Don't play the fucking that game. That's pretty. That's pretty obvious. Pretty obvious. Pretty yeah. obvious. No, no. I just, I've seen this. I work in this fucking industry. I've seen that thing a million times. Come on. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, like, in your particular example, I, I, I don't really have a comment on, on the specific example. I don't really, I didn't hear Chad call you a Nazi. I mean, I know the implication to there is, is like that you're being a little discriminatory, sure. Um, but that's between you and Chad, I guess. Um, but my question is, like, d what what type of business are we talking about? If there's a Muslim Palestinian, I mean, are they arguing in their lobby about politics? I mean, I don't see any reason why a, a Palestinian Muslim should... D should discriminate against uh, somebody who they've identified. I mean, first of all, I don't know how or why they would know that they're an IDF Orthodox Zionist Jew. That's in if, I'm a, in the United in like the United States. Okay, all right, sure. sure. So yeah, like, you have an IDF a, soldier. It's a come in. I mean, I don't know. Like, it doesn't really seem to me that that would be within the parameters of the business to deny that person, um, like, um, service. Like, regardless of my feelings. I mean, I, by the way, I'm I'm very, very, very supportive of Palestine's plight. Um, but it's cool. just like, but but I just don't really see how that has to do with um religion at all or religious based discrimination i mean if the guy comes in and is antagonistic um yeah i mean that's that's probably like a good reason to not have them in your business but if not like what does it matter why why should that why should that not why should they be denied business or why should they be able to just make that statement as a as a public facing business i just don't really see any i don't see the case it just seems kind of like you yeah. it kind of seems like you picked like like something that seems spicy but there's not really anything there's not any actual spice there. there's no it's real actual conflict no, no, no. So in this in this situation, it would be completely justified for the shop owner to feel like threatened or or like unsafe in their place of business. It would complete, it'd be completely reasonable. Are really? you kidding me? Are you really going to react like that? Am I like, mean, no, I, I just I don't really think that that's the case. Like, I don't think like a, like a random a person who happens to be in the IDF strolling into a business um, wearing camo, I suppose, is really threatening like i mean maybe if they had like a bazooka on their back or they drove into the parking lot in a tank like that might be that might be threatening but i don't really see what's threatening about someone just existing i mean like there's a lot of people who are in military organizations i mean for example wait oh, wait, wait wait hold on i know hold on um but but I mean, for example, I think the American military has done a lot of things wrong. Sure. Um, but I don't really think that it would be uh, just for businesses to just by and large be able to have a religious exemption from serving people who happen to have been at the military in one point or even are active duty. I just don't really think that's well, fair. I'm specifically referring to Same for police. I agree. Case, police should not be In this case, we're talking service. about somebody who believes, I mean, in an inherently religious structure of dominance over the Palestinian state. I mean, American soldiers often participate in an inherent form of d dominance over the rest of the world. So, I mean, I don't really, I don't really see, I just don't see yeah, how it's this. It's not religious. 
Uh, that's questionable. I mean, we can go uh, into that another time. I mean, there's there's quite a lot of religious supremacy involved in in uh, America has jingoism. the most professional professional fighting force in the world with the least amount of civilian casualties. I mean, okay, so what is what does this have to do with anything? Yeah. You don't need to drag the military's name through the mud to make your point. Like, I'm you not. Be, Wait, I would what? Love for you to, I would love to these religious exemptions to also extend to police officers, like as if they want to, like you know, maybe head into the Chaz zone to receive some services. Another one oh, about okay. I mean, that's literally like, what about? Yeah, exactly. Cynthia's right. Like that was no, like, no, what about him from orbit? You made the point a hundred times over. You just keep trying to refute it with this idea. No, no. Wait, 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 wait. I'm literally like, was addressing. The government doesn't decision. legislate businesses. Bottom line, like it, best business practices. That doesn't matter to the government. Wait, what? What are you talking, dude? What are you even talking about? Are you just are you just you like not, trying to find something to fight with? Bringing up in your argument this idea that it's not a good idea for businesses to discriminate. Businesses can do whatever they want. Wait, the topic is literally whether it business. It's not a good idea for businesses to. You are just making a personal statement. A it's not a good idea for businesses to try right. to. Dude, dude, what do what a what what is things. this? Is this an argument or are you just talking just to hear yourself speak? No, don't try to. Like, can you Dead try air. To the ideas rather wait, wait, than wait. Them? What idea are you saying? You literally said you're no, just. You literally just you, gave. Wait, 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 wait. You have no. Wait, you just asked me a question to prove that you think that there's an issue, right? Wait. Like, so you don't. What have are you? Even... I didn't ask you a question. I made a statement. Like you keep insinuating that I'm not making sense, but it's really simple. Governments do not legislate businesses on their practices on what they think is best. When it comes to this area of religious okay. discrimination, if a business is religious, like in its orientation, which you conceded in the beginning, then it should have a right for its creative labor to be used in the way that they see. If, if you don't like how they use their creative labor, then invest in a second form of business, use social pressure, this uh, social bullying that you talked about with the mass, do whatever you got to do. But passing laws so that and uh, putting stuff into legislation so that businesses can go under further scrutiny from the federal government on the way they operate is a horrible idea. It's just the bottom line. Well, for the record, I, I we never we never explicitly stated there was that this was federal. I think there are many other ways to pass um, uh, anti anti discrimination legislature that don't involve in like a federal level. But I don't actually think that would necessarily be a bad thing. I think that anti discrimination um, is is a fair form of regulation that should be taken seriously. Of course, um, regulation um, often impacts how businesses are run, and for very good reason. For example, um, we don't allow chemical plants. Well, in general, sometimes we do. If you're a particularly rich one, like Dow Chemical or something like that, you can pump your poison into the into the rivers. But in generally, we stop that because we've determined that behavior to be particularly troublesome. I think discrimination is particularly troublesome, and we should therefore not look into it. Of course, there's nuance in how that plays out. Um, but uh, again, I don't really know what this had to do with the IDF soldier example, which is what you interrupted me talking about to say something. So the confusion seems to set on for you quite a lot. I mean, maybe you should try communicating more clearly. You've really struggled to like make your ideas clear here. So. Oh really? I think. Uh, yes. Maybe you're just really. Hard of hearing. No. <laughs> I this is unproductive. I don't care. Okay. Does anybody else want to talk? Yeah, Cass. I just have a really, really quick thing. I think yeah. any private business has any right to refuse service to anyone based on their own beliefs. I don't care. The the way that you fucking counteract people having shady business practice, and they say, oh, you know, all capitalists want to do is just make money. Obviously, that's not the case. If this is consistently an issue, right? If you if you are a cop or if you're religious in any nature and they refuse you service, you uh, you can either make, they, they're they're taking the risk upon themselves either for them to be sued, right, or they can just lose money on that interaction and they can just go to another place of business. So they can go on social like social media sites and things of that nature. Like they're taking that risk upon themselves because they have a belief system and trampling on that is kind of fucking stupid. But Wait, I mean, so 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 your argument is that like you think that people of religious beliefs should be able to discriminate on other people of other religious. Thanks for beliefs? the follow, Fire Hero. I appreciate it deeply. Uh, yeah, that, it, it, yes, yeah. Yes. Yes. Wait. So you don't actually care about religion? No, I I absolutely do care about religion. But if if a, if 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 a if a if a if, if you're a allowing Muslim, discrimination, if, if a Muslim bakery fucking doesn't want to bake a cake for Christian people, that's their prerogative. Just to have everyone discriminating against everyone all of the time, the constantly. That sounds yeah. Like that sounds like a really great society. What could go wrong? Yeah, that sounds great. No, the key is to not have laws that would be used against It's the public. It's 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 effective. It's like public shaming. 
Yeah, it's like this picking and choosing when social pressure is the good mechanism versus when it should be the law. It's just arbitrary. Wait, like, what? Wow, that's that's almost like different things are better in different situations. Oh my god, do you eat do you eat no, soup with a fucking fork, dude? Arbitrary. That's good the word question. that I use. Yeah, it's not, almost not, like different not tools tailored. are better for different conversations. Actually, oh my know god, how to do you use a, a fork to eat soup? I know how to do it with a knife. God damn, that's I'm fucking really... hardcore like that. But I mean, so many good points. You have been also made, you know? eat your like cereal with nails, or no? I appreciate I... like I really I think the argument was like best flushed out when some other people brought up this point of like the empathy and the lack of empathy. That's a good point. A so lack what of about empathy, them? A lack of empathy exists on both sides. That's why getting the government and getting legislation involved is probably not the best idea. You have all these community action structures. There are already negative incentives to businesses using discrimination. Passing further legislation on an issue where the, with a lack of empathy on both sides will only lead to further discrimination in the future. Uh, I mean, I don't think that there's I don't really think anybody's um, expressed um any lack of empathy for the other side even though that is you don't a, care an, about ex the christian creators wow again damn um i, I don't know like I, I do i'm trying to contend with the idea of like a christian being like distraught about having to make a cake that says mr and mr on but okay well chud here's here's a cleaner example okay, okay. okay. try and imagine a muslim being distraught over being told to make a muhammad cake is that something that happens regularly I mean, it's gonna if a you enact a cake for a bat like mitzvah, this. a cake for a uh, like, you know. Well, like no, no, no. The Muslim. Well, that's a good example. Wait, wait, wait. wait. This is hold this on, is. Hold on, demon. Yeah, hold on. The Muslim making a Muhammad cake is a very good example because it's essentially sacrilege for them. Yeah, so sure. they would all these people destroyed. going into Muslim bakers demanding Muhammad cakes. That it's actually, it actually you always happen. read about it, don't you? But hold Dude, on a no, second. Like wait, the common wait. problem of people getting denied service. We're no, about it's just no. no hold on a second, though. This is a completely like this is an, an incredibly different issue. There's no discrimination being done on religious grounds because you refuse to make a cake with the picture of Muhammad on it. You're not discriminating against someone's immutable characteristics. Whereas a cake. I mean, we're obsessed with cake. Religion but... is an immutable characteristic to begin with. It, religion is not. I don't agree. Not at all. <laughs> but, also, all but, also, but also, but also, but also, but also. Atheistic ontology. Wait, wait, wait. So hold, hold on a second. Said it is not an immutable characteristic. Right, right. Well, definitely. But, but, but also, it doesn't matter because the 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 Christian is not being discriminated against because of any immutable thing. They they have a desire for a um a muhammad cake which we've already determined all literally all four of us on this side of the panel um have said that I, I think i think even um andre did but um like that that like yeah you could probably have things like if somebody randomly wants a penis shaped cake that's probably not appropriate but like in the same way like somebody wanting a muslim cake is that's a pretty random request and you can just decline to do that request what we're talking about is very specific examples of um like people right, being discriminated do you have those request. examples we could look at uh, I I have two questions. I mean, yes, for you. but no. The answer is no. You don't. Wait, wait. I, I <laughs> literally was talked over and then told no. The answer is no. Like this is literally so I, 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 I asked for permission to ask a I question did. of you. Okay, so what is the question? And then well, it, it's a two-parter. One, okay. What about demanding, like, actually forcibly demanding a catering business that is Muslim-owned uh, to do a pork-based meal? Like, can they f refuse service to that people, even if they're the only catering business in the area? If they don't wait, like this is again, this is a completely unrelated issue. Like, how does this have? Wait, wait, no, wait, hold on, wait. You asked me a fucking question. Let, 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 for God's let sake. her finish. Let her finish. Holy fucking shit, you guys are so pathetic. Holy shit. Pathetic. Um, man, yeah, that is, that is genuinely shit. pathetic. Um, Sorry, like... um, the point is, uh, what I was trying to say is like, like what you choose to put on your menu has nothing to do with what we're talking about here. What we're talking about is having a religious a religious exemption. The original question, what we've been talking about this entire time, has been whether there should be a religious exemption for people to discriminate against people. So for example, an example of that would be something like, um, I believe in a religion that says that um, trans people shouldn't exist. Therefore, I will not. I will deny service to trans people. That would be an example of what we're talking about, and I believe that should be expressly forbidden. In fact, I should... I think that discrimination oh, sorry you tried you really tried 
Um, so yeah, that sort of thing um, is has nothing to do with whether a place chooses to serve pork or chicken. Like that's like being like, oh, I went to the taco shop and I demanded a burger. This is literally like you're taking the uh, the ar argument. Literally. No, no, no. You're, yes, you are literally yeah, taking no, the conversation in a different direction. She's misencapsulating the whole entire argument. It's about rights. It's about whether you have the right to infringe on other people's rights, not the other way around. Not whether someone has the right to be allowed to discriminate. It's whether you have the ability to infringe on someone's right to refuse service. Like, be straight with this. Like, Wait, what? trying to slyly word things in a way where, like, no. Wait, this what is the fuck are you, dude? People. I don't know what you're talking about. Let, let, let's remember finish. Maybe like, the way you encapsulated this argument was, hey guys, this is really about allowing people to discriminate. It's not about allowing people to discriminate. It's about you not discriminating on people's right to refuse service. Everyone has a right to refuse service as a business, whether it's a poor business practice or a good business practice. As long as you don't have empathy for the creators and they don't have empathy for the people who want the creation, the law should stay the hell out of it. I mean, I don't really know how to respond to that because it wasn't really a response to what I, mean, I was talking based. about. Based it was, it was oh, yeah, it's definitely clear. it was definitely too based. No, it had nothing to do with what I was talking about. I was literally addressing specifically suspect sushi and Charmander has some reason to repeat his argument to me that has nothing to do with what I was talking about. I was talking about suspect sushi's example about whether it would be wrong for a company to not serve pork, which has nothing to do with what we've been talking about. No, and no, I was no. very, I, very I, clearly I, illustrating I that's not the case. Can I say what I said? Yes, I please said, do. Is it right for someone to ask or demand for a pork-based meal from a Muslim-owned uh, catering service? And it, 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 let's just say within the within the immediate area, they're the only catering service. Is it is it right that they can legally mandate because that's what you want? Legally mandate them to go <gasps> and do something. What are no no no? Okay, dude, dude, <laughs> oh, come on, okay, 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 come okay. on. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna okay. Let's let's stop. Okay, so from what I've and I'm gonna this is gonna give some executive privilege here from what i understand you're basically saying right from sushi's perspective as i'll do i'll try to be the unbiased third party you're trying to say like hey uh if you have the standard for christians and if a muslim's like somebody comes in there is like hey i want a pork sandwich and they're like well we don't want to because we don't we're muslims and we don't like pork right and we don't want to serve it and that's what your complaint what she's saying in response is well in that case they wouldn't put it on the menu right whereas in a bakery the cake would already have been on the menu right Okay, right, but like so, there, there, there's a lot. Okay, what if there, there, there's multiple? There? No, there's multiple entrees that could be uh, substituted with like meat, meat, chicken, or pork, right? So like they can wait, if wait. They wanted, if they wanted a pork based yeah, fucking lasagna, the they could just be literally, literally, they could be Shia, literally the same lasagna. Just, lasagna not, phenomenally you. stupid, you guys. So stupid. One person at a time. One person at a time. Let me clarify the example. Let's let Chad Logic go. Okay, one at okay, a time. Okay, listen, there's a difference between me coming into a restaurant and saying, hey, I'd like some pork, please, and the restaurant owner going, sorry, we don't serve pork here. Okay, that's it. They don't serve pork, fine. Between me going into a restaurant with my boyfriend and saying, hey, we'd like a table here, please, and then going, sorry, we don't serve gay people because we're religious. There's a difference between those two things. And if you don't fucking see the difference, I don't know what to tell you. To right, the second thing it. essentially never happens. I think the clear example is like a... This is just wrong. So Why like do we have there's, a Supreme Court case? There's a, so they, you guys last on this one last argument think, about I mean, pork, and you think it's derailed from the actual let, point. Okay, 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 okay. Let's, <laughs> come on, so, let's... Okay, anchor, anchor talk, go. Okay, so the Supreme Court case with the fucking the cake was actually about expression and speech. Okay, that's that's what the Supreme Court case was about. I think the Phenomenal clear scene. example is um, it's kind of what I was saying earlier. Like there's a crepery that is also a hookah lounge that I go to. That's fucking amazing. If you walk in there and say, Hey, I want you to make me some crepes that look like fucking Muhammad. I don't think that they should be compelled to commit heresy against their fucking religion to satisfy your d desire for lunch. They have crepes on the menu to shape the crepe in that way or to make the crepe in that way is effectively heresy against their God. And I don't think that you should be able to compel them 
Yeah, yeah sure. Fucking Harris. That's what we're arguing for, Mohammed shaped crepes. How ridiculous has this fucking conversation got? I just as want ridiculous people... that people are getting Listen, turned down. Let me finish my point. I just want LGBT people to be able to go into business and be served like anyone else. That's it. That's what I want. Simple as that. It would Whatever be a the... lot easier, Chud, if they didn't do shit like fucking perpetually harass that baker in Colorado. He's in court for the third fucking time about this. There's bakers all over that town, and they keep specifically fucking targeting him. I don't know how that's related to the point I made. Like, yeah, sure, if people are harassing that person, then, yeah, I disagree Because with he that, won obviously. a court case. And so now your community, the leftist community, is... Oh, my person. God. Come what on, dude. Are you, are you for real? Yeah, I, 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 just, I, just, just, listen, I just... five orders. Just Wait, five he literally was done talking, case. Charmander. I know you're struggling, but... <laughs> okay, it, 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 he on, was done talking. It was an engagement. Okay, Ankar, you talked... Chud, it was an engagement with Chud. Chud, you now have a time to respond. Oh, Ankar? I mean, yeah. To be honest with you, there's so many people fucking talking. Listen, there isn't this fucking wave of people making fucking Muhammad crepes, okay? This cake thing is is perhaps something of a distraction that we've gotten into. Um, you know, I just want LGBT people to be able to go in and be served like anyone else. Hey, if that's happening and that's not a problem, then it's not a problem. But it seems like it is a problem, according to, you know, I, I'm not a fucking expert in this, right? I don't know across America what LGBT people are being discriminated against and which aren't, okay? That's the thing. And it seems like the other side doesn't know either. Like, what are the studies? What's the data on this? You know, there's LGBT people on this panel. Like, what's your experience with this? I'd love to see data. I'd love, because I think the data isn't actually there to compel legal legislation. That's the whole point is that maybe you could justify further studies into the issue. But when, like, getting hooked up on the pork thing was, like, a totally separate thing. What Ankar was trying to say about speech is, like, totally Thanks, true. Spectrum when melodies. a baker bakes a cake or a florist makes an arrangement or a carpenter makes a table, whatever, this is, like, a form of their expression. This is a form of their work, form of their labor. Um, penalizing them with fines, other forms of, like, legal intervention, like, uh, because... They are not you that is compelling them to use their labor in a certain way like you literally keep saying over and over if you're going to be this front facing business that you need to be responsible but the go you're not responsible to the government and exactly how you run your business everyone's already also giving you guys caveats if there's specific services that need to be fulfilled then definitely like have specific cases where when you have like an automotive dealership whatever where this discrimination is a problem there should still be civil court that exists to take people to court when you think that they wrongfully discriminate against you discriminate against you and these types of things but until you can demonstrate he just made our argument issue a widespread issue with uh trans people or whatever marginalized group that you think is getting getting denied on a religious basis and there's a scarcity that exists and this is like a form of oppression until you produce the studies that show that this is the case i think you i would really think hard before you pass legislation that potentially could be used against you in the future in your party if you let's say don't reattain power things like this i mean i i should hope that i would never have a situation where my defense is my religion says that i should discriminate against you i mean i feel like what we've been your world to you I, I, Not everyone that hired adheres to your worldview. Like, you don't like Christianity, you're an atheist. Well, we get it. Great. Wait, wait okay. Well, let's excuse me? Wait, wait, that's a literal non-argument. Wait, wait, let's listen to Damon Mama speak, okay? I think I'm at, like, like, th like three interruptions per word at this point. Um, okay, but let's... Yeah. let's here um, you go. Here's, I'm passing it to you. Yeah. Um, the, uh, the, 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 I, I feel like, uh, spe specifically with Char, I feel like it's kind of been being talked by. It's like, um... That what we're talking about is saying that we should not allow religious exemptions for people to discriminate based on immutable characteristics. And every single time we've talked about this, it's gone with, well, what about serving pork? And what about, um, and what about, uh, I don't even remember what the one Ankar brought up was at this point. Um, what about Muhammad penis cakes or, or the Mohammed cakes? That's another great example of something that makes crepes, no sense. Not cakes. Crepe, cake. Oh, okay. yes, the crepes. That makes all the difference. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, the crepe is like. Uh, that makes the, the whole world different. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, come on. Like, I mean, these things are literally t totally different issues. I don't think it's unreasonable to say that no matter who is in power, left or right, that the government should be able to say, hey, like one of our rules for doing for doing business, for granting people a business license, for allowing you to do business in public, um, to use public space, roads sh for your shipping, whatever, um, is granting them a license. I mean, that's literally like. That's no, you just, your lexicon's disingenuous, but that's okay. Uh, I mean, are not business licenses granted by the 
Well, no, no, but you're infringing on the right to refuse. You're not giving people I, I'm an not, exemption I'm not to discriminate. No, 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 that's, no, no, that's wait, a lie. No, like, I, you're oh lying. God. I want to know. I want to know wait, why wait. the right to refuse. I, I, I'm, is just. I'm, I'm just like. Is, I, I feel like this is. Well, listen, listen. It's important to why understand. Is, why the, is the right? right to refuse. Wait, 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 wait. Simp was talking. Simp was talking first. My fucking. Why God. is the right to refuse just? Why should you be able to refuse people, especially protected classes, just based on a particular belief you have? Why is that just? Yeah. Uh, so just one one such example. I mean, if you're a baker, right, maybe you're like a really health conscientious, you work out a lot. It oh, might be like in your best again. interest as an American taxpayer not to serve an obese person cake. I mean, that's, that's just uh, like, this dude. Holy fuck, that's a hey, non I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to ask one more time. This, I got you. I'm going to answer it. All right. Okay. All right. We're gonna, and then we're going to do ending statements. Okay? Yeah, okay. All right, listen. Well, if if someone has a dress policy in in their fucking restaurant or their place of business, or you're not dressed a certain way, like why can't they refuse you service? Like if I if I'm in a nice fucking like like restaurant or something like that, and you come oh in, oh my god, they're so stupid. But like, what do you Draw mean? The like, you say... Draw the analogy. Draw how it's analogous. Dude, I, I, like any private thing. business has a right to refuse service based on how they want to run their business. Plain and simple. You have money. You have you you can go wherever the fuck you want with it, and I'll put I'll flip this on its head and say if you don't even want to go with religious, what if a Christian man wanted a gay cake maker to put scripture on a cake, for, uh, specifically Leviticus eighteen twenty two that speaks against gays? Should the cake maker be able to say no to that person? Yeah, it's okay, Glooby. We completely embarrass them. Yes. There's no way they're walking away from this. Then way. why because can't religious people do it? Oh, for fucking. Wait, God. what are you? Did you, did you just think... Thank you. We're yeah, religion good. is a belief. Religion is a belief. Immutable characteristics are not beliefs. Immutable characteristics are things of wh about which your personality that exists regardless Smoke of other Smoke a lot things. of weed history buff. Belief, That's which not is not religion. Because... Okay, then you have the wrong definition. Would you like me to look it up for you? The way I sure. see it, when we Would you it like around, me to you look it up like favor. philosophically for you? Right. Okay. Based on my presuppositionless ontology, yeah, my religion is not an immutable characteristic. If you were a presup, if you were a presup, you would be more like Darth Dawkins, and at least Darth Dawkins know how to know how to run his script and be okay. like commanding. Okay, okay, okay. okay. We're, done, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done with this. I'm gun. I'm not doing a debate over definitions right now. Definitely not with four minutes on the clock. Okay, so I'll say the. I'll I'll read a definition about it, and then we're going into closing statements. Immutable characteristics is any sort of physical uh, attribute which is perceived as unchangeable, uh, entrenched, and innate. And some examples are like homosexuality, heterosexuality, etc. Okay, that naturally occur and cannot be changed. Okay, cool. There, there's a definition I could find. Okay, closing statement times. You all have one minute closing statements, and also one minute. Uh, you have the one minute for the closing statements, just, you know, and, um, to also do, like, your outros, but, like, hey, this is where you can find me, blah, 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 okay? I am going to start, uh, from the top middle, because I've never done that before, and it'll be Chud Logic. Um, yeah, so, um, I think we kind of got railroaded, and, you know, I think I, I would tell partly to blame for that with this fucking cake shit, and then we ended up on Mohammed Crepes, which is very strange. Um, that's the strangest example I've ever heard on, on this sort of thing, but there we go. Um, yeah, I mean, my, my thing really is, um, I just want LGBT people, minority, whoever it is, you know, to be able to be served equal to anyone else. Um, and, and that's it. That's what I'd advocate for. Um, if it's something we don't have enough information on, I'd advocate for studies to find out if it's an issue. And if it's an issue, we should fix it somehow, perhaps by legislation. That's it. And next is going to be Demon Mama. Um, yeah, uh, this topic was really uh, strange. Um, how do I address this? Uh, I think that um, we made a, a good faith attempt to address the complexities of the discrimination situation and drew out genuine concerns about past examples of, of discrimination um, and the, the potential risk that could be that could come from people using religion as an excuse to discriminate. And it's, we were met with things like, why can't I order um, a Big Mac at, at Burger King, essentially? Um, and honestly, like, I think that that's just like, uh, basically stalling for time um, and really leads to a, a kind of useless conversation. Um, on other topics, I mean, we had such hot takes as um, get off, what was it, get off the dick if you don't want to have a baby or something. Um, I don't know. I feel like we, like, like, 
I feel like the the points made here were just like really really hilarious and 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 needlessly aggressive. Um, but all right. Um, yeah, my closing statement. Uh, my name is Demon Mama. You can um, you can uh, find my stuff. Uh, I'm gonna drop the the link in the chat. Uh, you can find me at your demon mama on Twitter. You can find me um, at Demon Mama Live here on Twitch. I do a lot of talks, a lot of debates, stuff like this. So yeah, if you think I did a good job, um, then uh, come hang out. I'm going to be doing a post uh, stream chat, so we'd love to have you there. Come by my stream and say hello. We'll talk about stuff. Oh yeah, my doll and Snickers, Snickers too. Great argument. Uh, all right, that's all. Okay, next is going to be Suspect Sushi. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do any attacks or I'm done with the thing. I just want to say that one, Ankar, he's a great guy. Uh, he barely streams, so basically anybody who likes him, come to me. Uh, Endernax, he needs to start streaming soon because he thinks he's pretty fucking amazing. And hey, hey, man, I'm right the there with you, dude. I'm cutting weight right now, and I think that we should head off the pass at a, a, a child obesity. I think it's running rampant in our today's society. Charmander, uh, unfortunately, uh, it seems that uh, the nuance that you were you know, trying to get into is a little bit lost. Uh, it's unfortunate, but uh, you have some big brain takes, and if you don't stream, I definitely think that you should stream. Outside of that, once again, twitch.tv uh, slash suspect sushi, a.k.a. also swole Thanks, Team Thanks, CalTTV. I appreciate I'm that always on the right side of history. Have a good one. Peace. <laughs> okay, next is going to be Synth. Synth, you're muted? Oh, is it me? Sorry. No, she's speaking super soft. Don't worry. Yeah, it's okay. Um... <laughs> Yeah, there were incredibly big brain takes. Um, you know, the uh, just get off the dick, that was a really fun one. Um, I mean, I hate to bring it up again, but like, I, I mean, the analogy of like, you shouldn't hit a baseball because it might kill someone. This is a really great argument too. It's literal like, hey, by the way, you're doing a slippery slope right now. You're validating my fallacy. Yeah, so that's not how that works. Um, the incredibly big brain takes from Char. Holy shit. Um, and the amount of like talking over. Um, I think generally like, I don't know. This this kind of got off base. Um, <laughs> fuck me, dude. The, should we be able to discriminate against religion, like for right to serve? Y yeah, probably because they're literally discriminating based on um, immutable characteristics, which belief and faith isn't. Um, so yeah. Oh, I guess my my channel's the Cynthia. Um, I do politics, philosophy, uh, different memes. I'm a debate bro debate sis whatever pronouns you want to use for that one because it's pretty you know nebulous um but like yeah check me out if you want to okay i'm gonna throw it over to ankar uh yeah i don't i don't get the chris rock hate with the stop fucking put the dick down quote like that comes from one of my favorite stand-up bits i thought it was applicable you know whatever if you if you don't like chris rock that's that's wah, on wah. i thought the muslim crepery was uh was a pretty good example you know i know muslim family that has one they've got awesome pond hookah and a good lunch special and i would never want them to be compelled to commit heresy against a religion i think that uh, to compel that labor is fucked up and uh, i know the left wants compelled labor it's always good to see the left clamoring for the return of slavery so here we That's go again. Remember when I said he was going to do this again? Into, you know, Suspect Sushi, man. I think everybody should follow him. He's got easily digestible, spicy takes uh, from a black guy that has a suspicious level of knowledge regarding the Civil War. Um, he's, he's super chill, knows a ton, you know, just enough spice to clear your sinuses, but not so much as it's not a good meal and you need some, some milk. Endermax, man, I like Endermax a lot. Like, I'm still trying to understand his positions myself. Um, He's complicated as fuck. So if you want a good thought exercise, like working through Endermax's positions will will stretch your brain and give you a good workout. Uh, Char, I'm, I'm going to do everything I can to get that dude around more. Like, I, I really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to happen, man. You're, you're definitely going to have to come around some more. So you can find me at uh, Twitch Anchor, whatever. Like I said, I don't stream much. I just kind of float around and hang out. And uh, since the invite was open, I'm going to go hang out with Demon Mama post-panel. Hell yeah! Come hang out in my chat. You know what? If you two, if you, if for whatever reason you two actually decide to go in voice and demo, I'll send the raid over there. Um, and somebody asked in chat, where do I find these people? I go on long tracks in the Amazon, in the Egyptian desert. Uh, I, I, I've, I, I've gone all over the globe on on an adventure to find the spiciest takes. I came from the woods. Them. Exactly. I, 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 bring I went, politics. Exactly. I have exactly one question. Yeah. Dylan, what? can I farm your uh, can I farm your panel for righties for my panel? Right. You can ask. Take <laughs> sure, sure. You can. You can. I mean, I was just on yours yesterday. 
You can do your yeah, best. I know. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. No, I, I do no, not. I will never I turn down anyone. Awesome. Okay, we'll go to the next person. It's A4 Andre. Yeah, that was I I didn't. I wasn't going to say anything about anybody, but then I was talking about uh, the poor bakers and how they're being enslaved and what the left wants. Like, what the fuck? Where am I at? Um, yeah, I. Uh, I don't TV. Go <laughs> yeah, I'm doing Dylan Burns TV. This is crazy. Uh, Suspect Sushi, I really disliked for most of the cast. I disagreed with entirely, except for the very end. I thought that was a really interesting analogy you posed. I didn't have a chance to answer it. Um, Demon Mommy, you kind of carried the stream today, at least for uh, people on my side of things. And I don't know. It was cool. Thanks for the invite, Dylan. Uh, I don't have a commercial. Sub to Dylan Burns TV. Give him four ninety nine or Twitch Prime uh, for having to hear some really shitty opinions. The least you could do is that. Give him a little bit of money. Thanks. I'm here for clout. Thank you very much. You know, I, think, I think so far. I knew you were my... salty. I knew you were salty about that. <laughs> I knew you were salty. I'm so happy that you're not going to lose your job for your shitty takes and you were able to take off your mask. That's cool. I'm, uh, and I'm a fan of the beard. Oh, hey, don't man. be mad. I won't steal yourself. Hey, man. Uh, I, I... <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I'm sure Charm Charmander would do very well with the Animal Crossing community. Um, uh, I Next actually is... Beard. It is uh, Charmander, and I think A4 Andre so far has had my favorite outro. Uh, yeah, it's your boy Char. Hashtag check the vod. Hashtag uh, you know, uh, big discriminator. Uh, like honestly, making people mad is part of the game. If people wouldn't get upset, I'm not doing it right. Uh, I don't have. I'm nobody. Politics server Discord. Check it out. That's where a lot of us come from. No holds barred. No special rules, right? Uh, come check it out. Uh, thank you to Big Man Sushi, uh, you know, Slick, uh, you know, American Psycho Ender, Nax, uh, you know, good old uh, Ankar, uh, the brother from the South. Like, uh, glad you guys showed up. I actually appreciated Air A4's takes, except he's a little salty, but it's okay. <laughs> Chud, good takes. I, like, you've done an AMA on the server, so, like, yeah, I, I think that you had some good takes. Demon Mama, I think that you're smart. We just don't agree. Um, since, since, same thing. To, uh, cool. Like, the shit is cool. Uh, sub to all these people's stuff. Um, check out check out our server. Uh, that's it. Yeah. To everybody but me. This is the type of abuse moderator. Oh, Dylan. Well. Dylan's Dang. the goat, right? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, Dylan's follow the Dylan. Dylan's the goat. Yeah, I actually <laughs> just follow Dylan. Like, fuck all these other people. Like, it's his stream. Don't worry about them. Just follow Dylan. True. That's a, that's a decent boy right there. Uh, and Sushi, just because he's the boy. And well, Ender... and the hand car. Whoever Shut up! Is. Your commercial and... over. <laughs> okay. Come on, yeah. Ender, Ender, mm, next. Oh, thank you. Um, you know, I wasn't really involved in the last debate, so I guess I'm just going to talk about this instead. You know, I used to be um a progressive Bernie Sanders type, and actually, you know, unironically, I'm going to piss all the other right wingers here off. Um, I uh I would have preferred. Bernie Sanders be the Democratic nominee, and I would have voted for him. Um, now, that being said, I, I think that the the lefties uh, constantly get something wrong, and that's this. Uh, overall life satisfaction um, is really low among those with left-wing politics. Uh, things like anxiety, depression, suicide, uh, drug use, drug use and abuse. These things are all much higher in their communities, even despite the opiate epidemic hitting extremely conservative areas and affecting exclusively, almost exclusively, very rural areas that exist with a lot of conservatives. Now, this says to me that there is a lot of economic angst in this country. There's a lot of economic problems. We do need a we do need Medicare for all. I would say a minimum wage would be a good idea. I think UBI is a good idea. Um, but I think that they missed something on the, uh, the, uh, the growth of humanity, that growing as a person and striving for discipline and order and becoming a better person is something that you find inherently fulfilling. And I think at the end of your life, it's very important to be able to look back and say, I built something. I created something. I became better than what I was. Um, this and is that's like some Jordan really Peterson why shit. I have socially conservative views, despite having uh, left-leaning populist views on the economy. And uh, I'd like to invite all of you guys to check out all of these dudes. They've all got the uh, the right, well, I mean, mostly right social takes. I think we disagree mm. a bit. We argued for about five hours. We argued for about five hours before the stream to to make sure there were no problems with unity before we got on here because the lefties always have the unity, man. They never disagree, it seems. But uh, <laughs> uh, every single one of them I think is a great dude. I enjoy it. I enjoy the conversation uh, with every single one of them. Char and I get into it a lot because he's a, he's a libertarian and I am not. Um, suspect Sushi. 
uh, the dude, I just yelled at him about charter schools the other day, but I got to be honest with you. This man is a good person. Oh, he good boy, takes. he tried. He's pretty intelligent. Thanks, Jordan. Uh, you should go follow him. Uh, NCAR, NCAR is, a, is a very spicy conservative, and I enjoy uh, the, the amount of animosity he garners. I think I find it entertaining personally, but that's just me. All right. Besides that, thank you for having me on, Dylan. I really appreciate it. Uh, I might start streaming myself, but probably I mean, maybe we'll see. Um, I, I imagine uh, I don't think Twitch would like that very much, so maybe not. But you, I hope you all have a wonderful night. It was wonderful talking to you. Um, I tried you were way nicer than I thought you'd be. Have okay, everybody. That was the Hippie TV podcast. I'm happy for everybody coming on. Thank you for coming on, and some of you on short notice. Uh, since I started this show about two months ago, I have been consistent on every single Friday. I've been able to bring four right-wingers and four left-wingers together. And next Friday at 8 p.m. EST, that will be the same as well. Yikers, the purple. Same, not the same crew, but a lot of new topics, new people. Who sees? Who knows what next week's going to bring? But be sure to tune into that as well. I also am going to be reading John Bolton's new book on Monday, which should be interesting. And who knows? I think I have a few debates scheduled. So, you know, if anybody wants to tune into next week's podcast, I'd really appreciate it. And thank you once again to all the guests who stopped on by. We're going to be rating uh, somebody's stream. I, I mean, I disagree with this person on Aliens, but they have some decent takes on some other things. So, anyway, uh, thank you all for stopping by, and you'll have a splendid weekend. Hey, Dylan. Thanks, thanks Dylan. Asking the question, buddy. Yeah, what's the question? All right. Well, actually, no, it's a statement. Thanks, Dylan. It's a statement and a question. One. Okay. Did you know this is my third time being here in a row? That's a hat trick, bro. Oh, shit. You know what? It is It is a hat trick of everyone canceling. Let me just... Uh, it's it's, it's hard to find relevant conservatives, because, uh, you know... I'm <laughs> and so oh, my God. Hey, thank you. Thank you all for coming by. Yeah, no, I, I deeply know, appreciate it. Anyway, and then, and then I'm going to hop, gonna like, hop like, out now. I was like, yeah. do you know how much you hurt my feelings? Oh, my God. What a mess. Everyone, what a mess. Was that a show? Did I not promise you? Did I not promise you that there would be blood? I promise and I delivered. Hey, hello to all the raiders. Thank you so much for coming in. I greatly appreciate you being here. We are actually going to have Synth on. Um, and we're going to see. Hold on. Okay. Okay. So is Otis? Okay. So we've got. Here, let's see. Let me join in here. Hey, can you hear me? Let's see. I don't know if, uh, Synth, if you can hear me, uh, just let me know. I don't know, is, is Otis Ankar? Uh, if, Ot uh, Ankar, if you're listening and you're in chat, um, let me just clear it with Synth, because I did say I was going to talk with Synth. Um... There's an Otis in the waiting room. I don't know who that is. If that's Ankar, just speak up in my um in my stream chat or something so that I know that it's you. Oh, you can't speak? Oh, what the fuck? That's weird. Can you speak now? Hello. Hey, sorry Hi. about that. Um, let Hi. me just Do you want to uh let's see. I don't know. Do you want to do video? Yeah, I guess we should. Yeah, right? sure. Wait, hold um, on. Then I would have to call you directly, yeah, right? Cuz I don't have a video channel set up. Oh, that's Otis. Oh, who the fuck yeah. Who the fuck is this Otis? Sure. Otis, who the fuck are you? I'm sorry, I don't know who you are, I, dude. He was he was someone who was messaging me to come onto the panel. Oh. Um, I have no idea who he is. I think he's a random viewer. Okay, so random Andy. Um, Otis, we're not doing I'm not doing like uh, open chat right now, so yeah. Um that was A4 Andre. Um I don't have a shout out command here, but um some if anybody knows A4 Andre's uh Twitch link, if you could drop that in chat, that'd be really super cool. Um synth let me see um let's do yeah let's do this oh okay 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 here let me just call you one second I i'm calling you right now synth um just so you're aware let oh okay yeah. cool so can you can you see oh wait do you want to turn your video on i don't know yeah. what's best here like i i don't usually do video stuff so let me see let me see how i can do this best wait let me okay. Let me go. Good. If I go I full gotta... screen, it should go. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Sick. And then there we go. And then I can and then... turn off mine, and I can actually turn on my main. There we go. Sick. So now you can see me. I can see you. We can have everybody on stream and everything like that. Well, that was a ride, wasn't it? That was a bit of a ride. 
um damn that was uh that was a shit show for sure holy shit dude yeah what a mess <laughs> put oh down the dick <laughs> grab I'll some my dog stickers bro oh my you god you must stop sucking dick oh god oh I, it was so fucking I just, good like, i just like i don't know i tried to analogize to like a baseball game right because they're they're all like cishet white dudes right they should like baseball shouldn't they get that one or yeah you'd think so you'd certainly think so um i don't know that was like that was fucking wild <laughs> that was actually like that was t more wild than I was expecting, but in a completely different direction. So, like, I mean, I've been on with Ankar, like, three times, and every single time, consistently, Ankar has something dumb as shit to say, just like that. Um, and he always, by the way, his closing statement is always, um, is always whining about how, um, like, how the, the, the left is so intolerant and rude and stuff. He literally whines about it every single time, despite being like, oh, like, uh, I'm not a snowflake like you guys. Just, uh, just get off the cuck carousel, my dude. Get some Midol and Snickers. And then at the end, he's just like, oh, you, you're so mean to me. I'm like, dude, what it's the actually, fuck, man? It's actually like, oh, well, you don't like bullying, right? So don't bully me. Like, okay, then. Hey, thanks okay, for the follow, then. everybody. Oh, my God. Yeah, it, what a mess. Oh, my God. Like, I... Some of those takes were so painfully stupid that it actually like I I like like nearly blacked out. Like it was like a like a like a stupidity blackout. You know that you know in SpongeBob, you know the orb of confusion where it turns on it's like duh. That's how I felt like once we got to the point of like, well what if they what if they want a um what if they want pork, but the restaurant doesn't serve pork? And I'm yeah, like, wait. Holy shit. That what? Was actually the funniest fucking I was like, wait. The, and actually the um oh god the analogy sushi tried to make uh, yeah right yeah yeah, yeah 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 so the analogy he tried to make i like i just knew like i didn't i didn't even know if the analogy was good i'll be completely honest i just wanted him to try to explain it because i know he couldn't <laughs> like that's that's literally i don't i don't know if it was just a frustrated or like i don't know dude but i i knew that it was probably pretty dumb and if he tried to explain it it would sound pretty dumb yeah so, uh, <sighs> like i don't know like there were certain parts where i was just like like okay there were a couple of things that really got to me one of the ones was when we were talking about um birth control the paternalism was like it was like irritated oh like my oh my god, god like I, I don't want my wife i don't want my girls getting any uh any negative side effects from medication I'm like you, you know oh yeah absolutely uh sorry i just want to address a for andre andre it was fucking great i hope i hope we get to talk soon we'll we'll work something out i'm back to streaming now so um yeah thanks oh and holy shit thank you so much for the gifted sub marinara cynthia you have a sub to my channel now you can now use my cool ass emotes um, Pog, Pog is right. Yeah, I have some cool Dude, ass custom actually, emotes. That's got to be one of the like the greatest fucking perks of being a streamer, right? Just like being able to go in other people's chats and be like, "Hey, what's up, chat?" And then someone will fucking give you a sub. Yeah, it's you know? sick as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> no, Marinara is amazing. Like she, uh, Marinara hangs out in my chat all the time. Like, my community is super awesome. Um, yeah, they were they were in my chat like uh, saying good things. So. Yeah, good. Yeah. Thank you, chat. Be supportive. That's like the best thing you can do. We build these cross community things, and it's it's fucking good. It works out great. Um, okay, so let's talk about the elephant in the room. The fat phobia thing. Oh was, no, dude, that was so bad. Dude, and Enderman was like. Oh. Um, Ender snacks, Ender crack. Um, that dude was, he wanted to call me a fat bitch so bad. I've never seen somebody want to call me a fat bitch so bad. Like he was just like, <laughs> he was like, oh man, if I wasn't on stream right now, I'd call her a fat obese bitch. Like I was like, oh man, this guy's like this far from fucking snapping. I knew it. I know that fucking language a hundred times. Like he could not he let go of it. So hard. That is the he type of- He was trying so hard. Yeah, it was so crazy. Holy shit. I was like, I was like, I gotta just bait it out. Like, wait, really? Are are people like whispering you with fucking homophobe? That's crazy. Oh shit. Yeah. See, we get this shit all the time. The amount of harassment from these malding motherfuckers is hilarious. Um, but oh my god, like holy shit. Like when he started going off about the fucking like it was the most tangential issue ever. But right there, for, for everyone in my chat who doesn't know, that's what it looks like when you're emotionally compromised on an issue. When you're emotionally, um. 
when you're emotionally compromised on an issue is when you can never let it go. You just blow up when it's a completely tangential thing and, and just go crazy on it. And you're just like, yeah, well, I think that we should bully fat people because it's disgusting. You notice how many times he said stuff like, like he would use words like, oh, it's just morbidly like, obese. Gross. Like, yeah. yeah yeah like literal literal like the the uh the charged words of like this stuff is gross like the literal and, and like oh my god in the way that he was doing civility politics was so fucking oh god he's so fucking crypto dude like holy shit the like uh and like um what was it who was it that said i i think char said like your your fucking intonation of your voice and like how, yeah. how loud you're talking was like deciding your fucking hyperbole like that's not what hyperbole means i literally oh, no, like dude. the dude was not char was not listening that guy was not listening i literally asked i'm like dude can you give me one example just tell me what i said that was hyperbole or that was um misleading there and he just goes well you know it's just in your intonation and in the way that you talk about things your rhetoric, bro. and it was what's even worse and it just goes to show you how endemic this sort of thinking is like among their among like this group of like sort of conservative social conservatives like ankar pops in and goes yeah i can tell by your face i'm like good one dude good one my dude um holy shit that was so bad yeah, I was like, I was like, oh man, I was gonna, I kept sipping my McDonald's soda because I was like, I want him to mention it. I want him to, I knew he was, he kept looking at my screen and being like, like I could tell he's like looking at my fucking screen and being like, oh man, she's drinking a fucking soda. Oh my God. God. Uh, that was, that was a good, you know what? As, as much as that was absolute fucking brain worms, I get to feel the fucking brain cells like jumping off of the edge. Like as I as I'm sitting there, but like yeah, that that was that was a good meme. That you ever seen meme. you ever seen the movie? Um, f oh fuck, what's it called now? Oh no, oh no, I'm gonna forget the name of the movie. It's a movie. It's got it's got. Uh, it's, oh no, oh no, um, no, it's it's got a uh, scarecrow guy, the guy who plays the scarecrow. They go, they're flying to the sun. Um, sunlight. There we go. There's the movie Sunlight. Um, have you ever seen it? Okay, no, not it's oh sunshine, sunshine. That's the movie. Okay, so it's this movie. There's this really great scene in the movie where uh, one of the characters goes to like the viewing deck, and they're really close to the sun. They're in like a spaceship flying close to the sun, and he goes to the viewing deck, and he's just like, "I'm done. Like I'm done. I want to die in glory. I know I'm gonna die, so I want to just experience the full light of the sun." And so he goes to like a viewing deck and opens the window, and like no filter, and he just goes like "goosh" and gets blasted by the sun and turned into a skeleton instantly. And like that was the experience. That was the experience of. When the when the when the fat discussion started was me just going and just getting immediately just blasted with radioactive dumb takes and it was just like oh holy shit holy shit i can't even believe that like also the like the amount of like okay so i'm just gonna try and go back real quick and sort of retrace our journey where we went from wearing masks um why are you so worried about COVID-19, the pandemic that is currently sweeping the world and has killed like 150,000 Americans and like hundreds and hundreds of thousands more worldwide? Why are you so worried about that when people die from heart disease every year? And I'm just like, like when yeah, that happened- the literal what about is like the literal like, hey, what about this thing? Oh yeah. God, it, it fucking killed. Well, the thing was I was muted at the time and I tried to break in, but I didn't remember I was muted. So I fucking, I went and looked up the exact definition of what about -ism. I was fucking ready. Oh, and that was, was so like, good. You know what? This, this dumbass is going to fucking use it again. I'm just going to fucking keep this shit. And you know what? The dumbass used it again. Yeah. Holy shit. Uh, it was so. <laughs> <That> was... <laughs> uh, but like, oh, the other, one of the, one of the other memes, the, um, what the fucking why do you why do you want to socially pressure people in this thing but not the other thing oh my god like it's almost the, like they're the, two the completely using, different things yeah using a fork to eat soup dude that's what you're doing you're using a fork to eat soup yeah, yeah like what do you you're using a hammer to like fucking i don't even know oh god certain parts of the conversation was... <laughs> really felt like oh hey gloopy thank you for this holy shit thank you for the tier three sub oh, the tier holy three, pog. shit poggers oh my god i've I never gotten one of those before subbers. Oh holy shit if anybody wants to gift synth uh, a tier three sub you will get this amazing emote look this is a literal emote made out of a literal picture of my dog yoda it's it's reserved currently for tier three subs only but um and me um but yeah it's uh thank you so much uh gloopy holy shit um yeah oh my god so 
uh, the whataboutisms were 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 whack were just wild. They were just going wild okay. with the whataboutisms. Yeah. But the one that really now this now maybe you can explain this to me, Synth, because I still don't get it. I don't understand where the question had anything to do with the IDF soldier and the Palestinian guy. I still don't get that. Um, like, what is that? Okay. Is it like implied so that like? I think. I think the the point of that was to uh and I, I think I had gone over it before. The only way I can interpret this is that like um he was trying to go over like, well what about one religion discriminating on another? And I remember I asked Sushi that question. Right or wait, it wasn't even necessarily discriminating on another religion. It was like discriminating on another person based on their nationality. Like yeah. something even more in, like Or that, they're belonging to a military group? Yeah, I don't I don't think that like that was a very good analogy. It wasn't it would at least wasn't a very clear analogy. I don't know. Maybe if he had time to explain it more, he might have been able to, but it seemed kind of Nazi. Yeah, um, there was a little it was a, like, li a little bit. I wasn't quite ready to go where like, Chad went, but, but it, was, it was a little bit there, isn't it? It's a little weird. Yeah, the, the Also, Trekkie in chat. Yeah, fucking get your non-binary flag, okay? Get your fucking pride flags, all right? Oh, pride yeah. flags are odd. See this wall right here, Synth? This white wall right here that's all empty? Soon, I'm going to have shit on it. So, and also for chat. Wow. I've already told my chat, but I haven't told you. So, soon, I will be able to have a flag. I'm thinking of doing, uh, like, the new pride flag design. The one that's got the, like, black and brown um, little mm -hmm. delta at the top. Because I really like that one. And then I'm probably going to do a Pathologic 2 poster over here. Because I love Pathologic 2. Um, that's really random. Um... What's I don't that? Know if he was Nazi dog. Wait, wait. Uh, Maybe. Oh, um, this discussion right now is um, Dylan. Oh, you need a VIP badge. I will give you VIP. I don't know how to do that from here, um, but I will give you VIP. You deserve a VIP badge for sure. Um, uh, Dylan, this is happening on both. I think both Synth and I are streaming this, right? You're you're still streaming, right, Synth? Yeah, I'm still streaming. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. So yeah, it's either one of us. You guys can pop into either of our chance. Hey, thank you for the sub. Oh, Glooby, thank you for the gifted sub to Dylan Burns. Oh, hell yeah. Thank you so much. Um, damn, I'm getting so much love tonight. I really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, like, I didn't get that one. I thought it was really um, unconnected. The thing that really got to me about the last topic was that, like, none of the right-wingers actually addressed the topic that we were talking about, except for kind of Char, but I really did not understand what Char was getting at. He... I, I didn't get it. I just don't understand what he's talking about. Like, we, like, all of the enforcement agencies that enforce the law currently would be exactly the same. We're just saying, hey, guess what? You also can't, res you can't get out of this by saying that it's a religious thing. Because, I mean, the, ex the extreme extrapolation of that, of course, is like saying something like, oh, well, I'm religious. Therefore, I believe my children should be able to be my slaves in my shop. And that's my religious belief. And obviously, we don't allow yeah, that. Like so... Yeah, that was that was like the I think that's what I was that's what I was trying to get at. Um and I I think I was um I think I took the wrong path, right? Um I I was trying to get them to empathize with like uh discriminating or like causing hurt to people of other religions as well, but it seemed like they didn't even respect They that. don't care. Like they don't like they yeah. don't actually care about religion. They care about Christianity, which is like the main central religion here, and like they care about being able to fucking like perpetuate that. That that's what it seemed like they really cared about, even though I couldn't fucking get to that. Do you um, remember that part yeah. when I asked um Char, like I was like, Hey, can you provide an example of like when it would be appropriate to use religion to discriminate against someone's immutable traits? And there was no answer. Not at all, just literal dead <laughs> that air. Was the fucking best. You should have you should have asked again. Yeah, no, you, I, you I should have. But, but but I think it was funny enough. It was funny to me because it was just dead air. And then like multiple people in mine and Dylan's chat were like dead air, dead air. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have an example. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, that was that was the funniest. Yeah, hey, thanks the, for the follow. The thing is, like, I, I would be fine with like half of these arguments because here's the thing. I can I can understand. I can actually go over to the right winger side, and you know what? I could make their arguments, and I could probably give examples. I could probably find really fun one offs of like examples to support their arguments. But they don't even do that. They didn't even like do the minimal around amount of research to look like a little bit good. Like it, it's it's insane. Endernax. Oh, hey, Enderman's in my chat. Um, and Enderna Endermax Endernax says my point was mostly referring to religious ideals justifying plausible discomfort 
or perceived threat. My initial answer to Dylan Burns in my opening statement mentioned this. I uh, yeah, but I don't understand what um like that doesn't that doesn't ant that doesn't fit with what we were talking about. I mean, like I don't want to like like fight with you from chat, but I mean um at the same time like we were talking about someone say okay, the original topic is about using religion and saying my religious beliefs prevent me from serving X person, um and what every single left person on the left side made basically i think maybe not chud but for the most part all of us had said pretty explicitly that no you shouldn't be able to use your religion as an excuse or as a reasoning for why you discriminate against someone's intrinsic traits but that doesn't mean um that doesn't mean that there's no reason to kick someone out of a building but the example with the palestinian soldier or with the palestinian owner and the soldier like that doesn't have anything to do with religious beliefs like yeah. if they were threatened by the soldier for something the soldier was doing that's a perfectly valid reason to kick somebody out of your building um yeah um, did i hear wait, suspect meme? sushi's last point on how a gay cake maker shouldn't be forced to write scripture that speaks against gays or on a cake for a christian yeah but okay again Jink Fidelis, that is already that is already taken care of. Like I I already provided a solution to that, which is that an artist should be able to say, "Hi, we don't we don't do certain types of messaging. We don't put um like we don't put religious messaging on cakes um, or whatever. That's not uh that's not discrimination based on anything. That's not justifying your religion, and that's not justifying discriminating against an intrinsic trait. What you choose to put on a cake is completely different. What 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 the the problem the reason why this always comes back to cakes is because of this specific example where a cake company re found out that one of their clients was gay and then refused to make them a cake and the whole problem is that if that's the reasoning that is kind of fucked up it has nothing to do with what's actually on the cake it has to do with the fact that they don't want to make a cake for a gay person and that's kind of fucked up um so yeah um wait did somebody get banned oh okay let me see uh okay yeah so um yeah, that's all. Uh, Endernax also says, so no, no. So the religious values that this individual's had would cause them to feel discomfort from this individual. I guess it was much more than just immutable characteristics. Also, I don't really have much to say in the first place. I don't have the libertarian take on this. I just think that people should generally serve customers unless they're acting absurd. I mean, I think that's, I think that's pretty reasonable. I think that's a pretty reasonable take to come to is like, yeah, I mean, obviously if somebody is, if somebody's actions are disturbing a business, but I mean, like, like the reason why I try to talk about examples that have happened in the past, like for example, bl like black people not being allowed to go into a restaurant, um, restaurants putting signs up that say Irish need not apply, stuff like that. Like these are things that happened and those are like, pretty extreme examples and whenever those sort of things are brought up to the right wing side of the panel they just kind of went nah 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 it doesn't happen so like i don't know thanks for the follow endernax i appreciate it um yeah like uh i i i have some you know but anyway it was a nice conversation sorry i didn't mean to plow over you there uh synth i know we were talking about stuff but i just want to address those yeah, chat okay. comments yeah oh yeah i need to make a follow one true true i need to have follow graphics um fuck yeah so damn we talked about a lot of things um honestly like I mean, was that good oh no i'm talking to myself <laughs> oh, oh you're Please good don't you're good for this one <laughs> no, you're good thanks for thanks for the follow <laughs> uh, hey look joe <laughs> wait what wait wait what, what? oh wait because you hadn't followed me yet oh no it's good <laughs> no I, yeah I hadn't you're followed you yet. you're good I you're didn't good realize it. i i literally will never hold that against somebody it's all good um that shit, like, I mean, we all interact with so many people. Like, it's really easy to have one, uh, like, go through. I mean, like, I, I remember, uh, like, my since I made my new fucking Twitter account, like, last year. Like, there's so many people who I, like, love that I was like, oh, my God, I literally forgot to refollow them. This is going to be awkward when, like, now they know who I am in, like, streaming world. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, yeah. So, no worries. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's like refusing okay so Faye in chat says refusing service in general versus making a cake depicting a homosexual relationship seems like they are two, two different things that's what i was saying that was my that was my argument my argument was saying that we should have legislation that allows you to say like um that allows someone to like contest the fact they may have been discriminated against um yeah 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 and they should yeah and it shouldn't be like 
I don't think we can do like an actual fucking like law like very strict law about it because uh, much with the the same way with like speech or anything else that's like sort of subjective like this we have to find a way to like challenge it we do need to have like some restrictions obviously um I I don't know I'm <laughs> I I don't like religion at all so I I say just fuck religious uh <laughs> fuck religious like um companies and institutions I don't think they should be <sighs> given any leeway by the government yeah i, I think we're, we would probably be actually very much um in enjoyment i don't know um uh, do you I, I don't and don't feel bad if you don't know the answer to this but i mean have you ever seen any of my content about religion because i've done quite a bit talking about it um i don't know if you have oh but. yeah i haven't no, no I haven't that's really fine gone into it with that's totally fine i don't i don't expect it um we can actually talk about that now if you're comfortable i mean like by the way if you feel like you got to go or you want to ditch out at any point just tell me and we'll end it i was just going to stream for a while um and hang out with all these really cool new viewers who've come in um so if you want to hang out and talk about stuff like uh i could talk about religion all night if that's your topic of interest i grew up in a very very extreme religious sect um which is uh, i did a video on it called the god industry um and there the religion the, the 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 sect of christianity that i grew up in is basically like uh just imagine like if you took like evangel evangelical christianity and then just injected it with pure capitalism and then you would have you would have a good idea of like what the type of church that i i grew up in was like they um they would pop up new churches they would identify like really charismatic members of the church that they would like essentially groom for leadership um then they would send them out to make their own church every church would have a bookstore every church would have a local radio station if they could get one um they would monetize everything they would have a, a restaurant on site they would have a private school on site all of these things making money giant money making opportunity they even ran um these super religious um uh the most probably the most heinous thing my or heinous thing that my my church did was they ran like a christian rehab program that was basically bonded labor labor so um people would check themselves in and they would collect their ids and stuff like that so they couldn't leave and then as a part of their prog progress they were sp supposed to do service which was often um for businesses of prominent church members so they would go be like pro co contracted out for free labor as um as uh, volunteers for like oh, churches God. businesses yeah it's really sickening so yeah religion yeah, yeah this is Thank this you, is Gobi. why we don't yeah we don't need to give any leeway to religion holy shit dude yeah. um fuck what was what was the meme i was thinking about oh um but yeah I, I don't know i agree um i don't i don't i don't know um religion what? just shouldn't be like one of the things that we break anything on or okay never mind this is what i was gonna say the fucking um when we were going over religion um, and like it being a choice or not a choice or it being an immutable characteristic, I would have loved to have gotten into that argument because I know the only counter argument, um, which is like, well, sometimes when you're uh, like raised within a religious uh, society, if you're raised within like a religion or like a certain belief group, um, then like you can actually, you know, uh, attain that belief past where it's, uh, I I guess past where other people are like teaching you right yeah so like you can sort of be set in that belief and not know why you're in that belief um but like the very obvious answer is like hey we should probably just explain this these things to them or like hey we should probably just like tell them why these things are bad or tell them why these things are wrong like it, it's not that hard of an answer yeah. Um, yeah. I, I think a lot of I think a lot of um particularly Christian um right wingers tend to um they tend to assume in that indoctrination is like by default okay um which is something i strongly disagree with in fact i think indoctrination is incredibly dangerous and that we need to be incredibly careful about um what things are sort of taught um indoctrination structures are like like incredibly toxic and they're literally like bald-faced in religion religions many religions even ones that are seemingly um like very uh chill and not super fundamentalist often have things like oh this is the one true way um like if you doubt this it's showing a lack of faith all of these very 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 manipulative structures that are designed to make you not question the thing you believe in and instead just take it on raw faith um and i find that really troubling but i mean i think a lot of uh, a lot of right wingers tend to assume that and take that as a granted which is like oh yeah um belief is an immutable trait um but it really isn't and even if it were, um, it's much different. Uh, it's a much different type of um, of like uh, 
what's the right word? Like non-elastic trait than something like your race or your sexuality, something that literally you have no choice in that matter. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just don't buy those types yeah, of arguments. Yeah, like, and I mean, also, uh, can, and, yeah. Oh, I was just gonna ask, like, what your thoughts were on when uh, I think it was, um, I think it was Charmander who had said, um, uh, or Charmander or whatever his name was, um. When he said uh, that, like, oh, it's not subsidizing, it's not subsidizing religious organizations to give them massive a massive tax exemption, just just like, um, really? Yeah, like that was that was so weird. Like, holy fuck, I can't believe like that I that I actually encountered someone who like denies that there's significant tax reductions on like fucking on, on like churches and shit. I can't believe that he actually made that argument, and then like. Uh, I'm pretty sure what, what was the fucking form he was like uh, a 501 501c 501 501c yeah, yeah like know. a 501 C I'm pretty sure if I read into that like right now it'll be not what he was saying it was I, I mean I didn't that was in my mind that's a really um it's like a really weak gotcha like it probably works for some of his followers to be like oh well they, you know like like Cynthia and demon mama didn't know uh, didn't know the exact text of the 5013 C form but 5013 C form is literally just how you register your business like that has nothing yeah. to do with what like what we what we yeah, allow to be categorized as a charity <laughs> no this is this is just a form this doesn't yeah uh, i mean it it can be asked for different things on the form right but like this doesn't go to your argument oh no okay yeah it was it was an incredibly weak it's argument gone. um I, I i will say though i do appreciate that ankar was there to always tear the mask off of their arguments by ultimately revealing what the underlying motivation was for pretty much every single one of those arguments it's like oh birth control uh well just stop stop fucking women should just stop fucking dudes they can keep fucking but women they gotta stop fucking they and uh that was that was one of them we had um let's see we had the mask off moment about um what was the fucking first oh, Jesus Christ I can barely even remember what the first topic was because the second one was so spicy. The first one was fucking um Oh my god. Wait, let me let me go back in my notes. Um am I I'm like brain like this is what happens when I get to hour four of my stream. I sort of forget the masks, masks, the mask wearing thing. Where he's just like Oh yeah, the he's just like, oh uh, actually that was to be fair, that was sushi on that one who was kinda like, Oh, I don't give a shit about masks. Uh, oh, you know, yeah, uh, Jesus fucking Christ. That that was like again another like low brow attempt at like being funny was like all of them putting their masks on inside in their own house yeah. as like oh we're gonna trigger the libs. I'm just like okay, dude. I love I fucking, how I just did it. I did it as a meme. I didn't fucking. I don't fucking like. I just did it as a meme. I don't give a fuck. Um, but like, <laughs> I don't know, dude. And then the the subtle dog, the dog whistle from fucking sushi of like. Yeah, fuck wearing masks in public, bro. But like, I'm gonna wear one at a round bit. Like, holy shit! Like, you, that was so you bad. Be, it was it was just about as subtle as um fucking Chud's Nazi comment. Okay, <laughs> that's about yeah, how subtle it was. That's about how subtle it was. Yeah, there was there was some pretty weird. Like, I, I don't know. God, like, I I also love that. Like in the in the second in the second topic, it was like it went from us making an argument that insurance companies should have to cover what their doctors say, like what patients doctors say that they need and the, whether that's birth control or not. And then it became, you want to mandate hormonal birth control. And also I, I held my tongue and I'm sure you probably were feeling this too, Synth, but I was holding my tongue so hard on this idea, like taking hormones will transform your brain. And I'm just like, as I go out to grab my HRT, like, oh, <laughs> yep, yeah, sure. <laughs> take the fucking, uh, take the fucking thought pills, right? I don't know. That was, that was, that was a little funny to me. I got a question to chat. Let's see. So if women can't fuck, but men can, A, what happens to non-binary people like me? And B, wouldn't that mean all the men would be gay? True, Trekkie, true. Oh my God. 
yeah, the transphobia pivot was like, we were like this far. There were two things that they were like inching. They were just like, oh, they, it, I don't know. I, they were so close. The one was, they definitely wanted to try and call me a fat bitch. I know they, I know that. I, I'm sorry, Endernax. I don't know if you're in chat still, but dude, you got to cool it down. That was like one of the most fat phobic things I've ever seen anybody do. And I understand if you have different feelings about wellness, but Jesus fucking Christ, dude. And then the other one was, oh man, they were reaching right there so close to the arguments in, in the paternalistic arguments about birth control control it's like this oh, sounds God. identical to turf shit this was like one inch away from tur from from turf shit yeah pop tarts yeah yep. true yeah it literally is yeah it's literally like one step from well i mean they're not really women so like why should we like oh god yeah or, or like the argument's like oh why would like, you give oh, srs god. to children yeah, oh god it, yeah yeah so i don't know it, it was it was like I don't know, and like the, uh, I, it felt real weird. Like the the whole trauma bit actually fucked with me. Like oh, that was th terrible. That honestly. whole bit actually fucked with me. I was like, like I like, I was trying to be empathetic to Enderman or in Ender or whatever. Like I was trying to be fucking empathetic to him, right? Like hey, I I really felt like I I think that your trauma is like really fucking yeah. I I don't know, dude. Like I would never be able to fucking relate to that like I, I don't know what it's like i kind of know what it's like because it's like one of the only dysmor like dysmorphia analogies i know yeah. um is like fat like fat stuff but like i i can't know that right and like saying oh yeah i get it dude like i get your trauma like uh you did you didn't have like the entirety of your and identity ruined for like 20 fucking years yeah yeah i i mean that was like and the follow-up of having to like sort of pull the like round the round the uh uh fucking caravans like just just circling the wagons around that point and be like oh you fucking think you're better than me i'm like wait wait did you not listen to what synth said at all like i was just like holy shit but also like the other yeah. thing too is like um like I don't know i don't know i don't know if people know but I, i'm kind of a big girl like i'm kind of big you know like I'm not really, I don't really hide that. I'm, I'm kind of fat, you know, like, um, but, and I have been for most of my life. I also grew up really poor and, and the, the sort of shit that was being talked about in that specific segment was so not, was like so fractally wrong. Like, again, I, I said this in the debate. I didn't want to dive into it because it's an enormous issue and just bringing it out as a tangential thing was like unbelievable. Like that was just so bad faith. And, um, especially because it's like, um, especially because it's like, first of all, like nutrition in America. Oh. What's that? Oh, Chud, something happened? Chud. Thanks for the, thanks for the raid, Chud. Oh, the, sick. The 28 people. Pog. Oh, you're yeah. All, you're all here for the crew. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm assuming that this, uh, voice chat might be open to Chud if he. Yeah. Uh, Chud, it, if but, you want to um, join in and talk with us. Yeah. Hey, Chud, if you want to come join us, if, if you still have energy, I know you've had a long day. Thanks. We can pull you in if you want. Um, yeah, I'd have to figure out how we do group video i uh, i think you could do it pretty easily but whatever you can just do it yeah, yeah oh, chud wants in chud wants in you're, all right you're friends oh right. you're friends with chud right you yeah, should just yeah, be yeah. able to add him to the dm and then okay. yeah let me just see here uh, thanks for just... fuck yeah thanks for all the thanks for all the follows uh chud's chat <laughs> uh that's a pretty good Occam's razor uh, oh shit uh synth I, you gotta add me as a friend before i can add anyone else Oh shit. Uh yeah, let me give me a second. Damn, you're gonna have to be friends with me now, Synth. <sighs> I God I damn it. An a friends with another friends? hard leftist. God damn it. Fucking dude, all the fucking leftists are like poisoning my brain, dude. Yeah, I'm totally. Get brain worms from all the fucking leftists. Yeah. Holy shit. I, I believe leftism is a uh, is, is an exorcism of brain worms. It's adding br adding eyes. Give us eyes. My bloodborne. Yeah, shirt. look with more look with more eyes, you get more vision. Only more information. This is good. I gotta add Chud. Okay, so you added me. Oh, good. I can add Chud now. Here we go. Let's get Chud in here. Oh yeah, and he doesn't have video. Oh shit. Why does it do that? Okay, I'll check meme chat. Hold on. Let me let me fix this up. Hold on. That's so weird. We got um, memes. Um, oh my god. Oh, the, sick. Rain, All right, so let me get this set up here so we can uh sorry, I had to transition my uh my um camera away. 
There we go. So now I can go like this. And now people will be able to see if Chud's talking. And we're all here now. So Chud, we've been chatting. We've been uh, shit talking. We had uh, Enderman came into chat. Uh, Ender Endernax. Endernax came into chat. Um, and uh, we talked to him a little bit. Uh, I don't know if he's still here. But um, we're happy to have you. Thanks oh. for coming on. Yeah, no, no worries. Um, I'm pretty tired, but I'm I'm powering through. I've got to pick up my keys from a new place in a few hours. So fuck yeah, that is that is amazingly yeah. good. I'm so happy to hear that you finally fucking got a place. Fuck landlords, am I right? Yeah, exactly. Fuck landlords. Yeah, yeah. You got it. I fucking hate. I honestly do. Oh, well, to say hate is probably a strong. I don't hate every individual landlords, but I think all landlords are bastards. Do you know what I mean? That sort of tape. Yeah. All right. Slow down there, Mao. <laughs> oh no, dude. <laughs> no, no, like, listen, Synth. Let's focus on what we agree on. Let's not get sidetracked with bullshit, okay? Um, Chud, yeah, listen. Chud, I can't, I can't, yeah, we can't do the whole Hassan Destiny thing, okay? You can't just like fucking <laughs> A, A Lab, A Lab over here and then be like, ah, oh, it's just me. Nah, we got some A Labs in chat. <laughs> fucking A Lab, dude. A Lab. Wait, is that, is that what um, fucking Hassan and Destiny split up over? Is that what happened? I'm, no, I'm like was, behind that on was, this. No, that, that was, that's just one of the, oh, it was Edward Andy. Yeah, okay. Hassan, one of the memes that Hassan made like famously, that is some reason not bannable is like the, the blood of the landlords will run in the streets or whatever. He said some shit like that. Ooh. Like destiny. Is that destiny spicy? Has that's like destiny has a friend that's a, a landlord. Is that Hark Dan? Dan? I'm sure yeah. you know Dan. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure you know Dan. Yeah, Dan the A Tab man. Okay, all tenants are bastards. That oh. that's his meme. Um, oh, now, 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 that'd be a debate I'd love <laughs> to have because I could deck any landlord in a debate. I could tell you that much. <laughs> Bring me the landlords and I will crush them. If you want the land, if you feed me the landlords. Yes, if you if you wish to see the blood of landlords, put them in the arena with me and you shall see the blood of landlords. <laughs> Um, listen, so, so with the panel, like, I feel like I need to apologize to both of you. Like, I felt like at times I just wasn't, I felt like I maybe I should have got in there and been a bit harsh with them when they were going off on you. I don't know. Nah, you're um, good. I mean, I mean, I, they were being complete assholes. Like, uh, I, I, Chad, I, you were probably doing your stream, so you probably didn't see. We were talking about how, um, there were two topics that they were really, really close to. And, and Endernax was just, he was right there. I kept saying he was two inches from calling me a fat bitch. He wanted to do it so bad. You know, right? You saw that too, right? Like, he was like, yeah, yeah, mm, yeah, it was yeah, on the yeah, tip of, of his tongue. Yeah. <laughs> so I told him to chill down with the uh, fat phobia because that was unironic fat phobia. Um, not even like, not even like well, yeah, me being a screaming it, it, SJW. It was just like raw fat phobia. Yeah. And like, was, I don't know. Yeah, go ahead, Chud. You're here. I was gonna say it was it was quite clear it was quite clearly pointed right at you, you know, and nothing was said. But then when I try and sort of point out, oh look, this fucking dude's making an Israel reference, Dylan jumps on my fucking throat. Like, are you kidding me? What yeah. the fuck? Like that's fucking absurd to me. Like I'm not expecting special treatment, right? But he's gonna fucking sit there and let him basically call you fat. Let's be fucking. Yeah, real yeah. Here. Oh, that's, it, what that's he totally doing. what he was getting at. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's why. Yeah. Did you see oh, me? Yeah. Did you see me know. tactically sipping my McDonald's? I, <laughs> Delicious. I also, yeah. like, I don't know. Like, the whole thing was, like, we didn't even disagree. I don't think we even, like, disagreed that people just, they, they probably shouldn't be unhealthy, like, in general. I, yeah. I don't think we even disagreed. It, it was just, like, hey, these fucking fat people over here, though. Like that yeah, was really I, bad. Oh god, that that was literally like that. That was the argument. It was so bad. Um, <laughs> when I was when I was born, I was an incredibly chunky baby. Um, to the point where uh, my dad used to oh, literally. I'm sure it was cute though. Yeah, I like to think baby me was pretty cute. I had many roles. Um, in fact, my mom would lovingly call me the Michelin Man, and um, because I look, you know, the tire guy. He's made out of tires, and like that was very yeah. loving. Um, but I actually received quite a bit of bullying for being um not very much overweight. Um, and so, the idea that like uh this approach um, of like that he was advocating of like bullying people into being healthier literally first of all it literally doesn't work it, there's an inc like an yeah. overwhelming number of studies that shows that doesn't work even andre who's a fitness fat trainer shaming. yeah it doesn't work yeah fat shaming is really bad um it's like i think the best thing you can do is like um give them good resources towards like 
being able to build themselves a healthier diet and like be able to be healthier and and like generally promoting exercise um through like a usually therapists right usually like people go to therapists and they're like hey i'm really depressed like these things are causing me well like have you thought about your weight maybe causing it like and, and like could you eat a little bit differently because like your diet does affect your mood as well like you're if you just eat fast food shit you're going to feel like shit like well, and, and there's general. also like a there's um, a big um there's like a big skip in logic that's done too um and i know i'm f kind of fixating on this but it came up for such a long time i kind of want to make comments on it so that people who are here kind of have some stuff to walk away from which is like nutrition is like barely a science like we've barely even begun to grasp how nutrition works and here in the united states literally everything we eat has corn syrup in it and that's not the case in any in almost any other country it's so bad um and like yeah uh like people don't understand how bad fucking like corn uh, corn products other than fucking like gas if you can make I, yeah other than gas i guess but like corn products in general are just pretty fucking bad like yeah. they like and unless you're eating literal corn, like it's usually pretty fucking bad for you to be ingesting anything corn based. Like ethanol, fucking alcohol's bad for you. Okay, if you can't if you can't drink alcohol and say alcohol is bad for you, some some wrong. Okay, yeah. Gas, we gotta stop using that shit. All right, fossil fuels, fuck that shit. Like uh, there's a lot know, of dude. bad things, and it's just like I don't know when somebody fixates that hard. It's just kind of like, dude, you're kind of telling you're kind of telling yourself. I, I opened this like little post straight post panel discussion by saying like that is what emotional being emotionally compromised looks like. That is what it looks yep, like. That's that's when you're when you're too emotionally like. I, and I understand too, because right, it, it happens to some degree with the uh, trans arguments that I make. I'm sure that it happens to you to some degree with the trans arguments you make. Um, but like, to actually be so emotionally invested to not realize, eh, maybe I shouldn't be just like fat shaming. Maybe I shouldn't be like being really mean over like a, a massive platform to like hundreds, like a hundred people. But like, ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a little I, irresponsible. And yeah. it, like I, I don't I, know. I think honest, we. Yeah, go ahead. I, I was just gonna say, like, to me, like I understand, like, say there's a smaller stream or something and, and boosting them, but like, I just don't understand why we're pulling in rando fucking, you know, definitely not crypto fash people. Definitely not. Just to confirm, definitely not crypto. I don't understand why we're pulling these people in from random discords. So, like, there must be enough right wingers to. Uh, because people, someone said, "Oh, but he had loads of cancellations." It's like, Endermax was there from the start. Like, yeah, what, he's fucking, he's totally irrelevant. Like, why the fuck are you pulling onto a hundred fucking viewer panel? It doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand. Okay, so on when it comes to Dylan's uh, panel, I do, I do actually appreciate the opportunity to go up against right wingers sometimes, but. God damn, if, if I, fuck me about like this fucking shit. Every single time we go on there, we get something that's like, you know how like conservatives all try to say, oh, we're not all like Richard Spencer, you know? But then every single time without fail, we get something like Ankar's, uh, just drop the dicks or, um, Enderman's, uh, fat phobia I mean, rant or, uh, or, 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 or yeah it's just it's like justification of it later too oh it was a, it was a dave Chappelle joke it was a meme dude Chris Rock, okay think, yeah. you know what i will make this argument to even fucking lefties okay it doesn't matter what your intention is it matters how the fucking viewers perceive it yeah. all right if the viewers perceive it as oh women need to drop the dick that they're getting like if that's how viewers perceive it i'm sorry that's what it means on stream yeah, what that translated to was uh, that that Ankar is a believer in the cock carousel, um, is is basically what he was saying there. <laughs> Let's be yeah, real. Pretty much. Yeah. So Chud, um, yeah. just wanted to ask you real quick, Chud, how do you feel uh, about the uh, the spine, the, the 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 like percentage of spine that they have after, given the context of the DMs that we had leading up to this, how much bravado was given, and how much they fucking got creamed on every single level in this conversation. Yeah, I know it's pretty funny. Um, the thing is, I need is to like, go back and read the DMs. People, people were saying in my chat, they're like, "Oh, you should have gone harder." And it's like, I, I, I don't know. I felt like, like, it's difficult to go really hard on someone when they're talking about like fucking Muhammad crepes. Like, all you can oh, do is really God. mock them for that, and it does the work for them. Do you know what I mean? Like, 
I don't know. Like, what else am I supposed to say? Like, yeah, it just sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? You know? Yeah. Like... But Chud, and um... Um, don't you agree? Uh, if you if you don't agree with this, you clearly have no um, empathy for religious people. But don't you think it should be illegal for me to go to McDonald's when they're not serving the McRib and demand a McRib <laughs> and them not serve me a McRib? <laughs> Yeah, hey, what like, the fuck was that about? I just, why can I, why can I not go to Burger King and get my fucking, like, oh shit, uh, I <laughs> fucked up the meme because I'm actually so triggered that I fucked up the meme. I was about to, I was about to unironically fucking say, how do I get my Whopper from fucking Burger King? Oh, uh, oh god. Yeah, that was the meme. We oh, like, want a McRib. I, I love it. <laughs> I love I love fighting with right wingers. I fucking love that shit. This gives me this gives me the passion to like go back onto fucking Killer Stevens channel and get fucking dogpiled by eight of them. Wait, Holy somebody shit. told me to debate that, that was guy. So much fun. Somebody told me to oh, debate you, that guy. Yeah, if you um if you go on his panel and you wait for a little while, you'll be able to sneak in a little comment about politics. Uh, because normally he doesn't talk about it if it doesn't like directly come up but you can make like a sly comment about politics that you know uh, like right wingers will respond to and they fucking will oh they will God. go after that shit dude and then like it's all fucking all bets are off because people drink on his show too like yeah it's oh uh, it was those are some of the fucking those are some of the old times those are the original synth times okay that was that was when i was fighting righties oh synth i i meant to say this at the beginning but there wasn't really an opportune moment but holy fucking shit huge props for how many fat fucking rips you took off that bong at the beginning and still fucking kept up with the debate i would be literally like knocked on my ass i can't even i can't even fathom how much smoke and thc must have been in your system at that point holy fucking shit <laughs> dude this is this is the thing right and like now now you're kind of getting like me on like the edge end right like yeah. fucking i don't know moving around and shit but like yeah i i don't know i uh, sometimes i need to slow down a little bit okay but like if i don't like here's the thing if i if i was really concerned about this debate i wouldn't have smoked at all today because i can go fucking a million miles an hour like i'm doing right now like yeah. i i could just do it but like sometimes I gotta chill, okay? Sometimes I gotta not get like ultra triggered about fucking like dumb shit that they're saying. No, I thought that was I thought that was impressive and bold and, and you get my you get my rah rah uh for that. That was good. See this is why I do it on stream, okay? One, because I love the dank, okay? Fucking dank Me memes. Me too. Me too. I love the dank memes. Wait, okay? Chud. Oh All wait dank. Wait, Chud, can you you can comment on it. You're on an American stream on American platform right now. Do you like the dank? Do you like the dank Kush, Chud? Um, I've actually, I've actually not smoked. I mean, I'm not like against it in principle, but I just, I just not smoked for a long time. Basically, I've not done any drugs for a little while now, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of just planning to keep it that way, really. Like I say, I've got no problem against people that do it. Although sometimes stoner culture can be absolutely fucking insane. Yeah, I'll, I agree. Cool. I agree. Yeah, uh, sometimes it can be. Yeah. Wait. But, uh, but hey, here's here's a promise. Uh, if you come and visit the U.S. after the world uh, maybe doesn't end, um, and you feel up to it, no pressure. But I will I will treat you to some fucking good weed up here in the Pacific Northwest. Best fucking weed in America, baby. Wait, can I can I come too while the yeah, flight absolutely. prices are down? One hundred percent. We can we can fucking I will get us some good ass shit and we'll have a good time. Fuck yes, that's a promise. So. Hey, look, my my tolerance, as you've seen, my tolerance is dumb. Okay, holy I, shit! Yeah, honestly, it was it was like I took like a three or four day break, and like I just took like maybe a quarter of like the the hits that I that I did before that, and I got fucking blasted. Amazing. I was fucking gone. Like I my my tolerance is so fucking stupid. It goes up very quickly. But it goes down very quickly as well. If I take like a two or three day break, it's insane. Oh yeah, low. same but here, if same I, here. If I'm smoking for months, then it just like it's so fucked. Um, yeah, for sure. Well, Chud, yeah. Again, no pressure if you don't want to do drugs or you're going straight edge or whatever. No problem. But if hey, you want to, Wendell, Wendell, Wendell Bedazzler. Hey, or Wendell Bedazzler. Look, that was a dab. Okay, that was a big ass dab. All right. That's why that, I was impressed. That was a fat ass dad. That was not a bowl, my friend. 
Holy shit. Yeah, I got um last night uh I went to my local sorry to jump into the weed talk so so heavily, but uh last night I went and got some weed and like there was a new there was a guy I've never like I usually don't buy late. So like there was a new guy working at the store and I'm like I like to ask like I like to get the feel. I like to chat with like people in stores and get the feel for what they recommend if I if they don't have what I want. So I was like give me give me your recommendations. This guy like zooms off. He's like, "Oh, I can I can get you something good." I'm like, "Oh, this is going to be fucking good. Somebody this passionate, this it's going to be amazing." Amazing. Good dude comes back he's like this will fuck you up and i'm like are you for real he, i'm like i have pretty high tolerance he's like yes this will fuck you up and it was he was not lying fucking good ass shit that's who you got to find you have to find the weed people who really know their shit and then they'll get you the best stuff so uh, yeah it's so chud been... uh chud uh wait wait synth did you see any of were, did you see any of chud talking about what happened in the dms because the dms oh man chud you gotta you gotta regale her the, the, DM, the dms are probably my favorite part of the whole thing yeah uh, <laughs> basic basically long story short i kind of came in swinging um the conservatives weren't too happy about it but then this weird flip reverse happened and then the conservatives were arguing amongst themselves and that fucking endonax fella was is obviously like he's like a groiper type person do you know what i mean yeah he's yeah. like what have the conservatives ever conserved blah 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 i mean he looked like a fucking dollar store nick Prentez on the stream um and yeah basically he sort of told like a more traditionalist kind of like you know boomer republican type conservative like yeah you're not really your your content shit or you know you're not adding anything to the cause you know massive argument and then this person ended up leaving the group and quitting the stream because of it you know and uh yeah, it was fucking wild. And I, I don't know, it's such a weird conversation. I got told off like a couple of times because I kept fucking using it for things other than just planning the stream and just insulting people. You know, Dylan wasn't too happy with me over that. So I got a few slap on, slaps on the wrist. Fucking wild. <laughs> Mel says, Mel has come into my chat to say, I'm so fucking high right now. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh man. But, yeah. I don't know. I just listen. I don't look. Like, Dylan's my friend. Do you know what I mean? I mm -hmm. just, I just, I think I'm just concerned with the moderation. Like I felt at times it was just a bit lackluster. Like I don't know. I don't want to be mean to Dylan. I really like Dylan. He's my friend. But I just felt at times yeah. it was like. I don't know. What do you, what do you think? Because it didn't really affect me. Dylan, as, well, I did a few times, but you, go ahead. Well, I thought, I thought, um, I thought Dylan. <sighs> I think Dylan is usually more forceful with his uh, moderating, like especially the yeah. fucking mind waves meme. Uh, like I think <laughs> he's usually a lot more forceful with his moderating, um, which he didn't he didn't really do all that much. And I I don't know. I like shit shows personally. Um, Chud, I know you like them to be a little bit more structured, but um, yeah. um, I mean I don't mind shit shows, but it's like I don't know. Like I I don't want to speak for for the two of you, but there were times when I, I was asked a question. And then someone else jumped in and nothing was said. And I had to speak up and go, fuck me. Can I have some moderation so I can answer a question, you know? Oh, and, yeah, and that happened like a fuck ton. Yeah. And it was, thrown, it was thrown over to me. And then someone else spoke. And I was nearly forgotten about until I said. And it's just like, I don't know. Like, I'm not, I don't necessarily say like Dylan's totally at fault either. Like, Mr. Geek was there as well. Like, he didn't really say anything for the whole stream. And I was just like, like, uh, you know, I don't like to compare and say, like, I'm better or worse or whatever, but it's like, I know with Noopy, Noopy will often step in if things are getting out of hand. And I was just a bit surprised that kind of it got to the point it did at times and it was just such a fucking clusterfuck. And I was just like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think, yeah. And I think the only thing that I like, I have a little bit of relation to, like, um, I, I don't know, on, on my panels, usually they're pretty chill. Okay. My panels are mm. very chill. My panels not not you know big big fucking memes every time um but like i don't know i think i've had to step in like once and be like a shut the fuck up like i'm muting people but like i think i think dylan's energy like really early um when he was doing the shut the fuck up i'm muting you um i i feel like it was and, and like i think the other thing was like even me and demon mama were like trying to give it even like other panelists were like trying to say hey fucking let dylan moderate um yeah. and like the right wingers were kind of really rowdy and like talking over people the entire time so yeah. i i mean that happened to pleth too like okay like let's be real like there is some absolute misogyny going on in that conversation today i could not say a single fucking word without being immediately interrupted by um by charmander charman guy yeah, um yeah. like every single time and and uh sushi guy 
um, he he also like jumped in on me like a num a number of times before I even finished my thought before I sometimes before I even started my sentence the 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 last time in the last section I was literally like yeah so and then it was blah, 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 blah. I'm like are you guys for fucking real like holy shit like I get it like in debates you always talk over each other to a little bit that's always gonna happen like come on like it's just debate but like holy fuck. <laughs> The other thing that happened as well, which was kind of like, what the fuck, is is I would, like, you'd make a point and you'd be dismissed as fucking or talked over or whatever. I feel like I would make the same, a similar, if not, like, the same point worded slightly differently. And my take was, like, good and balanced and okay. Like, I don't know. It just was, like, it was okay coming from me, but not coming from you. That's well, I mean, like how'd you like the number of times where I was called um, overly emotional, um, uh, hyper-exaggeratory, or um, my intonation was bad was one of them? And then when I asked for a specific example, they couldn't give one. They just said, oh, your face um, shows it. Your, um, your uh, you know, you, you just sound, your, your intonation is bad. Like, literally, that happened. Like, I mean, I, I think there was, like, six times before the second topic where people people said that I was being emotional or 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 like injecting my emotions here meanwhile the argument that fucking Ankar has is oh I just I just saw I see it on your on your face I'm like dude fuck you yeah I if I I love the fucking it's the literal fucking debate me meme like if I make a heinous uh if I make a heinous comment and you react badly that's an emotional argument and I yeah, win. Yeah. Like that was literally, I fucking, I played the debate me meme like in the middle of that because that's actually how I felt. Holy shit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um... was, yeah, yeah. It just, it's, it's funny because like, I don't know, like I was kind of, especially at the start, I was kind of an asshole to them and it just wasn't really like the same as, uh, it, I, I just think that there is definitely a problem. It's like an inherent thing where they don't even realize they're doing it, but they speak over and, you know, talk down to, to women on these panels. And it's, you know, they, they don't even realize they're doing it, I don't think. Yeah. I mean, I, I just well, find it funny that I was cast as, like, the, the person having emotional and hyperbolic language when um, Enderman, like, went off the fucking hinge on the mention of heart disease into an entire rant about yeah. how everybody's fat and they should be oh made fun of. Oh, my God, dude. That was such a fucking pivot. Holy shit. Like, like... Hey, well, like this problem. Well, what about fucking heart disease, dude? Like, oh, yeah, and then what? and then I That's fucking asked we him. I was talking like, about? and I was like, okay, so do you do you, if you think heart disease is a big problem, do you support Medicare for all? Nope. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, what is this fucking shit? Like, oh my fucking god! Yeah. Like, one of the the ways that you would help to resolve this this you know fucking terrible problem of heart disease, and you're not willing to even consider it. Like, just straight flat no. Like, yeah, Jesus so Christ. pathetic. It was really weak. I mean, I I felt their showing was particularly weak this uh this this week, um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. Um, I feel like I feel like we all did pretty fucking good, all things considered. But altogether, we we bounced off for the way. I was really impressed. I thought for Andre did really good. I've never I've never seen any of Andre's content yeah. yet, and I've never was... uh, been on a debate con um thing with him. But it was really he was really good. He did really good. Yeah, like, um, I feel like, I don't know, one of the memes that he's been, like, he's been spouting for weeks is, like, I really enjoy, like, watching Ascent and, like, learning from her debate. And I'm like, wait, Andre is, like, constructing arguments kind of how I construct them. Hell wait. yeah. Like, did I, did I fucking rub off on Andre a little bit? Because that was some, that was some good-ass argument making. That was some good-ass shit from him. But yeah. That, and, like, he isn't usually really participatory in, like, debates. Or anything like that. He usually tries to sum them up and stuff because he's the moderator. I thought he did really well. Um, he dunked the yeah. fucking conservatives. Okay. Yeah. We've got some good talent on the on on left left Twitch uh, or left leaning Twitch. I don't know how much anybody considers him left, but we'll see how long that lasts. That's why we got the Demon Mama. I'm gonna start bringing everybody to the left, baby. <laughs> um, right, listen. I need to go and speak to someone else for a bit, and then I'm gonna go and get my keys in a few hours. So uh, maybe take a break. Yeah, you gotta take so. a break, Chud. Right. Fucking good job today, and fucking enjoy your new house, you and too. congratulations. Thanks yeah, very much. Good I'll job, dude. Thanks. Yeah. You, both, same to both of you, okay? I'll speak to you soon, all right? Thanks, Judd. See ya. I'll I'll enjoy my new house. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs> oh shit. That's your opportunity. Like when the waiter brings you to go, enjoy that. You're like, yeah, you too. Oh fuck. Okay, <laughs> shit. I'll end, we'll end on that cringe. Okay, see you later. Bye. Bye. Have a good one. Damn. <laughs>
That was fucking great. Uh, oh, what a what a good conversation. Chud I, is really good. Everybody who's in my chat, if you don't follow Chud Logic on yes. Twitch, please follow Chud. He you will Based. I promise you the best best value besides me um uh, that you can get for your fucking follow is going to be Chud Logic. No, but honestly, I think Chud is like even a better showman than me. Um he does a fucking great show. Go give him a follow because you'll you will not regret it. Um, Memer I, and Creamers. I know like all my chats from fucking Chuds, but look, if you're not from Chuds chat and you haven't followed Chud yet, go fucking follow Chud. Okay, he's he's fucking based. Uh, oh. Chud logic. Here we go. I'm what gonna drop that? it there. Um, I I uh, I need a shout out command. I need a shout out command. I have to do a whole bunch of stupid fucking administrative stuff for my for my stream. Um. <sighs> yeah, I it, I don't think yeah, those aren't like really hard. I think if you can get like someone uh, if you have someone who knows how to do all that stuff, you could also like mod someone in your Streamlabs. Yeah, I think I, I just need to do um, a yeah. Streamlabs or a, a Nightbot. I think I have Nightbot um running, so I could probably have Nightbot do it. I just I just I keep forgetting to do the shout out command. I have a whole bunch of other commands. Um damn. <sighs> yeah, I should probably wrap up here because it's fucking I've been going for like almost five hours. Holy shit! Hey, Synth, thank I think you. I've been going for like eight or something. Holy shit! You're going for the fucking I, um, like Hassan at real Hassan hours here. Holy shit! I, I fucking yeah. I started with Irene's panel and then some shit fucked up on that panel and then I went over to like a turf video review. Uh, our relevant talk to a turf. That's oh, a pretty. Boy. That's pretty good content. If you'd like to go over that one, I can send you the the video. Oh um, shit. But yeah, so like I went over that and then I, and then Dylan was like, hey, you, 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 you come on. I was like, oh, okay. I'm, I'm and, glad you got added in at the last minute. That's cool. That was cool as fuck, uh, honestly. That was good memes. Um, I had, yes. uh, oh, yeah. So this week has been like my crazy panel week. So I'm not actually going to be streaming my own stuff until like probably Tuesday, realistically. I did your stream last night, which was fun as fuck. I had a fucking great time, by the way. Um, just wanted to let you know in person that was a With fucking good ass time. Person. Yeah, no, no. Hey, but you know what? It ended <laughs> up being really good. <laughs> Sorry if I hey, bully I'm, a little I'm too hard sometimes. It. It's, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. But um, yeah. And then tonight, this one, and then tomorrow, I'm doing Breakfast Detective stream. Um, yeah. And uh, fuck yeah. So holy shit. Um. We got it. We should have a conversation about some stuff sometimes, or, or or something. That'd be fun as fuck. It was yeah. really fun having you on. We should. I I should actually do like some economic stuff because basically, basically the argument I have is like, Sockdom stuff seems to work. It seems to have been working. Um, we can like expand social safety nets and shit like that mm -hmm. under like Sockdom policy, and like that can effectively kind of alleviate the. Uh, like the baddies in capitalism, right? Like as long as we properly regulate it, you can kind of. That's kind of your economic the position, you're saying. That's, yeah, your that's saying. that's my economic position. I think mm -hmm. I can. I think I can pull you over on that a little bit, um, but you just have to give me some time. I, I I'd have to put it together because I mean, there's a whole bunch of things with that, which is that um, we had such regulations in the past and they've disappeared, um, which is my first one to think about. We already had these regulations. They existed back in the, the tw between between uh, the post um, Great Depression um, in the New Deal, um, and they slowly dissolved themselves. Uh, many, many leftist theorists have pointed out that this would be the case, that inevitably the concentration of wealth will lead to your ability to um, have an undue impact on politics, and therefore you will be able to slowly and surely or rapidly and quickly um, break down um, regulations if you don't address the, the core problems with capitalism that would be my main one that I would I would uh, I would hit you with um, but yeah we can have a cool conversation that'd be fucking cool it's been a while since I've done like a like a conversation stream so that'd be cool as fuck um, I will ping you about I would love that. To do that yeah that'd be cool as shit and mm -hmm. then um, yeah fuck uh, yeah I'll probably be streaming next week so maybe we could look into talking about it next week um, yeah, yeah that'd be cool as shit and well yeah, go yeah, ahead. By go the ahead. way, mm -hmm. your your fucking memes, okay? The fucking you spitfire, right? The insults that were not exactly ha ad hominems. Um, holy shit! Like, is there a word for this? Is there a word for like 
when we're insulting because it is insulting it's condescending that's yeah, what yeah. It, it is condescending it's extremely but like is there a word for like insults that aren't quite insults like i thought though that was those were pretty that was pretty good memes you could yeah, just call it I, you could just I call it the, pretty good the, you could just call it the demon mama fire that's just all it is it's fucking it's pure from the soul no but honestly like the thing is like people call all kinds of things that are ad homs like that they're not ad homs. And that was what was really funny to me is that they kept using the word ad, ad hom and then literally used an ad hom against me, which was just like, holy shit. I was just like, oh my God, what the fuck? So, um, yeah. yeah but and then like, did I, the like you, you don't know what hyperbole is. You don't know what a fucking uh, immutable characteristic is. Like we're, we're spending, but I would love to have a debate but holy fuck, like, you need to know words. Like, you, you need to know the English language a little bit. Like, and I I, th I thought this was, like, basic fucking common sense. Like, shouldn't you know the things that you're, like, supposed to know, like, to go onto the panel? Oh, hey, God. thanks for the follow. But yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, that is one of the things that I encounter a lot on these debates is, like, there's a, there's a big tendency for... I mean, I think, and I think this can happen on the left sometimes too, um, where people just get way too sort of like ground into certain talking points. Um, and then instead of like thinking about the topic dynamically at the moment, they sort of just default to their, you know, to their talking point that they've memorized. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and I feel like it's, it's like a weak debate tactic, but especially when those, um, talking points have nothing to do with what any of the people on the panel have said, which is what happened to us tonight, or it was just like, wait, wait, you're not addressing what I was talking about. <laughs> Are you are you are you being an NPC right now? Is yeah. that what's happening? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm being yeah, NPC. that shit. Fucking NPC it, shit. The the I fucking I I think like the best the best way to actually fucking like do that and and like um I think I saw yeah it was Destiny did did it to fucking someone um he just asked him or yeah it was in the fucking Eric Stryker debate or whatever he asked Eric Stryker a question he's like look watch he's not going to answer it and then he didn't answer it and then he. I'm going to ask it again. I'm going to ask the same question that he didn't answer last time. Again, like highlighting the fuck out of it and being like, I already asked this question. You're not answering it. Answer the fucking question. And like, I did that a little bit later. Oh, that felt so good. That feels so fucking good to do. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's actually a funny thing. Um, before I started streaming, before I ever even started watching a whole lot of streams, um, I used to debate very frequently with random people uh, in my family, friends and stuff like that. I was known as the, I was the debate lord of the family, believe it or not, um, to some uh, great uh, infamy in my family. Um, but I had, I used to call it like jokingly because I used to play a bunch of Overwatch. I used to call that sort of thing um, the, the Reinhardt technique because what it is is you basically you catch somebody on an egregious point and then you just pound it and you don't let them get off of it because they will try to pivot away from it and sometimes that literally is one of the best things you can do is just to pin somebody on something okay what did you mean by that why won't you explain it further why won't you just explain it and it will really tell you who's like a good faith actor versus who's just sort of spraying propaganda everywhere is hit that point and see if they can go on it yeah say hey this is your take explain it yeah explain like, it asking like it's so it's so weird it's so it's literally childlike like this is this is something you would expect a child to do like a child's like sitting there they're like fucking around with like a knife or something they're like fucking trying to juggle it or something like why are you doing that that's dangerous yeah. i don't know i i like to juggle knives bro like the, and then just just like at, like this is something yeah just expecting children to do that like if you ask one question of well why it just breaks down completely yeah um and like i don't know it seems like most right-wing arguments are like that that's why that's why i love people like fucking john burke people like fucking i, I don't know there are some other good righties that are like legitimately um uh, they legitimately they they take in the information they go hey what does this say about my position? And then they spit back out like what their position would say in like reference to it. Yeah. Um, and like, I find that to be extremely. Oh, it drives me nuts. That. Yeah. Something that I've talked about, um, my chat is probably going to all groan the moment I bring this up because I talk about it so frequently, but I, I like to call the the general, like low tier conservative engagement tactic is just called the shit hose tactic. And it's basically somebody runs into a room with a hose and starts blasting shit all over the walls. And if you try to address any of the shit, you're just going to get blasted with shit yourself and so the only thing that you can do is just cork the the original thing this is something that you see you've probably
probably I, I I would be willing to bet. Let's just see. Let's see if you've had this. Have you ever had somebody come into your chat while you're talking about like a left leaning issue and start asking about Venezuela? And then the moment you ask them about Venezuela, they suddenly pivot to North Korea. And then they suddenly pivot to Bolivia and then they pivot to Russia and they go from place to place to place about different places that they think are like failed communist states or whatever. I don't know if you've ever had that exact thing. That has happened like uncountable amount of times in my chat. And that is the shithose argument. It's the same thing. It's pivot, 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 pivot. If you actually say, okay, so what do you actually know about the history of Venezuela? What makes Venezuela ref relevant to a conversation that we're having about the United States? They go, do well, what about Russia? And it's just like, okay, like what the fuck? Like, you d you're not actually... Yeah then, yeah, then don't actually, like, talk about something you don't know about. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's a goal that to just paint, like, great. shallow propaganda um, that, that, that acts on feelings and get people incensed and angry. That's how this that sort of tactic works. And uh, the best way to deal with it is just to be like, you're, you're literally doing the thing. You're literally just spraying all over the place. And I'm just going to ask you very direct questions. What do you actually know about the topics? And they can never answer the question, and they usually run away yeah, at that point. Yeah, I mean, that's usually how I answer fucking transphobes. I, I, if yeah, I'm doing a do solo stream and I'm just like chilling around, I'm like, look, you got five messages to get into chat. Once you've sent five messages and you're not in my VC, you're getting banned, bud. <laughs> Support it or leave. Fuck get out yeah. of here. Hey, I, I admire that, that level of uh, impromptu debate. I usually don't have the patience to off-the-cuff debate with people, but I should. Look, look. It's free content, man. True. It's free content. And it's easy content. Getting people to come on and say trans women aren't women, being able to easily explain that, like, their little dumb, like, fucking social roles don't explain anything about biology. It's just social roles. It's just made up, like, preconceptions of people the way people act and look. Being able to explain that just fucking, ah, uh, that feels... It feels good, okay? Yeah, it's easy it content. You should do it. I, I should. Especially right. if you really like, like, even, even I talk just, about like, trans stuff all shit. the time, yeah. Like, it, it, we yeah, uh, usually, fucking... though, it's me shouting at somebody in my chat because I don't want to listen to their voice, and usually they will fucking not show anyway. So, <laughs> but I should, I should threaten them with bans more frequently in order to get them to come into my chat. That's a really good way of dealing with transphobes. Fuck. Well, all right. Synth, it's been wonderful. I got to end my stream and go eat some food uh, and smoke some weed and hang out. Uh, let's let's do some more stuff in the future. You did really good today. If you want to plug your... Um, actually, here, I'll just... I'll do it for you. Oh, Forward slash the you. synth. Um, all of y'all in my chat, please follow uh, Please follow synth. Uh, she's amazing and, and does good shit. I think I spelled it right, right? I did it right. Let me see. Uh, did I, did I do it right? Did yes. I do it wrong? Yes, I did. Good. Correct. All right. I've, I've gotten it down. All right. Sick. Uh, yeah. Are you going to be Thank streaming you. further or are you ending now too? Oh, no, I'm ending. It's been like eight fucking hours, dude. Yeah, I, fair I would love to keep going and do the rest of the turf video r review. But holy shit, dude. There's always tomorrow. I have a double. I have a double tomorrow. Oh, fuck. Starting at 11 a.m. Ah, um, but yeah, thanks. You did amazing, by the way. Thank you I, so I much. I feel like me and you, me and you would be a good fucking team for like destroying yeah. enemies, okay? Yeah, let's do um, it. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, I just, um, I, I just wanted to, I wanted to know if you were going to be streaming because I'd raid into you. Uh, I think I'll, I think I'll raid into Zots. All right, sick. Well, hey, let's talk again soon. We'll chat a bunch and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for coming on. Yeah. Good night. Thanks Seth. for talking with me. Absolutely. Good Anytime. Night. Bye. Hey, all right, everybody. I am going to go raid Zots. We're going to raid Zots. Thank you all. If you want to, um, if if any of you don't haven't joined the Discord, there's a link below. Follow me on Twitter, please. Follow me on on uh, subscribe to me on um, subscribe to me on YouTube. And of course, please, if you have any Prime subs or subs in general that you want to throw my way before the stream ends, it would be deeply, deeply appreciated. I love you all. Thank you all who supported me, all of you who came here. And uh, yeah, um, yeah, that was uh, that was fun as fuck. And we will definitely be talking to Synth again in the future for sure. Oops, Camazots. All right, we're going to send y'all over to Camazots. Enjoy. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. Thank you all for your kind words. Seriously, that was fun as fuck. And I will see you all so very soon. Um, tomorrow, I will be on Breakfast Detective st Stream. Going to be really good as well. Oh, um, I can help you with that, Gina. Just ping me and I'll try to get to it as soon as I can. All right, good night, everyone.
Love you all. Mwah.